What's wrong? You seem confused, Kratos. Having trouble remembering our special time together? But then again, we were rudely interrupted by my sister. Electro was never one for matters. Not to worry. I am quite skilled at teaching. Respect! For what you've taken, I owe you that. Treat Oathbreakers here! We will see how you fare against the Hecatonkeries!
to Olympus. I am free!
the last time, Spartan! Kratos struggled to remember the weeks prior to his imprisonment. To the time when he set out to break his bond with Ares, the god of war. (sighs) 
Your mind is troubled. And your skills are still without equal. Do you have business with me? I do. But this is not the manner to discuss it. I see no other way. You have no reason to trust me, Spartan. I only ask that you try. Your thoughts are not your own, but I can help you. I believe these belong to you. Use these items to still your mind, Kratos. Do not let illusion deceive you. ceased. I see only you. Good. You will need this skill for the path ahead. And what path is that? The path of freedom, Kratos. Freedom? Yes, freedom. Freedom from the Furies who relentlessly hunt you in the name of Ares, and ultimately... Freedom from your bond to the god of war himself. Break an oath with a god. <laughs> of all the minds in question, mine is not the one to worry about. You waver from sound mind to illusion in the beat of a heart. Is that any life for a great warrior? The Furies are near. They cannot know I speak with you. I will draw them away. The truth waits for you in Delphi, Kratos. Seek the Oracle.
Please, the Oracle, this time. I know it. No, no, my gifts. She must have them all.
the Master approaches. You! We have given you all you need for success, and yet you still fail us. The statues were to be completed by now. It is a massive task you have set before us, Master. My brothers, they... they need food and rest. You have not been asked to speak! And who will be next? You! You there! You are now charged with the task of completing the statues. As you wish. We hope your work is better than that of your friend here. We can no longer stand the sight of you. You make us sick. Decide if they're worthy at our will. I offer nothing. You presume to seek audience with the Oracle, and yet you bring no offerings? Bold. Stupid, but bold. Although, you must have good reason to seek the Oracle, carrying such a mark. Return when you have brought appropriate sacrifice. I have come to see the Oracle. That is what I intend to do. I would have liked to hear your story, warrior. It is a shame you fail to see reason. Remove him. <sighs> we have to find a better slave trader. His persistence only means his death. Why was he allowed entry to my temple? Come <laughs> on. 
I will not allow you to continue! You will never prevail! We will see you dead!
Aletheia. Fear you are beyond aid. Do not worry. The situation before me is clear. I have waited for this day. Your thoughts are clouded and your mind conflicted, warrior. I can feel it. You seek the truth? Yes. So be it. But remember, the truth always comes with a price. Enemies. Innocent. Kin. bond is complete. What's done is done. It cannot be undone. No. The Furies infect your mind because you run from your oath to Ares. They will stop at nothing should you resist. So the Shade speaks the truth. The intentions of Orcos are pure. Orcos? But he is a fury. And he will play his part in time. <gasps> My time grows short. To be free of the madness that infects you, you must defeat those who hold your bond with the God of War. How can I defeat the Furies when all I see is illusion? Across the sea, the Lantern of Delos keeps the eyes of truth. Delos? Find the eyes, and they will show you the path to freedom. himself, Orcos. You know I'm one of the Furies who forged your bond. You would have killed me before I could even speak. Then tell me, what has brought you to this betrayal of your own kind? It was you. The injustice of your oath that made me doubt them. Is it possible that through all your suffering you still do not understand why you were chosen? Why Ares needed you. Why he still needs you. Speak clearly. Oh, Kratos. The god of war has been plotting for years. I was brought forth by the joining of the war god and the Fury Queen. In rage and insanity, Ares hoped to conceive the perfect warrior. But I was only a disappointment to him. It was my mothers who spared me. They gave me the task of keeping the Earths. Although my burden was great, I was determined to be of service to those who said they loved me. But it was you, Kratos. It was the final task of your bond that made me question the actions of my family. sought counsel with Aletheia. It was she who revealed to me the plot of Ares to overthrow Zeus. But he needed the perfect warrior. Ares molded you to take down the very walls of Olympus. Ares, destroy my enemies and my life! 
is yours! To make you beholden only to him, Ares and my mothers devised three blood tasks. Spill the blood of your enemies. The blood of the innocent. The blood of your very... The past is the past, Orgos! The past you now seek to rectify. And I will do so without the aid of a fury. Kratos looked upon the gem. He realized all he need do was fight the forces that gnawed at his mind. His thoughts now clear. The warrior turned his rage to the remaining Furies and their ultimate defeat. years. When you were just a boy, I saw the signs. Even the loss of your brother did not sway your focus. The tragedy only improved you. You honed your skills. And now, Kratos, you have fulfilled your promise of greatness. You served with honor. You brought glory to us all, and today, you have earned your place among us as the greatest general Sparta has ever known. So, there is something you value more than ambition! for what he's done. <laughs> they say he was the first marked one, but his father didn't like the way he turned out. I know, I was the first man to be put here by the Furies. See, I've been keeping a record. Orcos was born here. Then his mothers, they, they became, they, they used to be fair, harsh, but fair. Had something to do with Ares, I imagine. The way they treated him. Oh, their own son. That is no reason to betray your own. Betrayed his own? Sounds familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> but he did it because of you. I did not ask for his help. <laughs> but you received it nonetheless, didn't you, Spartan? 
<laughs> this will make a wonderful addition to the record. If neither pleasure of the flesh or glory will return you to us, then there is only one thing left. will betray you. Kratos knew he was close. Close to a time when illusion would have no power over him. Close to the defeat of the Furies and finally, close to the freedom he so desperately sought. The sooner we get past Delos, the happier I'll be. They say it is cursed. Too bad we can't sail south of Delos. They say the great Archimedes built that statue for Apollo. Why do we stop at this cursed island? He's gone. Let us leave this wretched place. Quickly, for we are cursed too! an army in disarray. Return to us, General. Lead us to victory. You do not exist. You are of my mind. Return to your roots. Return to who you are, Spartan. <laughs> we only need to bring you home. My home is in Sparta! Sister, show him what Sparta does to a traitor!
way. Let me show you how it's done.
Return to your rightful place. Perhaps, if you serve your purpose well, you will even end up on Olympus one day. I will never serve Ares again! <laughs> yeah. Your methods fail us, McGill. I will take care of him. You will! Return. Death first. I should have done this a long time ago. Orcos! This is what you align with, Spartan? This time, you will fail. What have you done? You pathetic weakling! Find them! You will never reach the Lantern, Spartan! You will never reach the eyes now that my mothers know you are after them. This power helped me escape Hecatonchires. And what will happen to you? If you do not succeed, my fate is sealed regardless. Electo has destroyed the only path that leads to the Lantern. Before I could have told you how to get to it, but... But now you will need to find a new way.
Not much further now, Spartan. Inside there are the eyes of truth. The very same eyes my mother's ruthlessly pulled from Aletheia. When I learned of the plot between my parents to overthrow Olympus, I could not believe Aletheia's words. Then she showed me the truth. That the god of war would bring down the very walls of Olympus. I knew I must stop them. Aletheia and I sought to warn Zeus. But when Ares learned of our attempt, he sent my mothers after us. The eyes were brutally ripped from my beloved. She became a prisoner in her own temple. Ares and my mothers knew that if the eyes of truth were hidden, then their wicked plot would not be revealed. And soon they would reign over the gods themselves. To keep their plan in motion, they need you back, Spartan. They will stop at nothing until you return to Lord Ares. Ares will have to find another to do his bidding. I know he will set things right. Sorry, Spartan. When I learned that my mothers were close, I came to what? We have special plans for you, my son. All this effort, and you still fail. Sisters, we will break him within the walls of Hecatonkeres. Kratos found himself defeated, and this time no Olympian would come to his aid. Satisfied, the sisters returned home with their prize. Within the walls of their prison, they would delve into the broken warrior's soul and entice Kratos back to his place as a servant of Ares.
I have been away far too long. You can see her in the morning. Come. In time, you will forget. All that you have lost can be yours once again. If this is what keeps you in service to Lord Ares, then this is what you shall have. It... It is not real! I can be your reality. The hard part is over, Spartan. You have committed the ultimate sacrifice. Offer yourself to us completely, and you shall live in blissful illusion. Never. Then let death be your reality! meaning of this you have made a poor choice spot
You shame, Sparta! Oath breaker! Truth? The truth will only bring you pain! My death will not free you from this madness! I would not have been strong enough to choose your path, Spartan. Orcos. I would have taken what my mother's offered. I would rather live in truth. I fear you may come to regret those words. Lord Ares still holds your bond. This cannot be. Before you killed them, my mother's once again made me your Earthkeeper. For you to be free, I must die by your hand. I do not understand. If you do not release me, my father will retain power over you. But even worse, I will live in eternal torture. I have spilled enough innocent blood. There is no other way, Spartan. Destroy the oath. Kill Ares. Have your revenge. I was never the warrior my father wanted me to be. But please, all I ask, give me an honorable death. With the death of Orcos, the blood oath to Ares was finally broken, and the painful truth rushed back to Kratos' mind. The truth of the murder he committed, the slaughter of his wife and child, the carnage forged from his relentless ambition, surfaced in perfect clarity, and became the visions that would haunt him all of his days.
now free of the Fury's madness, but still tortured by the truth of his past. Kratos left the only home he'd ever known, and set out to undo all that he had wrought. Suffering for years, Kratos, the once great general, now known as the Ghost of Sparta, had pledged himself as a champion to the gods of Olympus. In return, he hoped only to rid himself of the nightmares that haunted him for far too long. But for now, his only respite, his only relief from the sins of his past, was found in the heat of battle. And on this day, Kratos had been called upon by the gods to confront an unthinkable evil, unleashed on the city of Attica by the invading Persian army. wrought on this city, Persian. Evil? It is not evil that I bring, Spartan. I bring the might of Persia and the sacrament of purification. As we speak, my basilisk cleanses this land so that it may embrace the glory of the Persian Empire. Olympus has sent a message, and I am here to deliver it. <laughs> then you are just a messenger. So take this message back to your little gods. It will take more than a pathetic Spartan to stop the power of the Empire. Please. Please, spare my life, and I will give you all that you ask. You have nothing I want, Persian. Take my kingdom, my women, my gold. I won't take your riches. But I will take your life! Fulfilling his commitment to the gods, Kratos defeated the basilisk brought forth by the Persians. But this small victory would not satisfy the man who had come to be known as the Ghost of Sparta. Is this all you would have me do? Is there nothing else? Seeing the sun plummet through the sky and the world plunge into darkness, Kratos knew this was not a sign from the gods. What treachery is this? Setting his sights on the glowing horizon, Kratos made his way toward the mysterious light. But there was more afoot than Kratos could possibly know. Kratos stood was the sun chariot of Helios, the very chariot that the fire steeds pulled across the sky every day, allowing the brilliance of Helios to shine down on all mankind. Kratos. Athena, what madness has befallen us? Kratos, there is not much time. Olympus needs you. I grow tired of the gods' request, Athena. I have given enough. Now take these nightmares from my head! It is not for you to say when your servitude ends. You will earn your freedom in time. But for now, Olympus needs your unquestioning obedience. 
the god of the sun has been torn from the sky. This temple on which you stand is the chariot of Helios. Without their master to reign them, the fire steeds have driven the sun chariot into the earth. And without Helios, there is no one to keep Morpheus from seizing permanent power. Many of the gods have fallen into a deep slumber. Soon, all will succumb to the black grip of Morpheus. What would you have me do? You must find Helios, and return him to the sky. Lest the world of gods and man be lost forever. Only his light can release the grasp of Morpheus. Athena! Athena! I am grateful you have come, Ghost of Sparta. The Titan Atlas has been freed from the pits of Tartarus and has taken my brother Helios from his rightful place in the sky. What does Atlas want with the Sun God? Helios holds within him the power of the Sun, a power so great it can destroy the world. It cannot be trusted in the hands of a Titan. Please, take the Sun Shield from his throne. Walk through the gates of Olympus, and you will find me. Hurry, Kratos. Even now, my brother suffers at the hand of Atlas. With the release of the Fire Steeds, Kratos was now in the hands of the beasts. And where they would take him, he did not know. pulled Kratos away from the grip of Morpheus, they crossed into the underworld. But in the land of the dead, they could go no further, for these beings of light were not welcome in Hades. Kratos found himself on the very edge of Hades, the land where no mortal had set foot. Here, where the souls of the dead walk their fated path, Kratos knew that for him, this was merely the beginning.
slave to no one, Charon. We share a common fate, Kratos. The gods will release neither of us from our torture. Be gone. It is not yet your time, mortal. By the hands of Zeus, the Titans had been bound and shackled in their torment for a thousand years, with no hope of escape. Now the chains that once held the Titan Atlas lay broken, and only one question plagued the thoughts of Kratos. Who will release such evil? Atlas, and they would not hold me either. The gods have obviously taken pity on their slaves. You underestimate me, Charon. This time I will not be so merciful. Having defeated Charon, Kratos journeyed deeper into Hades and closer to his goal. For in the distance, the bright light of Helios illuminated all of the underworld. But something on the shore caught his attention. And to Kratos, it almost seemed an apparition. Calliope! Upon seeing his daughter, Kratos realized that all that he had been working for, all that he had wanted, was within reach. Years of service to the gods had not delivered him from his pain. Never had it eased the burden of his past. And now, Calliope was found. Calliope! Where are you? Kratos looked, but his daughter was nowhere to be seen. In the middle of the room sat a graceful figure, a figure he recognized all too well. Persephone, wife of Hades, and queen of the undead. Where is my daughter, witch? Choose your words carefully, ghost of Sparta. You address the goddess of the underworld. Your daughter is well. She lives among the pure souls in the Elysian fields. Lead me to her! Have you forgotten, Kratos? The Olympians need you. They slumber at the hand of Morpheus. I have faithfully served the gods, yet they do not give me what I ask. I grow weary of their demands. The gods on Olympus failed me too, Kratos. I was betrayed by Zeus and tricked by my husband, Hades. Now I am to stay in the underworld as queen of the dead, to serve the fallen and care for them as my own children. Persephone! I demand to see my daughter! As you wish. If Calliope is your true desire, I can help you. But be warned, Ghost of Sparta. The world of man will suffer because of your choice. I care little for the world and its suffering! Where is she? If you are to see your daughter again, you must become worthy of Elysium. Cast your weapons at the Forsaken Tree, and let it release the evils of your past. Only then will you be free of your sins, and be granted passage through the Divine Gates.
Calliope! Father? My child. Why did you go? I am here now, child. And I will not leave you again. I have watched over you pathetic mortals for a thousand years, and it is always the same. Serving yourself before the needs of others has always been your flaw. But no matter. For now you serve my purpose. It is time for all that came before to end. The Titan will fulfill his role and finish what I have started. I released Atlas. You? As you were pathetically disarming yourself, Atlas completed the task I set him out to do. With the power of the sun in his hands, it is only a matter of time before he destroys the pillar that holds the world. And Olympus with it. But why? Do you think it was my choice to wed a man I did not love? Live a life I did not choose? I was betrayed by the very gods that once saw me as their own, but no more. Once the pillar is destroyed, the world will revert into chaos. And what is to become of you? I will have my peace and be free from this miserable existence. I will perish, but it is my choice. Father, what's happening? I'm scared. In your selfish choice to be with your daughter, you have caused her ruin. No. Elysium falls to Kratos. She will perish. No! I will not let the gods take her from me again! Father! The choice was clear to him, yet impossible to make. To stay with his daughter meant the end of the world and the end of her. To stop Persephone and Atlas would mean forsaking his daughter forever. While his hatred and anger for the gods grew ever stronger, he knew there was but one thing to do. Kratos knew his destiny was not with Calliope. The fates were never that kind. Spartan, witness the end. is now clear to me. I will serve them! And they will keep their promise to free me from my past! I ask you, Spartan, what good is the promise of an Olympian? 
It is all I have, Atlas! We will meet again, Spartan. The fates have deemed it. One day, you will regret what you have done here. The mighty Atlas was left in chain, cursed to forever hold the world on his shoulders. Greater penance than even Zeus himself had placed on the Titans. The fate of Atlas had been sealed, and the goddess Persephone was no more. Kratos had saved mankind, but that mattered little to him. By forsaking his daughter, he had abandoned the only person he ever cared for. What he had long sought and finally found was now forever lost. As the sun chariot rose higher in the sky, and the might of Helios shone once again on the world. Morpheus retreated to the shadows. Kratos gained little satisfaction from his victory. With years of servitude in front of him, he would need to confront his past and fight to reclaim the humanity he lost on the day his dark legend was born. He has again served us well, Athena. He is a remarkable mortal. He is weak. Shall we help him? He'll live. They must. They were real! The gods came to me, told me their champion would come and rescue us from the Hydra. But you're too late! We're pinned down! Oh, these creatures, they came from nowhere. The ships are all destroyed, all hope is lost, Spartan, even for you... Lord Poseidon, Kratos... Before you reach Athens, there is a task you must complete. This beast, this Hydra, it has terrorized my seas for far too long. Your skills are admirable, but you will need assistance. You will need the power of the gods. Take this weapon, Kratos. Take this power and use it to defeat your enemies. Get them away from the ship! Why won't they die? It's the giant one! He keeps healing the others! No, I... God! We'll never get out of here! Doomed! We're doomed! We're all... Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you! Thank the gods you came back for me! I didn't come back for you. No! His only solace was the sea, endlessly sailing from one harbor to the next in service to the gods of Olympus. All his hopes rested with them. Athena! Ten years, Athena. I have faithfully served the gods for ten years. When will you relieve me of these nightmares? We request one final task of you, Kratos. Your greatest challenge awaits in Athens, where even now my brother Ares lays siege as we speak. Athens is on the verge of destruction. It is the will of Ares, my great city fall. Zeus has forbidden the gods from waging war on each other. That is why it must be you, Kratos. Only a mortal trained by a god has a chance at defeating Ares. And if I am able to do this, to kill a god, then the visions, they will end? Complete this final task, and the past that consumes you will be forgiven. Have faith, Kratos. The gods do not forget those who come to their aid. Leaving the rotting carcass of the Hydra behind, Kratos set sail once more. His greatest challenge and freedom from his growing madness lay before him in the ancient city. Run! Run! The beasts have taken Athens! Look out! No! No! Stay away from me! <laughs> And with that act, Kratos set in motion the events that would lead to his downfall. Kratos, as Athena herself has foretold. But you are late, perhaps too late to save Athens. Or is it Athens you have come to save? No, I, I can't! We must not stop! And when the Oracle Let's looked go. into his soul, she saw a beast as well as a man. Once a captain in the Spartan army, Kratos had begun his command with only 50 soldiers. But soon his numbers grew to the thousands. His tactics were brutal, but effective. Drunk with power, he was feared by all, except one. His wife was the only one to brave his fury. How much is enough, Kratos? When will it end? When the glory of Sparta is known throughout the world. The glory of Sparta. You did this for yourself. His desire for conquest knew no bounds. But that which he desired would ultimately consume him. By the gods, why would Athena send one such as you? Stay out of my head! Choose your enemies wisely, Kratos. Your brute strength alone will not be enough to destroy Ares. Only one item in the world will allow you to defeat a god. Pandora's box, which lies far beyond the walls of Athens, hidden by the gods across the desert to the east. But be warned, Kratos. Many have gone in search of Pandora's box. None have returned. Kratos, the journey forward is perilous, but one you must complete if you are to have any hope of saving Athens. The Oracle spoke of Pandora's box. Can it be real? The box exists. It is the most powerful weapon a mortal can wield. 
And with such a weapon, I could defeat Ares. With the box, many things become possible. And so it is hidden well, far across the desert of lost souls. There is safe passage through the deadly sands, but only those who hear and follow the siren's song will discover it. You must find the sirens, Kratos. Only they can guide you to Kronos, the Titan. A Titan lives? Kronos is the last. Zeus has commanded him to wander the desert endlessly, the Temple of Pandora chained to his back until the swirling sands rip the very flesh from his bones. Stay true to the song of the siren, Kratos. Your journey begins here. Pray it leads you back to Athens with Pandora's box. The wrecked bodies of those who had gone in search of Pandora's box lay before him, and at once Kratos knew who was responsible. For this was not the first time he'd seen the ruined Ares and his minions had left in their wake. Kratos had experienced it firsthand years before. The youngest and boldest captain in the Spartan army, Kratos inspired fierce loyalty in his men. It had always been enough to carry them through any battle until this day. The barbarians to the east numbered in the thousands and descended on the Spartans without mercy. The battle lasted mere hours. The discipline and training of the Spartans did little to stem the tide of the merciless barbarians. The soldiers faced a massacre, while their young captain faced the end of his brilliant career and his life. But to Kratos, victory was worth any price, even his soul. Ares! Destroy my enemies, and my life is yours. That desperate call for aid would come to haunt Kratos for all his days. By the gods, what have I become? Kratos had been in service to the gods long enough to know the harpy had been sent as a warning, a reminder from his former master of the decision that had cost Kratos everything. Had it been that long since he'd almost met his end at the hands of the barbarians? That long since he'd traded everything to save himself? Ares! The sky split apart and the god of war stepped through. Descending from Olympus, he saw the makings of a god in a mere mortal. Ares would save Kratos. He would turn him into the perfect warrior, his servant on Earth. Only a simple pledge of loyalty was required. My life is yours, Ares. From this day, I shall carry forth your will. And his fate was sealed. As promised, Ares rescued his new disciple, bringing forth the power of a god, destroying those who would slaughter Kratos and his men. As for Kratos, no mere sword and shield would befit the newest servant of the god of war. The blades of chaos, forged in the foulest depths of Hades. Once attached, the chains remained so, chained and seared to the flesh, a part of the bearer's body, a permanent reminder of Kratos' pledge. In return, ultimate power. The rage of Ares exploded from within. 
But soon, he would learn the true cost of such power. A cost too high even for Kratos to pay. Wretched beast! I know who it is you serve! Return to your master! Tell the God of War I am his no longer. Tell him he is not safe while I walk the earth. I will find Pandora's box. And I will use it to see him tremble and fall before me. The path before Kratos was clear, but still, the memories came rushing back as familiar and permanent as the blades chained to his wrists. Memories of what he'd done in the name of Ares. Memories of how he'd become a servant to the god of war. A beast, his humanity robbed and replaced only with the will to murder. No one was safe. Entire armies fell before Kratos and the soldiers who followed him on his unending path of conquest all in the name of his master. Those who offered resistance of any kind were dealt with quickly. They've built this temple to offer prayers to Athena! This entire village stands as an affront to Lord Ares! Burn this village! Burn it to the ground! Emboldened by the god of war, Kratos' army was ruthless feared throughout the world for their brutality. All that mattered was conquest in the name of Kratos, their great leader, who had become near invincible. He feared nothing. But there was something about this temple, something forbidden. All his instincts told him he should never cross its threshold, never step inside. Beware, Kratos. The dangers in the temple are greater than you know. But the village oracle's warning fell on deaf ears. His ambition would not be denied. All who opposed him would die. In that instant, the glory he had reveled in turned to horror. The image of his two final victims would stay with him for all his days. With that act, Kratos knew he could no longer serve his master. He had but one calling now, the death of Ares. He would murder the god of war. You will die for what you did that night. After a thousand years, Pandora's box was at last freed of its confines. Kratos had found the means to destroy the god of war. Far away in Athens, Ares knew Kratos had succeeded in his quest. So little Spartan. You've recovered Zeus's precious box, but you will not live long enough to see it opened. I will see to that. <laughs> Goodbye, Spartan. You will rot in the depths of Hades for all eternity. As the life began to leave Kratos, his thoughts returned to that fateful night. Even in death, the memories, the visions would not fade. For how could he forget spilling the blood of his own family? A cruel trick orchestrated by the god of war. My wife, my child, how they were left in Sparta. You are becoming all I'd hoped you'd be, Kratos. Now, with your wife and child dead, nothing will hold you back. You'll become even stronger. You will become death itself. 
But as the flames consumed the temple, Kratos realized his true enemy was the god who once saved his life. The same god who had now taken everything from him. Ares! From this night forward, the mark of your terrible deed will be visible to all. The ashes of your wife and child will remain fastened to your skin, never to be removed. And with that curse, all would know him for the beast he had become. His skin white with the ash of his dead family. The ghost of Sparta had been born. In the end, in death, he had failed. As the minions of Ares claimed Pandora's box, Kratos' life faded, and his cursed soul was cast into the fires of Hades. And Kratos fell into the underworld, the river Styx beckoning below, the currents strong enough to carry even the strongest mortal to his eternal resting place. But Kratos had no intention of resting yet. He intended to live, to return to Earth and complete his quest. Let go, fool! You won't drag me down to that cursed river! There is a task left for me above. I will see it completed. You again? Go! Kratos, and not a moment too soon. I only finished digging just a moment ago. Who are you? Now that is an interesting question. But for now, you must hurry. Athens needs you. But how did you know I was- Athena isn't the only god keeping watch on you, Spartan. Complete your task, Kratos, and the gods will forgive your sins. Kratos had traversed the desert of lost souls, bested the deadly traps of Pandora's temple, and escaped Hades itself. There was but one task left. Zeus! Do you see now what your son can do? You cast your favor on Athena, but her city lies in ruins before me. And now, even Pandora's box is mine! Would you have me use it against Olympus itself? Kratos returned even from the underworld. Is this the best you can do, father? You send a broken mortal to defeat me, the god of war? After thousands of years, Pandora's box was finally opened. The power of the gods unleashed. You are still just a mortal. Every bit as weak as the day you begged me to save your life. I am not the same man you found that day. The monster you've created has returned. To kill you. You have no idea what a true monster is, Kratos. Your final lesson is at hand. Perhaps there is a chance 
you can undo the deeds of the past. The nightmares that had haunted Kratos for the past ten years had now taken form and substance. His past stood before him. Gods, can this be real? Daddy! Ares! There is nothing you can put in my- Kratos, please take us home! Do you see, God of War? You took them once! But you'll never have them again! You cannot save them, Kratos. You gave them up in your quest for ultimate power. There is a price to pay for everything you gain. Not that price. I didn't want them to die. No price is too high for what I offered! And you rejected me! A god! Now, you will have no power. No magic! All that is left for you is death! No! Oh, not... not again. You should have joined me, Kratos! You should have been stronger! By the gods... The battle was not over. The gods, it seemed, had a final gift for Kratos. I still have allies in Olympus, Ares. Now, you will see how strong I am. Remember, Kratos. It was I who saved you in your time of greatest need. I haven't forgotten, Ares. I remember how you saved me. That night... I was trying to make you a great warrior. You succeeded. Kratos had done me impossible. A mortal defeating a god. Ares was no more. The city had been saved and would thrive again. Athena, rid me of the memories that haunt me still. You have done well, Kratos. Though we mourn the death of our brother, the gods are indebted to you. We promised your sins would be forgiven, and so they are. But we never promised to take away your nightmares. No man, no god could ever forget the terrible deeds you have done. The fate of Kratos was not as if the gods had other plans. Born aloft like a feather, Kratos found himself risen from the sea and placed on solid earth. You will not die this day, Kratos. The gods cannot allow one who has performed such service to perish by his own hand. Ares' tactics were brutal. His path of destruction had to be stopped. But now there is an empty throne in Olympus, and a new god of war is needed. Take these stairs, Kratos. They lead to your ultimate reward. From that point forward, 
throughout the rest of time. Whenever men rode forth to battle for good cause or for evil, they did so under the watchful eye of the man who had defeated a god. They were driven forward by Kratos, the mortal who had become the new god of war. Kratos, the ghost of Sparta had taken his place amongst the Olympians as the god of war. The bloodshed, the relentless battles, had finally brought him here. Ares was dead, and though Olympus beckoned, visions of his mortal existence still haunted him. <laughs> Kratos knew that this was not a mere vision, for with the gods, nothing was ever as it seemed. The vision of his past set Kratos in search of answers, answers that lay in the temple of Poseidon, deep within the city of Atlantis. This is not a wise course of action, Kratos. It was a dream, nothing more. The visions still haunt me, Athena. The visions you promised to take away. But this vision, I can change. Perhaps it is a vision best left unchanged. There is more to this than you know. Please. I have missed you, Kratos. What treachery is this? Another trick of the gods? No, my son. It is me. Your father brought me here. I have waited so long. My father? <coughs> We do not have much time, Kratos. Your brother does not have much time. Demos? He lives trapped in torment, deep in death's domain. But he's gone. You told me that he was- I'm sorry. I had no choice but to lie. You must listen now. The temple of Ares in Sparta holds the secret that will lead to your brother. The road will not be easy, but you must help him. You must. Kratos, <coughs> he needs you. This cannot be. Why? Why would you do this? Your father forbid me to tell my you. My father? Who is my father?
find your brother, Kratos. Go to Sparta. Find Deimos. He needs you. Mother! What have I done? With her last breath, she released the weight of her burden and finally found the peace she had long sought. But for Kratos, the rage was almost palpable. Fate had once again pushed him to the brink of madness. It has been long since our kind waited for the one destined to free us. Gaia foretold of our salvation, ghost of Sparta. I have not come here for you or your kind. Do not be so naive. Kratos, your path led you to me. You need my help. I need nothing from you, Thera. If you do not free me, then you will share my fate. You will die here with me. Free me. Free me and my power will be yours. Without it, we will both remain prisoners of our torments! The battle with Scylla had shaken the very foundation of Poseidon's kingdom. Atlantis was sinking. But that mattered little to the ghost of Sparta. Athena! You lied to me! The gods lied to me! My brother lives. He lives! Athena! Don't let your rage blind you, Kratos. There is much you do not know. Be warned. They will all try to stop you. <laughs> We have angered them. The gods. They sent a message to all who defy their glory. <laughs> but we... We survived. Spared us. She, she... Who spared you? The daughter. A message to the ghost of Sparta. <laughs> The labor begins. <coughs> Death awaits the ghost. <coughs> he will never get the skull. The skull. Fool of all, Kratos. The ghost of Sparta. The slayer of Ares. And now, 
the destroyer of Atlantis. You should take heed, Spartan. The destruction of Poseidon's kingdom will not bode well on Olympus. I care little for the gods. And yet you walk beside them. I did not ask for the throne of Ares. You were given the honor to walk among the gods, and yet you spit on it like it was dirt. The gods can keep their honor. I wish only to find my brother. Ah, yes, the other one. <laughs> Try if you must, but you will not succeed. You will never find him. And in the wake of your destruction, you have sunk the only path to your salvation. This is all that awaits you at the end of your journey. Not before I find Demos. Be wise, my son, and turn back now. Do not seek the domain of death. <laughs> Don't let your guard down, Demos! A Spartan warrior never lets his back hit the ground. Even in death, a Spartan stands tall for battle. You are a Spartan, are you not? Yes, Kratos. Erinus, the daughter of Thanatos, the god of death. Ghost of Sparta, the god slays. Your brother belongs to Thanatos. So does your blood. You cannot stop me. Nothing can. A Spartan warrior never lets his back hit the ground. Even in death, a Spartan stands tall for battle. You are a Spartan, are you not? Yes, Kratos. After the great war with the Titans, the Oracle had foretold the demise of the Olympian gods and the destruction of Olympus. She saw that it would be brought about not by the hands of the Titans, who thirsted for revenge, but by the hands of a mortal, a marked warrior. Whoever controlled the marked war controlled the fate of Olympus. Ikari! Patronalessing spart of Thera Ivan Kali! Forgive me.
Demos. I will find you. Little girl. Where are the stakes? Am I in Hades? I must be. Finally, I know what I must do. Kratos knew that deep within the raging abyss lay the answer to a question he was not yet prepared to ask. Was Demos still alive? in my kingdom! I shall not forget this, ghost of Sparta! You will answer for this affront! It is not too late to turn back, Kratos. No good will come of this journey. The gods... I am done with the gods! Return to Olympus and leave me be. Your brother was a threat to Olympus, Kratos. What was done, had to be done. Forgive me. Forgive me. Why? Why did you help him? I was there for you, Kratos. You had to be saved. You should have saved him. 
I should have saved him. There is more to this than you could possibly know, Kratos. Lies and riddles. That's all you give me, Athena. I will save my brother. And you will stay out of my way.
Kratos, the beginning of the end. It is done. You have let go of that which made you mortal. Your ties to this world are severed. You are ready to be a god. Is this all a game to you, Athena? It is not over, Athena. The gods will pay for this.
Forgive me. Brother. By defeating Ares, Kratos, the once mortal warrior, became the new god of war. However, Kratos soon found himself alone on Olympus, shunned by his fellow gods. But Kratos had no need for the love of petty gods. He had found a new family in the warriors of Sparta, gaining solace from his past in the carnival to battle. My lord, Kratos! Another city is ready to fall! Soon all shall know the glory of Sparta! Enough, Kratos! With every city you destroy, the wrath of Olympus grows. Soon I will no longer be able to protect you. I need no protection. Do not forget that it was I who made you a god, Ghost of Sparta. Do not turn your back on me. I owe you nothing. Then you leave me no choice. Kratos had turned the pain of his memories into hatred. Hatred for the gods, who had refused to free him from the nightmares of his past deeds. And so he went to Rhodes to deliver the final blow to the besieged city.
Kratos. I do not need your help, Zeus. I can take down this beast. I offer you more than help, Kratos. I offer you power. I offer you the Blade of Olympus. It was this blade that ended the Great War and defeated the Titans. Drain your godly powers into the sword, Kratos. Only then will you reach your full potential. Why do you aid me now? What I do now, I do for the good of all Olympus. Placing all of his godly power into the weapon had rendered Kratos mortal, vulnerable to the arms of death. Bloodied and beaten, he knew that to have any hope of survival, he must retrieve the Blade of Olympus. Humiliated before his Spartan army, Kratos dragged himself up from the dirt. Attend to this matter myself. Athena refused to undo her mistake. Imagine caring for a creature such as yourself. Why? Why would you betray me? It is you who would betray me. Am I to stand idly by while Olympus is threatened? Your hands are already stained by the blood of a god. I will not let Ares' fate be my own. The gods are petty and pathetic, and your rule is weak. I grow tired of this insolence. I am the king of Olympus. And it is my way that is the way of the gods. You must vow to forever serve me. I serve no one. Then you'll leave me no choice. Submit! I would rather die! <laughs> It did not have to be this way, my son. This path is of your choosing. 
<laughs> a choice from the gods is as useless as the gods themselves. Even now, as you draw your last breath, you continue to defy me? Everything you have ever known, Kratos, will now suffer because of your sacrilege. You will never be the ruler of Olympus. The cycle ends here. As the life drained out of Kratos, the arms of Hades reached out to claim their prize. But there was more resting on Kratos' shoulders than he could know. Kratos was destined to bring about change so severe that it would shake the very pillars of Mount Olympus. His death was something that I could not allow. Ares! Destroy my enemies, and my life is yours! This is not the end. Who are you? I am the Titan Gaia, ever-present mother of Earth. I have watched you become a powerful warrior, and I have been with you through all the events of your life. But I can no longer simply watch. We will help you defeat Zeus. Death is an escape, Kratos. You are a warrior of Sparta, not a coward. Only a coward accepts death. I am no coward. Then you must fight. I will show you the way to the Sisters of Fate. Only with their power will you defeat Zeus. be killed. I never lost faith. Return to Sparta and prepare for battle. But our brothers are dead. You can still hold a sword. Spartans do not surrender. Do as your god commands. And what of you, my lord? I am going after Zeus. It seems I still have an eyes on the witness. Zeus 
Olympus and the blade which holds all your power will forevermore be out of reach. Your only hope is to find the Sisters of Fate and travel back through time to the moment Zeus betrayed you, for only then will he truly be vulnerable. Kratos, to succeed, you will need more help than I can give. you in this torment. Zeus, my only crime was helping mankind. When I took the fires of Olympus to the mortals, Zeus considered it a betrayal. As punishment, he made me mortal and condemned me to be savagely consumed every day by this Cursed bird! And then, with the fall of night, I am healed. How long have I been here? How long have I suffered this curse? I truly do not know. Please, Ghost of Sparta, release me from my torment! from the torment of the gods. His flesh has tainted the fires of Olympus and embodied it with the power of the Titans. These ashes will give you great strength, Kratos. Take them within you and use this strength to defeat your enemies. of fate. Here, the path to your true destiny begins. The island is fraught with danger. It was created to prevent all from reaching the three sisters of fate. The power of the sisters will allow you to return to that moment when Zeus betrayed and killed you, Kratos, thus changing your fate 
and the fate of others. Find a way across to the island of Kratos, for there lies your path to the Sisters of Fate. Why do you aid me, Gaia? Zeus must be stopped, Kratos. The story of revenge has been told before. You know of the mighty titan Kronos. So fearful was Kronos of the Oracle's prediction that his own children would rise against him, that he decided to imprison them all in his belly. Rhea stood by and watched as her children were devoured one by one. But when the time came for the last of her children to be eaten, she was unable to bear another such loss and devised a trick to save the baby Zeus. Rhea commanded the eagle to secret her son away. He was taken to an island far beyond the watchful eyes of Kronos. his desire to free his brothers and sisters from Kronos. But my foolish act of compassion would haunt the Titans forever. For in sparing Zeus, we allowed him to return to us with vengeance in his heart. He betrayed all of the Titans for the sins of just one. The sins of his father, Kronos. of Sparta, then what they say is true. Theseus, of all the fools who try, you would be the last I would expect to seek an audience with the Sisters of Fate. And you are the last one I would expect to become a servant of the Fates. I serve and protect the Sisters of Fate for the glory of Zeus. The time of Zeus is coming to an end. Hmm. You seek the sisters to kill Zeus. <laughs> 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 
You no longer possess the powers of a god, Kratos. I doubt you're capable of killing me, <laughs> let alone the king of Olympus. Let me pass, and I will let you live, old man. I do not think that is your choice to make. Come forward. Let us finally see who is the greatest warrior in all of Greece. The rage of the Titans fuel your blades, Kratos. Fallen God, none defy what the fates decree. That is how it must be. Only death awaits you at the end of your journey. My death is what began this journey. The fates have not deemed victory for you. Your soul will never find peace for what you have become. I am what the gods have made me!
Hidden and deep within the spire lie the sisters. They control the threads of fate. Gain control of your thread, and you will be able to return to the moment when Zeus betrayed you. Took him. All our men are dead. Jason has the fleece. You must save him. The fleece is the key to Medusa's temple. Escape! I have faced test after test in search of the sisters. And now you have dashed it all away! You certainly do not live up to your reputation, Ghost of Sparta. But perhaps this is a test. Are you watching me now, sisters? Give me a sign! Am I? The great Perseus to kill this fallen god to receive an audience with you? Will that allow me to bring my love back from the grasp of Hades himself? If not, at least I can bathe in the glory of being the one who brought down the mighty Kratos, the slayer of gods. Although I hardly think a harpy's fool such as yourself deserves such praise.
There's no passage here. You will never make it across. You think you can, but you cannot. Do you hear me? It's my wings that will make it across. It is my test! Do you not know who I am? Have you not heard of Icarus? It is my fate to make it across! None of them! This is my test! The sisters will grant me an audience, not you. You will die, White Warrior! You will die! I will reach the Sisters of Fate, and I will use your wings to do so. The Sisters will not allow you, a fallen god, to bathe in their light! The Sisters' Temple is far above Kratos. You must get back to the surface. Foolish warrior, you have not changed. Hmm. And how do you plan to defeat the king of the gods? By taking the blade of Olympus back and driving it into Zeus's heart. It holds the power I once wielded as the god of war. The blade of Olympus. I have not heard that name in many years. Since... Since the end of the Great War. Bloodlust and power raged within Zeus. His desire to rule over mortals was intolerable to us. The war between the Titans and the Olympians forged the landscape of the mortal world. It was a war 
that we knew the Titans must win. If we lost, it would mean an end to the golden age of the Titan rule. Peace and prosperity for mankind would be no more. continued despite my capture. Then Zeus created a powerful weapon to end the Great War. A weapon forged from the heavens and the earth. The Blade of Olympus. I banish you to the darkest pits of Tartarus! of the underworld, banished to the darkest pits of Hades. I would have destroyed Zeus if you had not put me here, slave of the gods. I no longer do the bidding of the gods, Atlas. I have stomached their betrayal for the last time. Show me the way to the sisters, and I will kill Zeus once and for all. What Gaia says is true, ghost of Sparta. You are a powerful warrior and a worthy ally of the Titan. Then tell me how to find the temple of the Sisters of Fate! None. Not even the Titan know how to reach the Sisters' temple. But it is said he who finds it will wield great power. I have given you the last of my magic, Spartan. And I will help you across the great chasm. But that is all I can offer. Sisters who control the threads, keep going. Another searches for what only the sisters may give. Read it! As proof that he is worthy. No! Please, no! I cannot do it! Read! Accept this sacrifice of my blood.
Well done, Maria. With this sacrifice, you have proven your resolve to seek out the sisters of fate. However, this is but a small step in your quest to gain an audience with us. I will not let you reach the sisters! Read the words! Hear me, noble sisters, who forge our destinies. Another seeks an audience to change their fate. Read! As proof that he is worthy. No, Kratos! This will be the end of us all! You must stop! Your purpose! Die with honor! I give my blood to illuminate the way. Kratos, like the fiery phoenix who is resurrected from his ashes, you too search for a second chance at life. Find these ashes and free the phoenix. Only then will you find the path to the Temple of the Face. I have come too far to fail! You? My lord? I told you to return to Sparta! Why do you leave Sparta unprotected? Sparta is no more. What treachery is this? Zeus. He came under the cloak of darkness into Sparta.
the people cried out for you. They begged for their god to save them. But you did not come. No choice. I had to seek out the sisters to change the fate of our beloved Sparta. For I am all that is left. <coughs> now you are all that is left. I have faith that our brothers of Sparta will live on through the true God of War. <coughs> Doing the bidding of the gods! Come down here and face me now, Zeus! There is much at stake here. I cannot defeat the gods. Victory favors you, Kratos. But you must grab hold of your destiny and command it. There is a war on the horizon, and we need you to lead us into battle. To what end? The death of Zeus. If you relent, Zeus will torment you still. He will not rest knowing you live. And when you die, his brother Hades will see that your soul is tortured for all eternity. You will have no rest until you destroy him. Take within you this fire that burned your beloved Sparta. Let it fuel your rage and hasten your steps towards destiny. The time to act is upon us, Kratos. This battle is just the beginning of a great war that is to come. Let the rage of the Titans fuel your blades, Kratos.
been expecting you. Out of my way. Your resolve, resolve is admirable. admirable. Even if it is misguided. None can change their destiny, Kratos. We sisters determine the fate of all. It was I who deemed that the Titans lose the Great War. And I who have allowed you to come this far. It is not your destiny to kill Zeus. You no longer control my destiny. I see Gaia has filled you with her lies. I have warned you. Let me pass. <laughs> you have always amused us, Kratos. But know this, mortal. There is no power greater than the Sisters of Fate. If you challenge us, you will die. You do not defy fate, Kratos! For we have woven the events of your life. Now, that life is at an end. <laughs> we control your destiny, foolish mortal! With a win, we can end your life! <laughs> or allow you to live. Search your memory, Kratos. The sword which you stand on delivered your victory against Ares. Without it, you will be the one who dies this day, not Ares. We can change your past and set your future. This is the power of the fates! <laughs> was never meant for a mortal like you! Otto weaves the thread of life for every mortal, god, and titan. Find your thread, and you will be able to control the mirrors of the fates, the source of their power, and use them as a gateway to return to the time when Zeus betrayed you. Sisters, are dead. Mm. I, a 
underestimated you. A mistake I do not intend to repeat. have already deemed me victorious. No, Kratos! Stop! Athena! No! Why do you sacrifice yourself? To save Olympus. I do not seek to destroy Olympus. Only Zeus. Zeus is Olympus. <laughs> he brought this to himself. Because of fear, Kratos. A fear felt by his father, Kronos. A fear that wrought the Great War. A fear that drove Zeus to kill you. His own son. His son? Just as Zeus was compelled to destroy his father, Kronos. You are compelled to do the same. No son should destroy his own father. No. I have no father. God after God will deny you, Kratos. 
They will protect Zeus. Zeus must live so that Olympus will prevail. If all on Olympus will deny me my vengeance, then all on Olympus will die. I have lived in the shadow of the gods for long enough. The time of the gods has come to an end. Remember, Kratos, you have the power to control time itself. been expecting you, ghost of Sparta. The gods are far too powerful for us to defeat now. All on Olympus tremble at my name. Zeus is weak. Ares and Athena are dead, and I wield the blade. We can win the great war, but not in this time. Together, we will destroy the petty gods, and we will see Olympus crumble before us. Come with me, Gaia. Return to my time. Victory awaits. We have faced far worse than this one fallen mortal. But we are the gods. We whom the mortals worship. We who rule over this land. We who will not be swept aside by this petulant fool. Brothers, put aside the petty grievances that have splintered us for so long. We will unite, we will stand together, and I will wipe out this plague! Olympus will prevail! that ended the Great War and brought forth the reign of Mount Olympus. Born from the depths of the underworld, rooted in the river of souls, our mountain emerged out of the chaos. As it grew, so too did the might of the Olympians. He created a world of peace, a world of prosperity, a world that lives in the shadow and safety of my mountain. A mountain that has come to be the absolute measure of strength and power. Now, on this 
day. That power is to be tested. The mortal Kratos seeks to destroy all that I have wrought. Brothers, put aside the petty grievances that have splintered us for so long. We will unite. We will stand together. And I will wipe out this plague. Olympus will prevail! I bring the destruction of Olympus! The Titans will fail again!
challenge me, mortal? A god of Olympus? A true warrior does not hide, Poseidon! Leave the sea and face me! You have disrespected the gods for the last time, Kratos! Ah! Zeus should have kept you where you belong. No matter how many gods fall, there will always be another to stand against you. They will fall as well. The death of Olympus means the death of us all. Then prepare for your death, Poseidon. can no longer hide behind the skirts of Athena. Athena is dead because of the rage that consumes you, Kratos. What more will you destroy? The hands of death could not defeat me. The sisters of fate could not hold me. 
and you will not see the end of this day. I will have my revenge! Excellent child! I will tolerate your insolence no more! of Hades have never held me! Death cannot hold those in purpose, Kratos. Athena? I have missed you, Sparta. I... I don't... My sacrifice to save Zeus has brought me to a higher existence. You still appear to be an Olympian. Appearances can be deceiving, Kratos. So can the children of Olympus. Perhaps. But remember, my death came by your blade. My blade was meant for Zeus. Be quick with your words. As we speak, the war for Olympus rages on, and mankind suffers. Let them suffer. The death of Zeus is all that matters. Zeus will not fall as easily as Ares. To destroy the king of the gods, you must seek the source of his strength, the flame of Olympus. You once sacrificed yourself to save Zeus, and now you seek to destroy him? What has brought about this change? I see truth. Yes. 
Perhaps these will earn back your trust. These are the Blades of Exile. They will help guide you on your journey to the flame. Remember, as long as Zeus reigns, there is no hope for mankind. Destroy the flame craters, and the very foundations of Olympus will crumble. By the gods of Olympus and order of Zeus, we are the three judges. Face your final judgment, mortal. King Aeacus has found you wanting. King Radamanthus has found you worthy. It falls to me, King Minos, to make the final decision. Your future is cloaked in shadow. The realm of the afterlife is not yet ready for you. Beyond that door waits your destiny. Father? Calliope? Oh. You are not my daughter. No. But I know who you are. You know of me? They said you would come. Play with toys, Kratos. Show yourself, Hades. Another one of your tricks. As usual, Spartan. You are gravely mistaken. Face me, coward! So eager, Kratos. Relax. Soon enough we will have our time to play. Leave me be! I tell you, I have paid the price. Calm yourself, Smith God. A uh, uh, ghost of Sparta? It is you. Well, well, well. I thought Zeus would have killed you by now. I thought you would have escaped this cavern by now. <laughs> Zeus may have imprisoned me here, but you are the reason I live in torment. I did you no wrong, Hephaestus. I pursue only one Olympian. Well, as long as it's only one Olympian. <laughs> I seek the flame of Olympus. Do you know of it? For what purpose, Spartan? For the purpose I have chosen. Now tell me, do you know of the flame? All true children of Olympus know of it. They've all come to respect its power. But don't be fooled by its enticing glow. Neither God nor man can touch its lethal flame. I only need to find it. <laughs> if you can find your way out of the underworld, I'm sure you can find your way to the flame of Olympus. <laughs> you have been truly helpful, Hephaestus. Kratos? How do you know of me? You are the ghost of Sparta. Everyone knows who you are. Everyone is afraid of you. There are reasons for that. I'm not afraid of you. It is good you're not afraid, child. Fear is a heavy burden. I'm not a child, Kratos. It does not matter what you are. My concerns lay elsewhere. Kratos, please. I need you to free me. The quest for freedom is also a heavy I cannot help you. Welcome, Spartan. Come in! Make yourself at home. This time, you won't be leaving.
sense some bad blood between us, Kratos. Oh, all the memories. They're overwhelming, really. Let's see. How many sins have you committed against me? Oh, that's right. You murdered my niece, Safina. And what else? What else? And I have not forgotten that it was you who butchered my beautiful queen. I will see you suffer as I have suffered. Your soul is mine. Can it be? Does this mean Lord Hades rules no longer? The god of the underworld is dead. Dead? Ah, Hades deserved to suffer, though I thought his death impossible. Olympians overestimate themselves. <laughs> Interesting. I will keep that in mind, Spartan. <laughs> You need the soul of a god to use the Hyperion Gate, Kratos. And that one has not been used for centuries. I'm sure it's broken, otherwise I would have seen my beautiful... Uh, you know, Kratos, I wasn't always like this. A monster. I was once the most prized craftsman in all of Olympus. Zeus rewarded me with my marriage to the beautiful Aphrodite. My mother, Hera, bragged of my talent. But the day you killed Ares was the day my world was torn from me. That day, Zeus became the fiend you now know. Worst of all, he took my beloved daughter, Pandora. 
my reason for living. I spend my time here trying to recreate her. I fail again and again. She still lives, Spartan. I can feel it. You. You, Kratos. You can bring her back to me. Your child is not my concern. But surely you can understand. You were once a father, too. Remember your purpose, Kratos. The twilight is upon us. His death is our only hope. Understand this, Athena. Zeus will die. means to an end, Gaia. Nothing more. But I must face Zeus. The Titans must take down Olympus. No! This is my war, not yours. Save me from Atlas, and I promise to repay you in full. If you wish to repay me, 
Tell me where I can find the Flame of Olympus. The Flame? <laughs> you will never defeat Zeus, Spartan. <clears throat> you will forfeit your life in trying. Of all the lives you should worry about, Helios, mine is not one of them. Feel the power of the sun! Zeus, you must step into the flame to receive its power. You lie, Helios! Hephaestus told me the flame kills all who touch it. And you believe him? That freak has fallen from the graces of Olympus! That is exactly why I believe him. My death will not lead you to Zeus. That is where you are wrong. <laughs> Cannot help you. But you're the only one who can. I know it. I trust you. You shouldn't. Kratos, the ghost of Sparta, the fallen god, the cursed mortal. 
To catch a fly from the ass of Zeus is not worth my time, Hermes. A coward's words, Kratos. You don't try to catch me because you know you can't. Kratos, where are you off to today? <laughs> kill any family members lately? Oh, that's right. You're off to kill your father, Zeus. <laughs> Won't happen, can't happen. Kratos is on a fool's errand. Again. Never, never learn. Never, never change. Kratos the fool who killed his own blood. Kratos the fool among mortals and gods. Forever, ever cursed. Forever, ever doomed. Consumed by vengeance to his last breath. The Spartan lights the way to dusty death. <laughs> Pandora's box? What is the meaning of this? Your eyes do not deceive you, Kratos. It is the same box you opened years ago. The power to kill a god still rests inside. I released those powers when I killed Ares. No. Trapped inside that box, there is a stronger power. It has been missing from the world. It all began when Zeus triumphed over the Titans in the Great War. Zeus understood that the evils born from that battle, if left free, would destroy the world of man and gods. To contain these evils, Zeus commissioned Hephaestus to build a vessel strong enough to hold them. Fear. Greed. Hate. He locked them all away in the box in hopes that they would never again infect his reign. When you opened the box to kill Ares, you drew from the forbidden powers. After witnessing your victory, fear gripped Zeus. But the flame is deadly. How can I recover the box? With its namesake, Kratos. Pandora? She is the key to destroying the flame. The key to our revenge. This will be difficult, Spartan. A simple child will not trouble me, Athena. I hope you are right, Ghost of Sparta. But you lack speed. <laughs> You've been lucky in battle, Spartan, but your luck ends today. by a mortal. I thought Spartans fought with honor, and yet 
You seek to kill me when I have no way to defend myself? Not fair. But you have your own sense of honor. Right, Kratos? And what has that honor brought you? Nothing but nightmares of your... Today you may defeat me. But in the end, Kratos, in the end, you'll betray only yourself. Bravo! Bravo! Our hero has arrived. Applause for another bastard child of Zeus. Just in time for the final act. Hera. You look terrible, dear. Still wanting to kill my husband, I suppose? You know I seek revenge. I can't say that I blame you. Since you killed my son Ares, fear of you consumes him. His fears will not matter when he is dead. I'll drink to that. Hera, I seek the child of Pandora. Pandora? That wretched little thing my son Hephaestus created? Well. We can't have you do that, my dear. Destroy him. Hello, brother. This is not between us, Hercules. Isn't it? You were always Zeus's favorite. The air on Olympus affects your thinking. Zeus has no favorites. Think about it, brother. While I was stuck cleaning the Augean stables, he chose you to destroy Ares. Well, not convinced. How about this? While you were being crowned the god of war, I was sent to find an apple. <laughs> They called them labors. Ha! Perhaps he did allow me to kill the Nemean lion, but he made your name known amongst the people. A fierce warrior, a killer made hero, a man made a god. But this time, brother, this time I will destroy you. Call it my 13th and final labor. Soon I will become the god of war and claim the throne for myself. You Olympian, yet their reign is in the We'll see about that.
Kratos, I knew you'd come back. Tell me where you are. I hear something. He's close. Just tell me how to find you. The labyrinth! Find the labyrinth! Ah! Help! Help, Kratos! Pandora! Pandora, what's happened? Where are you? My son. You trifle with matters you cannot possibly understand. Stay away from this... this... thing. Zeus. Zeus! Aphrodite. I knew you would return to me. Kratos. Tell me, has Aphrodite conquered another god of war? That is a question you should ask your wife. I seek the labyrinth. I thought you sought only the flame. What could you possibly want in? No! Stay away from her! Stay away from Pandora, Kratos! You are the reason she is in the labyrinth! The reason I live here in hell! I have done you no wrong, Hephaestus! Oh, but you have, Spartan. You opened the box. I did what had to be done. Clearly, you don't understand. The evils of the Great War cannot easily be contained. I forged the box in a power greater than the gods themselves. The flame of Olympus. As the raw metal took shape, I realized the flame was the safest place to protect it. The lock was set. All that was needed was a key, a way to retrieve the box. Created from the very heart of the flame, the key took on a life of its own. Pandora. A child. Neither living nor dead. I grew to love her, Spartan. And she grew to love me as her father. When Zeus came to take the box, I hid Pandora away. I told him that storing the box on the back of Kronos would be the safest place. After all, who could best the Titan? I lied. I did it to save my child. Surely you can understand that. It was your triumph using the box that revealed my deceit. Zeus tortured me until I confessed the truth of my beloved Pandora. He took her away, leaving me alone in my torment. Uh, don't you understand? If you take her to the flame... Understand this, Smith God. I will stop at nothing to destroy Zeus. But if you... You're right, Spartan. If it means the death of Zeus, I'd be happy to help you. Perhaps. Yes, yes, of course. We'll need the Omphala stone. With it, I'll make you a weapon. I have weapons. Ah, but not like this. This weapon will give you the retribution you so rightly deserve. The stone rests in the pit of Tartarus. Bring it to me and I will help you. Me to the pits of Tartarus. 
I was tasked by the gods to kill Ares. You killed Ares out of your need for vengeance. But this time, retribution finally comes to me, Spartan.
to the challenge. I truly needed the old fellow stone, you'll see. Make it quick, old man. <laughs> A weapon such as this can't be rushed. Mm. Ah. This will be worth the wait. A fine weapon like no As I promised. Here is your retribution! <laughs> I told him to kill you. I told him the day you were born to kill you. But he would not have it. My stupid husband took pity. And now look what you have wrought. Look at this. Look at it. They're dying because of you. Everything is dying because of you. The sun is gone. The ocean swallowed the land. Disease infects what remains. I am doing all I can to keep them alive. But you... Your ruthless murdering of the gods has caused all of this! Ah! You think this garden is not protected? 
Your brute strength may have bested Hercules. But your simple mind will never find a way out. I look forward to watching you die here as an old man. Simple, mortal. How dare you challenge us? You think you can just walk away? We aren't finished. <laughs> what have you done? What have you done to me? You coward. You destroy all you touch. My beautiful Icarus! Ah, good, good. You have the Ice Storm. The Scorpion must be defeated. The Ice Storm! That is the secret of the Labyrinth. To escape it, we must assemble it! Oh, good, good. You, you've already started. I've seen the cubes moving into place. Now, once inside, you must use the gift of Boreas. It is the catalyst that drives the Labyrinth. You're not, but you're, but you, what have, what have you done with my child? My boy, where is my boy? Your son is dead, Daedalus. My boy, my, my child, no, no, no. I took the gift of Hades, the liquid fire, and the ice storm to create the power of the labyrinth. Create the power. The power to create, the power to destroy. The king of the gods has forsaken me. He said that if I built the labyrinth, I would see the return of my son. He said, he, he said that if I took the liquid fire, 
Oh, my boy. Oh, my child. journey is far from over, Pandora. By its end, you will not be back in me. I know I look it, but I'm not a child, Kratos. I've seen many terrible things. I'm not afraid. I understand what lies ahead. I saw Zeus torture my father. I saw him beat me because of me. I should have helped him, but I was afraid. Hephaestus did what every father should do. Protect his child. No! It's all my fault. I failed him because of fear. Fear is its own kind of darkness. In that darkness, I heard what the gods said about me. They called me a monster. Words mean nothing. Perhaps. But in their words, I heard fear. The fear of an ash-covered warrior. The fear of you. As the fear in the gods rose, mine was replaced by hope. Hope is for the weak, Pandora. Hope is what makes us strong. It is why we are here. It is what we fight with when all else is lost. This is what hope delivers, child. You should learn that now. Chain, Kratos. My father once told me it maintains the balance of power within Olympus. Break the chain to raise the labyrinth. Wait here.
Kratos. Remember your purpose, Spartan. Remember why you have come so far. Prepare yourself, Spartan. You know what you must do. I will raise the labyrinth. I will take her where she belongs. Kratos, in the darkness, the fires of hope will set us free. Pandora, no! You know why I'm here. You brought me here to do this. I oh. will find another way. No, Kratos. There is no other way. Let me go! No, child! I am not a child! You're hurting me! <sighs> Down, Zeus! Your obsession with this, this thing has become somewhat of a nuisance, my son. Release the girl, Zeus! Don't confuse this object, this construction of Hephaestus with your own flesh and blood. But perhaps you already have, Spartan. Your quest for Pandora. Your pathetic attempt for atonement from the family you slaughtered has caused nothing but havoc on Olympus. Look around at what you have done. I see only what I have come to destroy. Taking pity on you has been my greatest mistake, Kratos. Just as taking pity on this thing will prove to be your greatest mistake. This has nothing to do with her! It has everything to do with her! Put her down! As you wish.
Father Kratos. Do not let her into the flame. This is what I am meant to do. You know that. Please. Hush. Kratos, you know this is the only way. Don't listen to her, Kratos. For once in your pathetic life, don't fail. Don't fail her like you failed your family. After all you have sacrificed, it ends in another stunning failure! <laughs> to do after I kill you. Face me, Father. It is time to end this. Yes, my son. It is time. The reign of Olympus ends now. Gaia! You live? My world. It bleeds because of you. I never sought your death, Father. Yet you have left me no choice. Your pawn has failed you, Gaia. Perhaps you should have chosen the other one. Enough! Father and son will die together! Thank <laughs> you. 
fear in the gods rose, mine was replaced by hope. Oh, well, to kill a god. Hope is what makes us strong. It is why we are here. It is what we fight with when all else is lost. from the bondage of Olympus and cleansed in chaos, mankind is now ready to hear my message. Look around you, Athena. The world stands in ruin. What good is your message? Go if you must. But first, I insist you give me the power from inside the box. The box was empty. That can't be true. I can see it in your eyes. You used my power to kill Zeus. You still have it as we speak. Don't you understand? When Zeus gathered all the evils and placed them in the box, I dreaded what would happen if it was opened again. And so, I summoned the most powerful weapon in the world, and I placed it in the box. I told you, it was empty. Pandora was sacrificed in vain. She died because of my need for vengeance. You must be mistaken. You used my power to kill Zeus. I saw you do it. Unless... Of course. When you open the box, you release the evils to the gods. Infected them. Changed them. Zeus himself fell prey to the dark evils. This is why he became so enraged and obsessed with your death. He was consumed by the evil, fear. 
I thought the power I placed in the box was never released. All these years I assumed you drew from the evils inside to destroy Ares. But I was wrong. The power you took from the box is mine. From it, you gained the strength that Zeus could never destroy. A strength great enough to overcome fear. Locked deep inside of you, Kratos. It has remained buried, trapped by your guilt and the failures of your past. When you killed Zeus, you must have allowed something to awaken it. What was it, Kratos? Hope is what makes us strong. It is why we are here. It is what we fight with when all else is lost. What was it, Kratos? All I remember is what I have lost. That is why you should give me the power. I understand its true meaning and where it belongs. I trust you to do the right thing, Kratos. You shouldn't. You owe me this, Kratos. I owe you nothing. I made you a god. I sheltered you from the wrath of Olympus. I delivered your revenge on Zeus. It is over, Athena. You would dare strike me down again? My vengeance ends now. How could you? Disappoint me, Spartan.
found some. Get in the boat, boy. That is enough. Father? What? Did something change? The forest feels different. Everything is different, boy. Try not to dwell on it. Yes, sir. That was the last. There do I see my mother. Oh, there do I see my father. Oh, there do they call to me. 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 She's ready.
sorry. Squeeze. This knife. It was hers. Now it is yours. What you thought? What she knew. Show me. Now? Now. You are hunting deer. Which way? In the direction of deer. Okay. Uh, this way. Boy. Sorry. You are hunting deer, not chasing it. Yes, father. There it is! Hold! <laughs> what are you doing? Now its guard is up! Only fire! Only fire? When I tell you to fire. I'm sorry. Do not be sorry. Be Better. Find it. <clears throat> Find it. They've never come this close to our woods before. Keep moving. Up there! You went in the old temple. But Mom told me never to go in there. We do what we please, boy. No excuses. Can I have my bow back now? Can you hit it from here? We should get closer. Father, look! Wait for my mark. Relax. Do not think of it as an animal. It is simply a target. Clear your mind. Steady your aim and breathe in. I got it! Good. It's... It's still alive. Knife. No. Finish what you started. <sighs> I can't.
hero. We're gonna fight that? We have no choice. Boy, boy, look at me. We did it. You are not ready. What? Are you serious? I found the deer. I proved myself. How am I not ready? We are going home. I haven't been sick in a long time. I can do this. You are not ready. Inside, boy. You lost control. That thing was trying to kill us. It's not like you don't get anger in a fight. Anger can be a weapon. If you control it, use it. You clearly cannot. When you... I haven't been sick in a long time. I'm better now. Fine. Come on, then. You want me to hit you? I want you to try. What are you... Try again. Why are you doing that? Too slow. Try again. Cut it out! Weak. Again. Again! Stop it! Again! <clears throat> Your anger. You can get lost in it. The path ahead is difficult. And you, Atreus, are clearly not ready. What was that? Quiet. Come on out! There's no use hiding anymore. I know who you are. What's going on? Do you know him? More importantly, I know what you are. Boy, beneath the floor, now. But you told me never to go down there. Who is that? I do not know. What's he talking about? I do not know. Get in. Just tell me what I want to know. No need for this to get bloody. Thought you'd 
be bigger. But you're definitely the one. Long way from home, aren't you? What do you want? Oh, you already know the answer to that. Whatever it is you seek, I do not have it. You should move on. <laughs> and here I thought your kind was supposed to be so enlightened, so much better than us, so much smarter. And yet you hide out here in the woods like a coward. You do not want this fight. Oh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I do. Leave my home. You are going to have to kill me for that to happen. I warned you. Finally. You would not listen. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, fine. My turn. Incredibly disappointing. Come on, then. Did I? Yeah! 
is pointless. It didn't have to be this way. Pathetic! You can't win! I feel nothing! But you, you feel everything, yet you, you keep trying. I'm not my brother. And if you'd given me what I wanted, it wouldn't have ended this way. But no! Let's finish this. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
behind me. After all this time. Faye, what do I do? Our son is not ready to carry your ashes to the top of the mountain. Oh. Stay here. Boy. There was so much. I, I thought... You're all right. I am all right. Come. Gather your things. We are leaving. Thought I wasn't ready. You are not. We have no choice now. Prove me wrong. Yes, sir. It's gonna be a long trip. Yes, but an important one. Whoa. How did this happen? Oh. Whoa! Move. Thanks. There's the mountain! Let's go! Not yet. It's fine. See? Hang on! Hurry! I'm slipping! Stay calm! Almost there! That wasn't so bad. Slow down. Your haste will cost us. Sorry. Mm. Ugh, more drawler. But these aren't moving. Are they dead? I mean, more dead? Boy. Not dead, not dead! Remember, accuracy over speed! That was the last one. Is that better? Take even more time. It does not matter if you fire only once. Show me control. Read it. Oh, this used to be a marketplace. The giants used to gather here to trade with the gods a long time ago. Wonder if Odin was ever here. Whoa! Above us! Something's breaking through! Something's breaking through the wall! Walkers, they're untouched. Look, 
Someone start the fires! Sigmund, your knives! So many days without meat. Meat? Wait, us? Behind me. What if they change like the others? We'll have to keep them alive. Strip off their meat. A little at a time. This fight is mine alone. Wheels, <laughs> Atreus! Boy! Yourself. We must find a way out. What you waiting for? Come on already! Let's go! Can't get this slow-eyed cock to cross the bridge. It's because she's scared of something in the trees over there. There's what now? Father, throw your axe at those trees on the other side of the bridge. The ones with the white trunks. You were right. Say, you must be smart or something, boy. You're a boy, aren't you? Does she have a name? I don't know. Rude bastard ain't ever asked mine, so I ain't ever ask hers. Ah! Ha! What's yours? Brock. Better look at. <laughs> Say, uh, you're not gonna believe me, but that axe you got. It was me what made her. Me and my brother. Was one of our best. So don't let nobody else go work on her except for us two. You gotta handle her special, or she'll wreck beyond fixing. I can enhance her for you right now if it so pleases you, son of a bitch. So what say you? You are right. I do not believe you. Come, boy. There's a rune in the shape of a fork under the grip. No, dig your beach yard, Dumber. That was our brand, my brother and me, before we split. I got half of it right here, see? Look, you want I should upgrade her or not? Very well. I expect an improvement. So, where's the other half of the brand? Oh, my dumb brother's got it. But I got all the talent. Look! Well, don't look now, but our friends who were hiding in the trees are back for more. Go on! Give that axe a twirl! Your paw can kill. You learn to do that too. I'm not sure. 
this road. It leads to the mountain. Should put you in the right direction, sure. Wow. Never been this close to the mountain before. Looks so big. I wish Mom was here to see it. those runes say oh it says family that's not a clue it's the answer what I alone can never be right use your knife and trace the runes into the sand really Kinslow. something happened Behind us now. Boy. These tracks. Hmm. A boar, maybe? Not sure. But I'll find it. Go. It is important for a warrior to keep his skills sharp. and it looked like it bounced off. Could the boar be magical? Hmm. What do you think? It looked weirder than any boar I've ever seen. Get after it then. Stay alert. More of those people? Something else. Steady hand, relax. Accuracy over speed. Yes! Oh, do not lose it. Boy! Boy! Where are you? Hurry, father! I found him! Please, hurry! Atreus! For me, boy. Address. What did you do? I'm sorry. Address. We didn't know he belonged. 
belong to anyone. He doesn't. He's my friend. The boy was following my command. Then help fix this. Hold here, please. Hold, I said. He's losing blood. The last of his kind in all the realm, and you shoot him. You needed food? Target practice. Target practice. I'm... I'm so, so sorry. Keep that pressure on. The blame is mine. I should have kept a closer eye. Will he die? I will not let him. You. The arrow cut a tideway inside him. Find both ends and hold them tightly. Start with the left side. Grab it and hold. Now the right side. Hold it tight. Good. Now pull them together. Line them up. So now... Fuck. You're a witch. I can't finish the healing here. My home is just beyond the trees there. You will carry him. He must not die. Good. He seems stable and calm for now. Graytha. This way. That bow is a little big for you, isn't it? My mother made it for me. She said I'd grow into it. I've never seen you in these woods. She must miss you being away from home. She... She's dead. We're taking her ashes to the highest peak in the realms. Ashes? It was her last wish. Boy. I'm... Sorry for your loss. We're here. You live in a tree? Not in it. Below it. Hemile! Look! It's alright. Is he friendly? Boy. I promise you, he's safe. You won't hurt anyone. Save there. Keep him still. You live alone? It's better this way. Yeah, my father doesn't like people either. Boy. Well, you don't. Hold him still before he hurts himself. Good. Shh. Easy. Rest now. I need two more things. Fresh red root grows just behind the house. Can you pull a cluster? What else? I... I know you're a god. Not of this realm, but there's no mistaking it. He doesn't know, does he? About your true nature? Or his own? That is none of your concern. The gods of these realms don't take kindly to outsiders, trust me. I know. When they find you, and they will, they'll make things difficult. The boy will want answers. That will be my problem. Whatever you're hiding, you cannot protect him forever. But you're right. Doesn't concern me. I also need lamb's crest. Do you mind? It's a white petal flower in my garden. Just a handful. 
fine. Lambs, Chris. Would this help? I dropped it? When you were chasing the animal. What's wrong with me? If I... if I lost it then... You did lose it. I'll take better care of it from now on. Leaving. Wait. Not without thanks. <sighs> you want solitude? This mark will hide you from those who might make your journey difficult. below the house that leads safely out of these woods. Follow this path down, then head towards daylight. Will we see you again? As much or as little as you like. Now get out of here. Come, oh boy. Get to the mountain quick. I just can't believe I'm here. And always. There was a time I thought I'd never leave my woods. Or even my own beds. You were not to blame for your sickness. Oh, I know. I guess I'm just saying. This is great. There's the mountain. Look how close we are. We flow into seawater. How do you know? Do you not smell it? If that smells the sea, the sea stinks. Look at that! It's Thor! Thor, god of thunder. That's right! I never thought you'd listen when Mother spoke of the gods. I seldom did. Did she speak of one who could feel no pain? Oh. That sounds like Baldur. Baldur. An Aesir god, son of Odin and Frigg. And Odin is king. That's right. Why do you ask? I see rooms there. This chest. I can't quite make it out. It reads, sacrifice your arms to the center of the water. Awaken again the cradle of the world. What? Throw our weapons into the water? Guess that won't be a problem for you. Are you gonna do it?
wait, there's the shipwreck way over there. See that? And there's a statue of Thor. Except I can see a lot more of him now. The water dropped and the serpent rose. Oh, that must be why the beach wasn't there before. See? And there's the mountain. Look it. That building leads from the foot of the mountain to that golden temple. It was all just under the surface. Except for the statue. Good thing, huh? There's even a dock. There, next to the flag. We're going to the dock first, right? We'll be the first people to walk on it in who knows how long. You know of that serpent? He's one of the giants. And he's so big he's wrapped around the whole world and bites his own tail. An exaggeration. I don't know. Looked pretty big to me. Is this the way to the mountain? It would seem. If it isn't the bearded beaver, it is sexy. If I got something for you too. Brock? But how did you... None of your fucking business. Now get in here, I got something for you. And don't go making pig eyes at my spot. I saw it first. Okay. What do you think he wants? To test our patience. When word gets out about my new shop, folks will finally come out of hiding. They'll be clawing all over each other just to catch a whiff of my wares. You watch. You rust around like that everywhere? Yeesh. Catch! The pile of rocks there? With that key of Yggdrasil, you can open a magic door to the branches of the World Tree. A shortcut between the realms. If you ever see a mountain in the world, use it to get back to me quick. But it's only one way. Straight back here and nowhere else. And whatever you do, never, never, ever, never, ever throw yourself over the edge of the path. Lest you want death. Yeah, I don't see us wanting that. Whoa. Sure is foggy here. Another dwarf. Should we... No. He is of no consequence. Uh, excuse me, but, um... How did you come by that, uh, axe? That is my concern alone. And, uh, while I won't dispute that, I, I know that blade. It was one of ours, but, uh... <laughs> we didn't make it for you. Step aside. I can't. See the woman we made it for? I was, uh, well, I am quite fond of her, and I would be somewhat displeased if it turns out that you did something to her. It was my mother's. She left it to father before she died. Face dead? I'm very, very sorry to hear that. She was a fierce warrior. And a good woman. Okay. I will make improvements to the axe. But nobody asked you to. Well, it's, it's true, but... But knowing your mother... <laughs> She would have insisted I repair that act of vandalism perpetrated against her axe by my brother. I knew it. You are Brock's brother. The other half of the brand's here. The blue one is your brother. Yes. Though my talents are vastly superior. <laughs> no boast. I swear to Freya. <gasps> Do not undo his work. Improve upon it only. Yeah, but can you can you put it down over there? That handle is no. Filthy. Okay then. I'll just. I will just. Oh. 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 
Oh, is that dried blood? Oh. So, what were you working on? Oh, that. I call it the Sky Mover. Just up that mountain waits a treasure trove of rare resources. Once I mine it, I'll need a way to bring it all down. And you know how to fix it? Not even a little. I can see why Mom wanted us to bring her here. Indeed. Is that smoke? Stay back, boy. Ugh. What is that? We must find another way up. The witch! Wish she was here. Bet she could get us past this. My magic is useless against the Black Breath, and there's no way around it. Odin saw to that long ago. What are you doing here? Making sure you can finish your journey. Why wait to warn us? I was busy saving my friend, if you remember. The Black Breath is a corruption of magic, even I can't dispel. Only the pure light of Alfheim is strong enough to break through. But that road is long. What does this goal mean to you? It's everything. Follow me. Why help us? Maybe I see more of myself in you than I'm willing to admit. Maybe. Maybe by helping you, I'll make up for a lifetime of mistakes. Or maybe I just like you. Even though we shot your friend? Even though you shot my friend, yes. Where must we go? To a realm beyond your own. We're going to another realm? Are you coming with us? Only for a little while. Only for a little while. We'll use this. Graytha. Can't. Sindri said it was broken. Sindri? The dwarf at the foot of these hills. He was fixing it when we got here. Well, no one was there when I passed by. Perhaps he finished. Dwarves are awfully resourceful. And irritating, based on the two we have met. <laughs> that too. Tyr's temple is at the center of the lake. It is from there we travel to Alfheim. Thankfully, it's no longer underwater. Why is that creature in the bay? No one knows. He just appeared one day. Soon after, Thor attacked, and their battle could be felt across all the realms. Ultimately, it ended in a stalemate, and Thor returned to Odin empty-handed. The serpent stayed and grew so large, he now spans all of Midgard. See? Told you. They've hated each other ever since. 
destined to kill each other come Ragnarok. You believe in Ragnarok? I dearly wish I didn't, child. You know, we actually talked to the World Serpent. You did? An exaggeration. I'm good with languages, even ones I've never heard before. But when he talks, I can't understand any of it. Sadly, no one can. He speaks a dead tongue. Oh. Must be lonely. Watch your step. Just along here. Are you sure? We came through here before and there's no way back across. See? Is that so? Let me show you something. Are you watching? Riosta! What? It's solid! Elven architecture. My bowstring was soaked in the light of Alfheim. It can now reawaken the magic of the elves. Wait, it won't just disappear, will it? Not as long as the light shines free. This way. Start by lifting that axle. Good. Now push it back into place. Now realign the wheel onto the track. Perfect. Now push the bridge along the track. What? The whole entire bridge is turning. How is the whole entire bridge turning? Boy, you're really strong. Just keep pushing until the bridge reaches its first position. Tired yet? No. He's always been really strong. So about the dead. We heard someone call them Hellwalkers. But what are they? They are poor, restless souls, denied their judgment and their peace. Why what? Did Vanier magic raise the dead? It could, once. But this is no spell. This plague of dead is but a symptom of a world out of balance. Something or someone has meddled with powerful forces. That is all I know for sure. That's perfect. Come back up. We're ready now. That was impressive. You didn't hurt your back, did you? I did not hurt my back. Through these doors. Wait, so did the giants or the elves build tier stuff? All the races helped with its construction. It was the last great act of cooperation between the realms before peace disappeared for good. Leosta. Your bowstring stopped glowing. Its power is now depleted. Only a few knocks of magic remained in the bowstring, and we used them. Your bow, please. Once you claim the light of all time, infuse the bowstring with its power. Don't forget. Talk like you're not coming with us. I'll try, but measures were taken to keep me trapped in Midgard. Why? The gods don't care for me much. Is this it? It's so dark. This temple has been asleep, underwater for almost 150 winters. It needs only the light of the Bifrost to reawaken. Those roots don't look like your magic. They aren't. These roots are part of the Great World Tree, and make travel between the realms possible. Approach the table. How does it work? You will need this, a Bifrost, to create travel between realms. 
It can capture, hold, and transfer the light of Alfheim. Place the Bifrost there. What now? Give it a moment. The temple needs time to wake up from its long slumber. It is from this room, and this room alone, that you will be able to cross between realms. What you see before you represents the temple in which we stand, as well as the realm towers that encircle the Lake of Nine outside. All the realms exist in the same physical space, reflections of each other. These doors, the towers outside, and the Nine Realms are all intertwined and coexisting on the branches of the World Tree, separated only by the Bifrost Light of Alfheim. This place can focus and control that light. And is this the World Tree? Only an artistic representation of it. No, the Yggdrasil is much, much more than this. The Tree of Life is bound to the fate of the world, just as we are bound to it. The tree nourishes our soils. The dew from its leaves feeds our valleys and rivers. The tree's very existence supports all of creation along its boughs. Its life energy interwoven into the tapestry of life. Birth, growth, death, and rebirth. Every strand transcending time, transcending space. Everything comes back to the tree. So, that's how it works. But I'm guessing you were looking for a more practical answer. Yes. Very well. The bridge you pushed outside is currently positioned to lead to the realm of Vanaheim. Instead, turn the wheel to our actual destination, Alfheim. Wait, is this moving the big bridge outside? Yes. The wheel turns the bridge, and the bridge aligns to the different realm towers on the lake outside. Wait. There's no tower on this one. And that's why realm travel to Jotunheim is impossible. Without a tower for the bridge to lock into, the sequence can't begin. Every realm has a travel room that unlocks the bridge to that realm. I'm giving you the one for Alfheim. Now you can lock in your destination. We're ready. Remember to take the Bifrost. You don't want to lose that. Now the realm travel bridge will align and the realm between realms will open. See that giant crystal? Each realm has a corresponding one that focuses and amplifies the power of the Bifrost, opening the bridge to that realm. That's why realm travel is only possible from this room. What about that one realm tower missing from the lake? The Jotunheim Tower disappeared from all realms over a hundred winters ago, when the giants vanished from Midgard. Where the tower went and how they moved it remain a mystery. It didn't work. We're still here. Follow me. The Bifrost is dark. This trip was its last use. There's no going back until it's replenished with the light of all time. So we are trapped. Someone of your ability should have little trouble getting back to Midgard. And we'll be able to make that black bread. Welcome to Alfheim, gentlemen. Think you can spot... The light. I can barely see it. Something's wrong. See that column of light on the horizon? It's housed in the heart of a ring temple. We'll find what we need there. No. No, no, no. Damn it, not yet. What's happening? <laughs> to restore the Bifrost magic, you must step into the light. But be very careful not to get caught. She's not dead. Is she? Not likely. Come. Um. 
What'd you say? I said nothing. Really? Okay. Did your mother speak of this realm? Not much. Just that since they're always fighting with the white, we kept them isolated. Said nothing. Where? Could have sworn you said something. What is it, boy? Oh. Voices! You don't hear that? I hear nothing. It's going away now. It was screaming. Lots of voices. Angry. You really didn't hear that? No. It felt. Evil. Look! Should we try talking to them? No. But maybe they need help. They do not stop us, so they do not concern us. But they maybe... do not concern us. Look at that. That must be the Ring Temple. Sandbowls and Alfheim too. What does it ask? Without me or within me, death is sure. Yet within you, I am life most pure. But I don't see any runes around here. Oh, we must find it. Back to the boat. Careful, boy. What are they doing? The bridge is gone. Cover the crystal with that stuff. Why? To prevent reinforcements. We do not belong here. Wait, combined together like that, they kind of look like a room. It doesn't make sense. Come, back to the sandbowl. What else were you going to tell me about war? Wars are fought for two things. Survival or advantage. Enough. Stories are for the boat. We must fo- Father! The Pillars and Ring farm an elvish rune! Draw it. <coughs> Boy! It was the voices again. But different voices. Less angry. They were asking for help. We are here for the light. I do not care who they are, nor what they want. You never care about anything. You have something to say? No. Luger. What's happening? Whoa! Look what we found! Father? Yes. The voices I heard. It was hard to make out. 
But way in the back, I'm pretty sure I heard mother. That is not possible. But I know what I heard. Atreus, enough. He looks different. Look at those horns. Behind me, boy. That can't be good. <laughs> Is near. Look for a way inside. That did it! Look! More light bridges! Follow me. We're supposed to be in here. Quiet. Did you hear that? Stay alert and by my side. Hey, when we make it to the light, how do you think we get it into the Bifrost? The witch said to step into it. She did? When she was ripped away from this realm. Oh, how did I miss that? You are more concerned with her safety than our goal. Father! Quiet! I have him. Your knife boy. That was close. Do not stray from me, boy. You don't gotta tell me. Stay back.
There. When it falls, be ready. We will need to move quickly. Okay. Check our flank. Yes, sir. Chanda. Between your volleys. What happened to your service, There are many targets. You will not miss. A narrow path negates superior numbers. Stay focused. Injured. I'm fine. Wow. It's beautiful. The light. It's making the whole temple reappear. It's the source of all of it. Wait. It's... It's singing. I hear... I hear her! I told you I heard her! Do you think she's in there? Ah! Ah! Ugh. That really hurt. I felt like my hand was on fire. Stay here. But I want Stay go here. We use it as a last resort. You're giving me your axe? I'm letting you hold my axe. It is not a gift. Still. thinks I am. I know better. He doesn't talk to me. Doesn't teach me. It should have been him. Do you hear me? Him, not you.
accept. I don't mean that. You know I love him. I just wish he was better. I know he can be. So if he tries, I'll try. But if he doesn't, please come back. I know you're out there somewhere. Gone only. Moments. No! You've been gone a long, <coughs> long time. I didn't know what to do. You left me here again. <coughs> Why don't you care? I... That's impossible. We should go before they come back. I hope you got what you needed. Yes. Look, there's our exit. But there's no light to make a bridge. We're trapped. And the witch's bowstring is useless. Boy, your bow. Hold it out. On my mark, loose your arrow into the stone. It worked. We can now make our way back. gotta go back down here again? Do you see any other way? No. Then... Yeah. <laughs> 
your mouth. No, that can't be. What did it say? That we made a grave mistake. We helped the wrong side? I... Let me guess. You're gonna be smug and say you told me we shouldn't get involved. That is enough. Can we go now? Do you remember the answer? Yeah, yeah. Boy, read this. Boy, what's that say? Only time you want to talk to me is when you need to. Do you want to tell me something? I said, the only time you care to talk to me is when you need me to translate for you. If mom was if here... If your mother was still alive, we would not be here at all. So? Pushing the light? Who? You know. Oh, she was not there. Not like you would even care if she was. Mind your tongue, boy! Until our journey is over, one of us must remain focused. Do not mistake my silence for lack of grief. Mourn how you wish. Leave me to my own. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. No. Why would you? You do not know my ways. I know it has not been easy. In the light, I felt only moments pass. If that is of some comfort to you. That's good to know. Really. So, should we go back to Midgard? Face the Black Breath? Or do you think there's more to see in this realm? What else were you going to tell me about war? Battles may be won by the better soldier. Wars are won by those who are willing to sacrifice everything to ensure victory. Father, I have a confession to make. All those voices in my head. Whoa. This wasn't the first time. Back when we met Brock, the general warned me about something hiding in the trees. That's why she didn't run across. She told you. Well, I could just feel what she was feeling. But she was afraid of me. Hmm. It happens again. You tell me. Understand? I promise. What now? We have the light. To Midgard. Let's us travel without moving. Brock! We just came back from another realm. And we met your brother. Wait, not that old. Did you let that seed saw put hand to your blade? Hmm? You do know he lost his talent, right? Just up and left him one day. <laughs> Tried taking me down with him. Hmm. Did he botch up on a girl? Quite the opposite. Yeah, even a blind pig farts up a truffle now and again. But you know what really counts? Consistency. And I got that coming out of all of my parts. What did you do? It's better. 
So who do you think carved the face in the mountain? You would know better than I. Thanks. Now watch our step. Carelessness will only delay us. Right. Well, there's the Black Breath again. What do we do now? We see if the witch was right. It's working! She was right! Come, let us finish this. You know, others said the giants used to visit the Midgard Mountains before they disappeared. Disappeared? Yeah, I guess they just up and left one day. No one knows why. Perhaps they returned to their home. Tjodnheim? Maybe. I wonder if the face in the mountain was a tribute to some important giant. Mel, we made it! More black breath. Stories of a giant with a deer head. Wonder who he is. Is it the answer? Freedom. Sure, that works. Go ahead. Sure. Ross. What you doing? Maybe there'd be a bridge. Huh. Your giants mean to test us further. There's a crystal in that torch holder. Should I light it? <laughs> that helps, right? Guess we have to go down and go up. These passages seem too small for giants. <laughs> Why do you laugh? Oh, you're serious. I am always serious. I forget. Mom always said you never took an interest in history. Giants are just a race, like elves and hold your phone. It doesn't mean they're big. What of the world serpent? Okay, in that case, giant also means big. Whoa. What is all this? Where are we? A mine. And if this claw reaches the summit, our goal is near. All right, how do we use it? I think I see how this works. The claw's on one side, and if we get this unstuck... Oh, oh no! I think the rope's stuck under that rock. That was careless. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Hmm. Stop! But maybe we can find our way up through there. After, you know, getting rid of those things. Do 
you think this goes all the way to the top? We will see soon enough. Something feels strange up there. We're heading into danger. Do not concern yourself with what might be. Focus on what is, and be vigilant. Yes, sir. Not the top, but we're closer. Wait! That one's not broken! There's a note. A giant's prayer. They're asking their ancestors to watch over them. To guide them home. Boy. Wait. I think I know how it works. Watch. them to watch over mother. Do you think they'll watch over us on the way to the top? Come boy, it is a long way up. I think we're safe now. It would seem. Father, after we scatter Mother's ashes, what then? What comes next? Nothing comes next. We go home. That's it? The adventure is over? For now. But we will have much to do. You were right earlier on the boat after cutting down the last tree. You said it felt like something had changed. And it has. And our home is no longer safe. But it will be again. And we must continue your training. Okay. We're almost at the summit. Nothing's gonna stop us. Go on yourself, boy. But stay behind me. Yes, sir. a dragon. I was aiming for his eyes, but I kept losing my footing. Do you think this is their home? Did they move in after the giants left? Or are they why the giants left? Boy, the air grows thin here. No more questions. Breathe. Oh, yes. I see. Do you hear that? Sounds 
hear someone screaming. Wait, boy. It's Sindri. Can you kill something that big? If we can catch it off balance. I can distract him. What are you doing? We have to help him. Break right. Find an angle. Wait for my mark. Thank you.
Be ready to lower the crane on my mark. How this thing work? I do not care. Be ready. Nobody's killed a dragon for hundreds of years. Not since the grand culling of the worms. And unless I'm mistaken, you did all that for me. You are mistaken. The dragon was simply in our path, nothing more. You deny it all you want, but you saved me. And that deserves compensation. What are these? Braided mistletoe arrows. Straighter than Heimdall and perfectly weighted. Oh. Uh, thanks? Oh. Okay. Hold on. Uh, ooh, not that. Um, have you seen my brother again? Yeah. He said you lost your talent. <laughs> oh, and that I'm selfish. No. I'm sure. That I value a weapon's look. No. Over its purpose. That I'm pretentious. No. And I'm tight. Fussy. I know what he thinks, but he can't hurt me any- Ah! Burn that. I do not have time for this. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I have a better idea. What? I just need a tooth from that dragon. Watch where you grab that. Oh, ah, never mind. Oh, so unclean. Oh, so, so unclean. Oh, oh, the smell. Perfect. That should do. Oh. Yeah. I am not touching that. Just hold it out. Now, run that along the string of your son's bow. Just humor me. Atreus, your bow. Two passes should do it. Ah, gently, now. Oh, sure. Now you're impressed. Um... Oh, how do I explain this? I've added a new vibrating pattern to the bowstrings. Oh, oh, I... 
see. You figured it out on your own then. Just never mind. I wasn't just explaining the beautiful and complex artistry of my craft or anything. No, just anything to help you. Yep. Look! The summit! We're so close now. Your quiver. Strap broke when we fought the dragon. It's all right. I can hold it. Stop. A broken quiver will slow your draw. Pain we endure. Faulty weaponry we do not. This will do for now. Good? Good. Go. Steady, boy. Mind your footing. You hear those voices too, right? Yes. Be silent. Sounds like the same man who came to our house. You said you killed him. Shh. I see he's brought company this time. It must be important if the sons of Thor deign to grace me with their presence. Tell me, you two still tripping over yourselves to impress Daddy? The tattooed man. Tracks show he now travels with a child. Where would they go next? Why would I know that? You're the smartest man alive, aren't you? Smarter than all the dead ones, too. You help me, I help you. Tell me where they are, and I'll talk to Odin. Your father won't let me go, Balder, and he won't let you kill me. You have nothing to offer me, so take your questions, take your threats, take these two worthless wankers, and piss off! When no one's looking, we'll be back for your other eye. Don't you forget, we're everywhere. We really are, aren't we? Okay. Ah, the very topic of conversation. A tattooed man traveling with a child. We took their path. Make sure we're all alone. But we just saw them leave. Do as I say. He doesn't know what you are. And I would keep it that way. Who are you? Me? I'm the greatest ambassador to the gods, the giants, and all the creatures of the Nine Realms. I know every corner of these lands, every language spoken, every war waged, every deal struck. They call me Mimir, smartest man alive. And I have the answer to your every question. Why does the son of Odin hunt us? Okay, there are a few gaps in my knowledge. But Odin's had me imprisoned here for 109 winters. I'm a clever lad. I can piece it together. I promise. Just given time. Nobody there, just like I said. The boy's mother is dead. She, wished her... she wanted us to spread her ashes on the highest peak in all the realms. Oh, then you've come to the wrong place, little brother. The highest peak in all the realms is not here in Midgard. It's in Jotunheim, realm of the giants. No! That could not be what she meant. Take a look. This is the last known bridge to Jotunheim in all the realms. See that mountain? Looks like a giant's finger scraping the sky. That's the highest peak in all the realms. No here. Can we just take that bridge? We have a Bifrost. When the giants destroyed all other bridges to their realm, they locked this one up with a secret rune. If it still exists, only a giant would know it. And all of them left Midgard a long time ago. True. But today, the winds of fate have kicked up a strange vortex of coincidence. Fact is... There's only one person alive who can get you where you need to go. And luckily for you, my schedule's wide open.
we're going to Yodenheim, right? It's your best and only move from a tactical standpoint. It's the one place the man who cannot be killed won't follow you. What do we do? Yes! First, you need to cut off my head. Wait, what? Odin made sure that no weapon, not even Thor's hammer, could free my body from these bonds. But fortunately, you don't need my body. The trick is, we need to find someone who can reanimate my head using the old magic. Old magic? Mm. There's a witch of the woods. She knows the old ways. And she'll help. She might do worth a try. But if she fails, he will be dead. He tortures me, you know. Every day, brother. Odin himself sees to it personally, and believe me, there is no end to his creativity. Every single day. This... This isn't living. Very well. Oh, I can't watch this. Brother. In case you can't resurrect me, there's something you need to know. The boy. The longer you wait to tell him his true nature, the more damage you do. He will resent you, and you may lose him forever. There is much about me I would not have him know. Huh? So you value your privacy more than your son? I'm going to cut off your head now. Fair enough. to find the long-lost realm of the giants. That's... that's... Inconvenient. Yeah, that's just what I was going to say. Rock! 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 What? I'm on a fucking break. Don't hear me screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies. Leave him, boy. Well, you already soiled my solitude, so you may as well join me. You're not hungry. Good. It's not what I was offering. Saw your brother again. Congratulations. And I'm sure you'll let him go and roger my axe good and plenty again. Hmm? Let's see the damage. Canker throat wouldn't know proper weight and balance if it were dangling off his chut. <clears throat> he eating well enough? I guess. Good. All better. Now what the fuck else you want, huh? How's it going, Charlie? Is there a witch friend here? What is that name? That's what he told me it was. Or what it sounded like in my head anyway. Charlie. Hello. Oh, can you bring a head back to life? Uh, I'm not sure I understand what... Wait, where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me, now. They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. They're wicked. 
You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Say it! I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. <sighs> now, what's this about a head? <sighs> Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? Take him to the table. Hey, Mille. It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well, thankfully his head hasn't decayed much and his brain is still intact. Nice clean cut. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now, hold his head under the water and don't let go. I mean it. That's enough. It worked! Let me see him. Mamir? You there? Yes. Good. Oh. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. Forgive me. <sighs> Had I known the Witch in the Woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either. Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are God. Leader of the Vanir, once, yes. But no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? We are leaving, boy. But... Now. You're welcome. Why did you do that? We cannot trust her. Because she's a god? Have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value their privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel, Head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. Better to tell us the way. The World Serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. You do? It's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. That you made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. All right, wish me luck. Uh, ooh. Ha, ha, ha. You envy me. I'm still got it, lads. See you in a minute. 
remembers me. Why you? Oh, no, that's not right. Eh. Moku no untunku. of your loss. He will help you. Curious. What is it? Oh, nothing to be concerned about. What is he doing? Making sure we're headed in the right direction. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. That one of the peak where we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. And it's not far. He looks kind of mad for a moment there. Ah, that. He thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. Rowing towards the statues of the oarsmen, then thread past between them. Mimir, you never did tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir have proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. This chisel we seek. What is it? I'm glad you asked, actually. I have just the story for you. <clears throat> there was a giant once named Thamu. A very giant giant. Who, despite his mountainous size, was without question the greatest stonemason this world had ever seen. Proud Thamur hoped to one day pass his vast knowledge onto his son. But young Hrimthur had the heart of a warrior. Perhaps the father had too much fear in him, or the son too little. Either way, a quarrel of theirs spiraled out of control, and the overworked stonemason, BOOK, struck his son. Arimthur ran off into the night. Feeling shame and regret, Thamur chased after his son, but in his emotional state soon found himself wandering Midgard, lost and alone. Sadly, he caught the eye of the one person he didn't want to meet alone that night, so far from home. Thor. And? What happened next? You'll see. Thor killed him. Oh no. He fell in the village? Aye. When Thamur fell, he crushed a charming place famed for worshipping the Vanir god Njord. Thor always took credit for planning that one. The truth is, the sweaty claw bag just got lucky. A wolver! A dangerous beast! We will take him down together.
trick, lad. Thanks. What happened to the survivors? Oh, Thamur was a frost giant. When he died, his final breath froze everything. It's magically locked. <laughs> There he is. Find the tip of that chisel. That's the magic we need. How are we getting down there? Plan. You do? Do not act so surprised. Oh, no offense, brother, but I don't even think Thor with Mjolnir in hand could get through that much ice. Then Thor is a fool. This should be entertaining. Boy. Right. Something that the fight. Here, catch. Well, that was a waste of a perfectly good hour. How were you not seen? There is nowhere here to hide. Oh, that. It's a little trick my people can pull. A special way of not being seen. You can be invisible? More like I can step into the realm between realms. And your mind doesn't understand what it's seeing, so... It sees nothing at all. That's how we avoid ever having to actually use the weapons we craft. It, uh... It doesn't seem to work on dragons, though. <laughs> Your brother wanted to know if you are getting enough to eat. I guess I could tell him you are. Brock was asking about me? Was there meat on his breath? <laughs> You let him touch this again. Come on, then. So that's how Brock was in the temple right after the water drop. He stepped between realms. Okay, now, shush. I need complete silence for this. There you go. Why are we going up when what we need is all the way down there? Think. Well, the chisel tip is under thick layers of ice, so melting it won't work. Correct. And there weren't any shattered crystals nearby for me to shoot, so that's not an option. Correct. I just leave smashing the ice. We need something ridiculously heavy to. Oh. I get it. Good. How are we going to turn the hammer so it lands near the chisel tip? Not possible. We cut it free, write it down, and figure out what comes next after. So your plan involves a whole bunch of luck then? You are welcome to suggest a different one. Hold tight. Uh, the plan seems ill advised. Jump! That didn't work. It only fell a little ways.
there it is. How are we going to get it free? A push. But Trust me. Ready. Dig in and push with everything. Yes, sir. How do we get down? We jump. Really? Come. Do not panic. Why would I panic? I have you! You're cracked, you know that? Well, well. Good. We should keep moving. Credit. He has a talent for destroying things. Remember that head. Never leaves my mind. Can't disappoint father. Hurry, brother. We no. may get a piece of the chisel and be gone before they even notice. Keep looking. Uh oh. Yeah. Boy. Surrender. The old father demands it. No. <sighs> Good. This fight is mine, boy. Go! <clears throat> and where do you think you're going? Oh no, brother! The little freak's got a bow. What are we gonna do? Small <laughs> 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 Don't tell me! Odin want. Don't know. Don't care. Come here, half-breed. You're done now with Daddy's hand. Shut up! Don't call me that! Rail you up. 
Boy's sick, he needs Freya. No! Steady. I'll be alright. There you go, lad. <clears throat> I'm fine, see? With that, we can carve the travel rune to Jotunheim, get you where you need to go. Oh, incidentally, all those magically sealed doors we've seen can now be unlocked, like that one round the corner. You can get through that door there now that you've got the chisel. Under his palm. We're almost there. Everything we just did. Climbed around a dead giant. Wrote a giant falling hammer. Fought some bad gods. What do you think mother would say? Bet you have come a long way. What now then? Maybe Freya ought to have a look at the boy. No, I feel better now. I just needed to catch my breath. Where do we go next? Well, now that we've got the giant's chisel, we need to learn the travel room to Yacht Knight so we can carve it into that special gateway atop the peak, and open realm travel to the land of the giants. You don't know it? Well, I know. But the serpent did mention that the giants had entrusted that secret to Tyr. Isn't Tyr dead? Aye, but his hidden vault is very much in reach. The doors are beneath his temple, submerged in the lake for generations until our snake friend shifted his weight. There we shall find the fabled Black Rune of Jotunheim. We could also explore some more. We got that chisel now, and that vault isn't going anywhere. Seems a shame to waste the boat. We shall see, boy. Hey, Mimir. 
last we were in a boat, you had just started the story. What did you want to tell me about the Long War? Both sides suffered tremendous losses. And for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore. But a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? <clears throat> Precisely. Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. He set about to broker a peace between the gods. It took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy, a certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people, a selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got, but of course there's more to that story. Ooh, Tyr's vault is behind that magical lock. Setting foot in Tears Vault. Another one of these. It's Tear, but the middle panel is missing. Wait, I thought Tear was a god, not a giant. Ah, but he was loved by everyone, including the giants. Other than me, he was the only one they gifted with their special sight. Hey, I wonder if the giants left a triptych about me somewhere, too. Go ahead. Actually, come look. Let me show you how to read this. That is not necessary. You've taught me so much. Let me teach you something. Atreus. Come on. You already speak it. Learning to read won't be that hard. I know how to read, boy. Just not this tongue. You're halfway there already, then. Okay. So the runes represent a lot of different things. Some gods. Some animals. Wait. Some... Oh, am I going too fast? Sorry. Not I'll... that. Do you smell something? Yeah, I do. Smells like rain. You ruined everything. I earned that fucking hammer. But now. Everyone's gonna think I only got it, cause Magni's gone! Oh. Be a joke! Boy, if I kill you, oh. no one's gonna laugh at me! Ah. Oh, are you dumb? That your father's doing? Or did you get it from your mum? She's stupid and ugly. It's true, but I'm going to get to know you really well. You're going to be my new brother, right after I finish killing your father! Oh. 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 Whoops, I think I broke him. <laughs> oh. No. to get into Freya quickly. There's no other way.
Take the boat. Freyers isn't far. called the serpent. Serious. We must hurry. Freya! Open the door! We need your help! Woman, do you hear me? It is urgent! I'm still a god! Go away! The boy has fallen ill! Freya! Inside. This is no ordinary illness. The boy's true nature, your true nature, fights within him. I did this to him. Will you help me? Of course. There is a rare ingredient found only in Helheim. The keeper that protects the Bridge of the Damned. I need its heart. Mm -hmm. Hell. The Realm of the Dead. Do you know it? Not this one. It is a land of unyielding cold. Fires cannot burn there, and no magic in all the Nine Realms can create a blaze. As for the dead, your frost axe will be useless. You'll need to find something else. Then I must return home. Deep of the past, I swore, would stay buried. Who you were before doesn't matter. This boy is not your past, he is your son. And he needs his father. This rune opens the bridge to Helheim. When you are there, do not, under any circumstances, cross the Bridge of the Damned. There is no road back. Understand? Mm. Uh. Boy. Himmelin. You must hurry. Through my garden, there's a path leading to my boat. Take it. Return home. Dig up your past. Do whatever you need to do. Just bring me back the Bridge Keeper's heart. And your son may survive. Last we spoke, I was... No. You were right to distrust the word of a god. No need to explain. Not to me, not for that. I will keep him safe. That's a mother's promise. Helheim of all places. You all right, brother? I will do what I must. Leave me be.
Katrina. Get out of my head. There's nowhere you can hide, Spartan. Put as much distance between you and the truth as you want. It changes nothing. Pretend to be everything you are not. Teacher. Husband. Father. But there is one unavoidable truth you will never escape. <laughs> You cannot change. You will always be a monster. I know. But I am your monster no longer. to the realm between realms over there, in your own front yard, no less. Take the shortcut back to the realm travel temple, then on to Helheim, yeah? What? Hey! You reek! 
look of foreign magic. Sweet Nana's nethers. What are those? I've never seen the like. That's gotta be a family heirloom. No. Nor will it ever be. Son, my brother and me created me all near for the big idiot. I know from quality. And them, them special. Hey, where's the little turd? He has fallen ill. No. What happened? Aesir? No. The fault is mine. And my responsibility to make it right. Well, we all gotta take responsibility sometime. Huh? Say, what can I do to help him? I can do things. What I should tag along? No. Your work here is enough. All right. So where are you off to in such a hurry? The realm of the dead. Helheim? Shit, this is serious. I'll be keeping my eye on you. Now that Freya's given you the travel room to Helheim, it should be unlocked on the table. Let me take this moment to tell you that what you are about to do is absolutely insane. Not even Odin can survive this cold. So, I hope those blades work. Is this the bridge Freya spoke of? No, we're still on the realm travel bridge. We're after the Bridge of the Damned. The dead use it to cross into their permanent home, the city of Helheim. The bridge keeper who minds admission, he's the one we want. Just follow this bridge, it'll lead us straight to him. The Bridge of the Damned. And there's the Keeper, making sure the dead are really dead. What is that he holds? That totem contains a powerful source of magical energy, the very power of Helheim itself. But what you want is his heart. Just take it and we can leave. How? Start some trouble. You can do that, right? <sighs>
one, brother. the heart, brother. You'll have to get your hands dirty. You're set. Better not to linger here, though, eh? Kratos. Zeus. Zeus? My father. Your father was Zeus? Well, that explains a lot. What is that place? Never go there. Understand? Is he here? That is not possible. It's just an illusion. Hell's known for torturing its inhabitants with their own past. We should focus on getting back to your son. You made it! Better get home to your boy already. We shouldn't delay, brother. It's straight back to Midgard to that heart. Your father was Zeus? I finally understand! I'm dangling from the hip of the bloody ghost of Sparta! Do not call me that. Oh, don't mistake me, brother. From what I heard, the Pantheon had it coming. It's still a bit to take in. I knew you hate gods, but you really can't stay away from them, can you? You must say nothing to the boy. He must never know. Bollocks, brother. Respectfully, bollocks. He has to know. He'll never be whole without the truth. Look, I get it. You hate the gods. All gods. It's no accident that includes yourself. And it includes your boy. You see that? He feels that. He can't help what he is. He can't begin to help it because you haven't even told him. It's all connected, man. You will tell him nothing. Very well. So you know that shortcut between realms? Well, I made it better. Or I might have broke some. We use that. I know what you do. 
So I took a few gusts from them winds of hell and made it so it ain't just one way. Now you can use it to travel to and from. If I didn't break it. Then we can take it to Freya. There's an idea, brother. Might be some kinks to sort out, but you'll make it. Just go, brother. Well, this isn't right. Ah, eh, but close enough. He did say there were kinks. We must hurry. The heart. You have it. Yes. Back of your hand. He is still ill. I can break the fever, but to heal... He must know the truth of what he is. Yes. It is not so simple. Help me prop him up. Did I tell you that I have a son, too? It's been... forever since I last saw him. At his birth, the runes foretold a needless death. The babe in my arms was so... small. So helpless. I knew right then I would do anything to protect him. No matter the sacrifice. Of course, everything I did, I did for myself. I let my needs, my fears, come before what he needed. And I couldn't see his resentment until it was too late. Don't make the same mistake. Have faith in him. I know the truth isn't simple, but nothing is when it involves your child. is a curse. The boy has been cursed. Don't leave without me. I will not. I'm better now. I see that. Is he well enough to travel? For now. They won't happen again. I promise. You see that it does not. Get in. I will pull. You are quiet. Are you not better? I guess. I know you overheard my talk with Freya. You think you understand, but you do not. Why do you say nothing? You said I was cursed. You think I'm weak because I'm not like you. I know I was never what you wanted. But after all this, I thought maybe things were different. You do not know everything, boy. No. But at least I know the truth now. The truth? The truth. 
I am a god boy. From another land far from here. When I came to these shores, I chose to live as a man. But the truth is... I was born a god. And so were you. Boy. Have you nothing to say? Um... Can I... Turn into an animal? Can you... Turn... Into an animal? No. No, I do not think so. I'm a god. Mother knew? She was a god too? No. She was mortal, but she knew my true nature. I'm a god. Why did you wait so long to tell me? I had hoped to spare you. Being a god, it can be a lifetime of anguish and tragedy. That is the curse. Hmm. What sorts of things can I do? Can I fly? Or turn invisible? I don't feel like a god. I do not know the reach of your godhood. But over time, we will learn. You sure I can't turn into a wolf? You are welcome to surprise me. Is this why you're listen sometimes? Are you sure you've never heard any? Not as you do. That's no surprise. Every god is unique. So, maybe I won't get strong like father, but I'll have abilities all my own? You already do, laddie. Your faculty for language is extraordinary for one so young. Time alone will tell what else you'll become capable of. So you knew all along? I did, lad. But I've known more than my share of gods. Me too, apparently. I wonder who else knew I was a god. Freya, for sure. Brock and Sindri? They do not need to know. <gasps> Balder! Does he know? Is that why he's after us? Do you know him from before? The day of your mother's funeral was the first I ever saw Balder. That is the truth. Hey, we don't have to go right back to Fjord's vault, do we? I mean, we're gone. We can do whatever we want, right? What do you really feel like doing right now? I will show you. Let's try this again, without interruptions. Here we go again. Read it. Death itself I swallow, to spring forth life tomorrow. Oh, I like that one. I wonder if I wrote it. Is that the answer there? It says Earth. Hmm, swallows death, brings forth life. Go. Yeah. I wish I'd known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. Well, I'm not sure that's the lesson. You've done nothing to regret. The elves forced their affairs upon us. No, I get it now. We had god things to do, and they were in the way, dragging us into their little problems. Again, are we just leaving that there? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Maybe you feel a little too good right now. With power comes a big choice, lad. You can either serve yourself, or put your godhood in the service of others, like Tyr did. People really loved him, huh? Aye. The god of war, but one who fought for peace. Had a reputation for being heroic and lawful, using his power and knowledge to stop wars rather than start them. 
So there are good gods. Once in a moon, it's been known to happen, yes. This one mentions places I've never heard of. Seems Tyr really liked to travel. Tyr believed the mind, not might, was key to preventing war and chaos. And he also knew visiting other cultures would give him perspective staying in one place could not. While Odin always hoarded knowledge, guarding it jealously, Tyr was open and sharing with his learning and his wisdom. For this, mortals adored Tyr, showing their love by bringing him gifts the world over. So, whatever happened to Tyr? Odin came to regard him as a threat to his rule. He suspected Tyr of collaborating to aid the giants instead of helping to steal their secrets for the Aesir. Same thing he accused me of, frankly. Though in Tyr's case, I believe he was right. You think Tyr was helping the giants? I do. He felt responsible for the suffering visited upon them by Odin. I suspect he had something to do with helping them cover their tracks. The missing Jotunheim Tower. Correct. Whatever happened to it, I believe it could only have been done with Tyr and the Giants working together. Where is this battle? I don't know. I've never been in here. The stone! That has to be it! What'd you find? Enough distraction. Do not forget why we are here. Okay. Chases the sun. For Ragnarok to happen, they have to eat them. But these are out of order. Good boy. So the moon goes on the left, sun on the right. With Midgard in the middle, but which bar do I pull? I did it! Well, I can't drown. Yes, that's something. We're not stopping! Wait! What's that big chain for? Father! Above you! to stop that chain! How? I... I do not know. Wait, I know what to do. Her knife? There's no other way! It's not working! That should have worked!
a knife. I know. The red's free! I think we did it. Aye. Let's go see what Tears got for us. No. Ray's protection. It rubbed off. What should we do? We keep going. There it is. We've got it. Boy. Yeah. On the day you were born, I made two knives, mixing metals from my home and from this land. One for myself, and when you were ready, one for you. Today is that day. From a man now. Like you? No. We are not men. We are more than that. The responsibility is far greater. And you must be better than me. Understand? Say it. I will be better. power of this weapon, any weapon, comes from here, but only when tempered by this, by the discipline, the self-control of the one who wields it. That is where the true strength of a warrior lies. You must never forget that. Good then. Come. Certain. I got it. Trust me. Good then. Aim for the face. No match for us gods. to the end. Sit. We're 
Lemni Nwain, the island of Lemnos, near the place of my birth. Lemnos. To a journey's end. Really? It smells like rotten eggs. Is it still good? Possibly. Father, why did you leave your home and come here? Does it have to do with the other gods there? Hmm. It's just, you hate the gods so much. But Tyr proves that gods can be good. And you're good. You only killed those deserving, right? Yes. Ah. But who's worthy enough to judge? Quiet, Head. We are. We know better. Uh huh. Sounding more like your da by the moment. Ready. Ready. Come. I think I'm gonna like being a god. Excited to finally see the land of the giants? Yeah, but also sad the journey's almost over. Oh, what if we get to Jotunheim and there aren't any giants there either? Makes little difference to us. Fulfilling your mother's wish is what is important. Ah! Oh, don't go anywhere. Be with you in two shakes. Father, can I tell him? No. Tell me what? Did you put this wheel in your mouth? Oh, God. I I'll vomit. I I'm not kidding. I'll throw up on it. It is nothing. A family matter. Oh. Uh, uh, oh. I can tell you a thing or two about family matters. Oh. Uh, oh. Let me guess. Your brother isn't as talented as you, and his work is junk. Um, those things are accurate. Your point? It's all you ever talk about, over and over. Do something about it or shut up already. I see. Yeah! We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems! Um... Alright. That hurt a little. Let's have a look at your gear, then.
we thought that was gonna stop us. Like he did more than that. Move it, or we'll pick up where he left off. I'll kill you. No, he is beaten. Not worth killing. He should pay for what he said about mother. I said no. But we're gods. We can do whatever we want. <laughs> That's what I said to your mother right before I gave it to her. What are you doing? This is a much better knife than mother's. <laughs> Control. Haven't you been teaching me to kill? I have been teaching you to survive. We are gods, boy. And that makes us a target. From now until the end of days, you are marked. So I teach you to kill, yes. But in defense of yourself. Never as an indulgence. Nobody cared about him anyways. What's the difference? There are consequences to killing a god! Why? How do you know? How do you know? Watch your tone, boy. Whatever. Nearly there now. Finally. Boy, the room. Carve along that. made it.
Beautiful, isn't it? Why I remember once. Brother, look out! <laughs> Miss me. <laughs> Run, boy! Cross the bridge! No! I'm a god, too! I can do this! Get off him! Really? Walter, let him go! Take me instead! I'll do whatever you have! Shut up! All this time, I thought I needed you! But you're just me. Turns out... The boy is the brains. No! You broke the gate! That was the only way to Yonai! Stupid son of a bitch! Get out of here, boy. Yes, by all means, Junior, run away. Let Daddy do all the heavy lifting for you. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Let go! Calm down, boy. You are not ready for this. I am oh! ready. And here I thought my family was fucked up. <laughs> oh, your father is right, boy. You are far from ready. Now would you be so kind as to hold this for me? Thank you. Atreus! Give up! Ha <laughs> ha! 
And when the bridge opens, the full weight of Ascot will come crashing down on you. <laughs> it's over. Is it? So be it. To me. Let me out! Let go of it now or I will kill him. You know I will. What did you do? Stay still. You will listen to me and not speak a word. I am your father, and you, boy, are not yourself. You are too quick to temper. You are rash, insubordinate, and out of control. This will not stand. You will honor your mother and abandon this path you have chosen. It is not too late. This discussion is far from over. We are here because of you, boy. Never forget that. It was me. But we're gods. We can do it. Turn away, boy. <laughs> That's what I said to your mother right before I gave it to her. It wasn't me. I couldn't have done that. Do not dwell on those thoughts. Not here. Yeah. We must keep moving. Listen. You, you had no right. I had every right. I am your mother. You had no right, Rich. I can't taste. I can't smell. I can't even feel the temperature of this room. Feasting, drinking, women. It's all gone. You will never God. have to feel pain again. Death has no power over you now. You would rather die? Than never feel again? Take it away, Mom. I can't. Please. Please. Please take it away. It doesn't work like that. Son. Trust me in time.
Freya is his mother. Why did you keep this from us, Head? Would you believe it slipped my mind? What you I would not. Uh, I'm at a loss. I assure you I have no reason to keep such a thing a secret. There's the boat. We will speak more of this. Soon. Who is that? We must hurry. Uh, not entirely sure this is seaworthy. She will do. Dropping it? So now the sails are loose? Just watch. This realm now. As long as we didn't wreck our way back. What is this place? This is Odin's. I'd recognize his atrocious taste anywhere. Look at that! It's the missing panel about here. Odin must have stolen it. But why? He always has his reasons. Might I have a look? Well, this is most unexpected. Why? What does it mean? I haven't the foggiest. Isn't that unexpected? Head. Look, clearly that's Tear. Traveling somehow. Perhaps magically. But what's that to do with the giants that they should devote a shrine to it? I'm afraid that is none too clear. What are those runes in the corners? Not runes. Symbols from different lands. They mean... War. Aye. How do you... This one I know too well. Oh. His eyes. They are jewels. Like yours. No doubt signifying the gift of sight the giants granted us. Give me a closer look. 
Interesting. Secret plans concealed by tears so none could access but him and those few others the giants trusted. And right under Odin's nose, ho ho ho, I did promise I'd get you to Jotunheim. What do you mean, Ed? You said we were out of options. Don't you see, brother? Odin never gave up hope and neither should we. He knew there was a clue in here, but we're the ones who found it. These plans are for a key to some chamber Tears kept hidden. I don't know where it's leading or what we'll find, but it's a path. How do we make this key? I suggest we ask a dwarf. That symbol on the temple door. It's a bunch of runes together. Peace, unity, hope. Other things too. Tears own design. He made this door himself. Boy. Before when you saw. I didn't see anything. You did not see me with someone. An old man. What old man? Can we go? Yes. Very well. All right, let's get back to Midgard and see about making that key. Where's that dwarf? tell us Balder is the son of Freya. He is! It's shocking every time I hear it, and yet obviously I know it. When I think about Balder and Freya... The mayor? Yes, lad. <laughs> Freya. How's that, brother? Ed, tell me Balder's vulnerability. Balder is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. Wait, what is happening? He is bewitched not to speak of what he knows. I am? I am! Oh, that's it precisely! I wonder how long that's been so. Can you make it? Is it a weapon? Armor? Or likewise an instrument of war, of which I'm a master at shaping? No? Then forget it. Even if I wanted to make such an insignificant goo-gaw, I'm liable to chink my tools working on something so delicate and ladylike. Then shingle it. Pattern weld the item with scap slag. Keep the layers thin. Alternate the overlay. Okay, smart guy. And where do you propose to find a lump of quality scap slag? Last time I saw one, I could still get rigid down south. Shut your mouth, is that? Where did you? I had to get my hands dirty. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't just stand there. Let's do this. What? You? You're fine with working on something that's not a weapon? Well, hell, why not? <laughs> what? I can grow too. Oh, what? Watch the spine. Keep your wrist loose. No, you keep your wrist loose. Yeah, I need more heat here. Coming up. You gonna temper that steel longer? I don't need to. I triple quenched it with Drago. See, how inventive and sanitary. You clever little beaver. Never too late to learn a new trick, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. Yeah. Here it is. Nope. Don't forget this. Quit your grinning. It's downright unsettling. 
it's just nice to see together. But now the rune on your brand looks different. Yeah, the price of uh, reforging something what broke. I knew it. You two love each other. Oh, cut it out, Francis. You're gonna get me all weak. I like the new one better. Don't you? We have work to do. No. Tears ruin. This is it. We're inside. But what is this place? Your guess is as good as mine, little brother. Tree. We're underneath the realm travel room. But why is the floor on the ceiling? Those realm doors seem to mirror the ones above. Up there. Tyr used the same magic to protect the Black Rune. The clue we seek may be inside. Huh. Right next to the Odinon door. Interesting. But can we reach it? Not from here. Well, one inner sanctum within another. Those tapestries. Looks like more giant. Whatever Tyr did for them must have been big. Whoa, who are they? Boy, this is the rune for Jotunheim. That's right. And look, we're on the other side of the door. The upside down door. What are you thinking? Stand back. Okay. Yes, sir. Extraordinary. The whole room is built on some kind of axle. There's chains on both sides. Without those... <clears throat> We can flip the temple. All right. Do you what now? After the last. Nothing between, no shadow cast. Oh. Are you quite sure flipping the temple is the only way to reach them, whatever it is? You said there would be a path. The temple can be flipped. Therefore, we've flipped the temple. The logic is unassailable. Ah. Not sure what happens when we recklessly upend a room that's rooted to eight other realms. I'm curious, of course. But it's a leap to imagine it gets us to Jotunheim. I don't mind a leap. Well, who knows? Perhaps you and Tyr are the same kind of mad. I know what I promised, but in case this doesn't work, just remember, Tyr had good cause to create these obstacles. He's kept Jotunheim out of Odin's reach, but the world is hardly at peace. No, but it's got hope. We're all working together now. We have unity. That's what the rune on the door to this place was telling us. We're on Tyr's path.
Lift with your legs, brother. He knows. Just try it. That Mimir? Nobody can do all this alone. All these obstacles. They're just chances to prove we're the ones who can beat them. We may argue. Me and Father. You and Freya. Brock and Sindri. But when we all work together, we do make a good team. And that's Tyr's test. That's why we're gonna make it to Yodenheim. Do you hear that, brother? Lad found his equilibrium. What's that? He means you speak wisely, Atreus. Boy, your knife. Well, what have we got? Some sort of travel stone. Let me see. Great our dumbless others. That's the Unity Stone. You know it. I wasn't sure it existed. If Tyr possessed this, that explains how he could visit all the realms and other lands to boot. He held this. In the panel in Odin's library. Yes. Yes, that's it. I understand now. It shows Tyr walking the realm between realms. You know how you must never stray from the path. Well... Tyr always followed his own path, if you catch my meaning. The realm between realms. So you're saying Tyr's shrine showed him stepping off the branch of the world tree. And you're thinking to reach the secret path the Earth. That is what you're thinking, isn't it? Time for a favor? If you're thinking about hurling us all into the void, I hope you're quite sure. Wasn't it your idea? Find our own path, right? This is where Tyr stepped beyond, and the Unity Stone protected him. Ready? Ready. Well, if this is it, lads, it's been an honor. Our faith head. This is incredible! Can I be so nauseous without a stomach? Come on, that was great. Look. The tower. I knew there was something down here. Amazing. How do you hide something that exists in all realms? Cast it out of any realm to the space between. Clever old tear. Is Jotunheim on the other side? It can't be that. It's not like you go through Vanaheim to reach the Midgard Peak. But how do we use it? I'd suggest we look inside, but stay alert. Tyr's little challenges are never as simple as they appear. I have noticed. Well, this is sparse. The pedestal. Oh no! It took the stone! The tower. It's absorbing the stone's energy. Something's happening! Is it moving? It's moving! It knows what to do. The stone served its purpose. We're fulfilling Tyr's spell. What happens now? No idea, brother. But after that fall, I'm sure we're past the worst of it. Oh, oh. No, this is considerably worse. Where are we? Look! We're back in Midgard. There's
There's the bridge! We did it! The tower's back where it belongs! Now Tyr's travel room can take us to Jotunheim. How did Tyr do this? Odin suspected the giant secretly possessed some remnant of primordial Jotnar creative essence. The stuff all realms are made of. The Unity Stone must have been fashioned from that essence. To trust an outsider with it, even Tyr, tells you just how desperate they were. You fellas sure love to make a racket, don't you? I don't know what we'll find when we get to Jotunheim, but we must cover our tracks. Odin's ravens will tell him of the tower's restoration, and we mustn't let our efforts be to his benefit. Very well. going to work. What? There's no travel crystal. Tyr must have used his own eyes to refract the energy. It was his final failsafe. He's got eyes like him, Amir. I've got an eye. One! Odin plucked out my other eye precisely to keep me from traveling. Sorry, lads. Thought that would work. What did Odin do with your other eye? He'd have kept it. In any of a hundred places, I'm afraid. We've come so far. There has to be a way. Look, a bit of a long shot, but for years I had sea Sindri, sometimes Brock, lurking around in that mountain when Odin came for his visits. Maybe they know something. Brock and Sindri! Question for you. Anyone know where we can find Mimir's other eye? Oh. <laughs> That's... <laughs> I'm sorry. As a matter of fact, Odin asked me to... <laughs> he wanted me to build a... <laughs> he showed it to me, you see, and I... <laughs> the coin... Sorry, will you... Excuse me? Who? Well, that was useless. You know, it was about that same time that Odin came around looking for me to build a statue with some sort of hidden compartment. Now, that not being a weapon and the Aesir being a bunch of pox-speckled cockers, I too saw fit to decline. But I know we got it built just the same. What was the statue? It's that one of Thor out there flashing his sack to the oh. lake. The statue that the serpent ate. Sorry about that. Feeling much better. How are we supposed to look inside the snake? Inside? Oh no! We'd better go see what the world serpent has to say about that. Well, lads, I don't know what lies ahead. Time to make sure you're once more to the horse. It might still be in his stomach. Um, and he's open to letting you go into his mouth to look inside. Ew. Really? 
by the by. He's no wild about it either. Well, brothers, I've been to many strange places, but this will be a new one. <laughs> yeah, I've never been in a giant's belly either. How about you, Father? Never one that was not trying to eat me. You really should expect that sort of response at this point. Here we go. about getting eaten. Dreams are nothing I'm not afraid. It just reminded me of a way I used to feel when I was a child. Let's find that statue. Tonight. Maybe you should stick that in my head for safekeeping. Gently now, gently. Thank you, brother. You don't miss depth until it's gone. I wouldn't say I'm feeling whole again, but it's a right improvement. The Bifrost is intact. It'll serve. Then we have all we need. Finally! We're going to Yudna. There's no stopping us now. Laddie, have you ever heard the term, tempting fate? Hold on! What's going on? Well, that was mildly terrifying. Maybe our presence is upsetting Jormungandr's belly. No. Something is wrong. What's happening to him? Nothing good! Glad that's over. Is he getting hit? What is that? We must hurry. Couldn't agree more, brother. Hold tight and watch your balance! The board shifting! I'm gonna- I have you! this what happened to him something we did no something else a dead giant why would the serpent leave us here look I'll trust her, right? Until we know for certain, keep her distance. The world serpent. 
What's happened here? We hoped you would know. You are far from home? I'm looking for my son. The two of you... You helped me see things more clearly. You do not know where he is then? No. But the woods and fields speak his name. I know he walks here in Midgard. When did you see him last? Long ago. Before you were even born. Why are you standing so far from me? What's wrong? Something's happened. There! I had a feeling that hurting the big snake would bring the two of you out in the open. Do you have any idea, any idea at all, what you have cost me? My boy. Mother. I'm here. Don't run away. Oh, I'm not going anywhere, Mother. I know that you're still angry. I know that how you feel hasn't changed, but I, I want you to... How, how I feel? How I feel! <laughs> I've spent the last 100 years dreaming of this moment. I've rehearsed everything I ever wanted to say to you, every word, to make you understand exactly what you stole from me. But now, I realize I don't need you to understand anything. I don't need you at all. No, back off, Kratos. This has nothing to do. This path you walk, vengeance. You will find no peace. I know. You... I'll deal with you later. But family first. <clears throat> this again? Turn away, boy. This won't be pretty. I won't let you hurt him. No, boy. Fine. Stop! No! no! Atreus! You're bleeding. Breathe, boy. Breathe! Not my blood. <clears throat> What is that? <laughs> I can feel this. <sighs> oh, I can feel everything. <laughs> oh, <no! laughs> He's vulnerable now? Let's go. 
win. We are moving. That arrow. The boulder punch. The mistletoe? In the quiver strap, yes. Mistletoe harmed him. Freya said it was wicked. He's more than harmed. The spell is broken. He can be killed. I'm certain of it. It's all coming back now. Now he remembers. No, woman! You cannot! He means to kill you! You can't stop me! No one can! Where is he? I don't care if he kills me! I will protect him! I will not let him die! Don't touch it! This will all be over soon! I feel! I feel! Freezing! Stop hurting my boy!
Father himself could not. I've never felt more alive. Ironic, uh, isn't it? What?
Come on! Do it! Do it! Stop! Please! He's beaten, Father. Not a threat. You will not come for us again. You will not touch her. I don't need your protection. Interfering in my life! I was just trying to protect you! I wa <sighs> I've made mistakes, I know. But you're free now. You have what you want. Try to find forgiveness. We can build something new. <sighs> Never forgive. You still need to pay for the lifetime that you stole from me. I have paid. I have paid. But if that alone will make you whole, if seeing me dead will make things right. I won't stop you. I know. imaginable upon you. I will parade your cold body from every corner of every realm and feed your soul to the vilest filth in hell. That is my promise. He saved your life. He robbed me of everything. <laughs> everything. You were just an animal. Passing on your cruelty and rage, you will never change. And you do not know me. I know enough. Does he? Boy. Listen close. I am from a land called Sparta. I made a deal with the god that cost me my soul. 
I killed many who were deserving. And many who were not. I killed my father. That was your father in hell. Is this what it is to be a god? Is this how it always ends? Sons killing their mothers? Their fathers? No. We will be the gods we choose to be. Not those who have been. Who I was is not who you be. We must be better. Well, guess we are the bad guys now. In her eyes, yes. But she could never make that choice. this journey while I still have strength. You don't understand. I know saving her was the right thing. But she seemed all evil at the end. Not evil. You killed her son, lad. Her son. The death of a child is not something a parent gets over easily. But he was gonna kill her. She would have died to see him live. Only a parent can understand. So you'd let me kill you? If it meant you would live, yes. Look, there was no easy choice. For anybody, brother. But I think we can all agree you did the right thing. The world's a better place with Freya in it. Just give her time, lads. She'll come around. Back to Tyr's temple, then. One last time. Aye. Jotunheim awaits. Why did Vargas say he cost him? Odin must have convinced him that following you to Jotunheim would bring his cure. Lies, I'm sure. Why did Mistletoe break the spell? Here we go! I can't believe we're going to see the giants! Well, if things work according to plan, <clears throat> go ahead and lock in Jotunheim and we'll be on our way. Probably. Boy, ahead. Get ready. Oh, right. Got it. Let's hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh, hadn't considered that. Maybe we should talk about this a bit more. Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. Ready? Oh, that's unpleasant! Now, boy! A word, please, before we continue. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Why not I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone were to fight... My lady sifts soft, perfect sloshers. You done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Fine, damn it. Fine. Watch the head till we return. I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. 
ready. Come. Giant's fingers. I can see the highest peak ahead. Right over there. We did it. We did. What are you doing? I have nothing more to hide. Can we go now? We're so close. Boy. Boy. It's nothing. I just thought I'd hear voices by now. Hello? Anybody here? What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgar. What was left of them. Car of all these faces. What if this is all the giants that got out of Midgard alive? Not really many at all. Huh. Who's the guardian? I should feel them, but I don't. This place is dead. What happened to them? Why'd Mom send us? One question is answered, and two more take its place. Wait! Father! Something's happening! arguing with a bunch of giants. She... knew giants? That's us! The first time we met the World Serpent. But how? And our fight with Baldur! But that just happened. Wait. 
They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain, the stone mason, all these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. But... What does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. You didn't know. She was a giant. I'm a giant. Why didn't she tell us? She sent us here knowing we would find this. But why not just tell us the truth? Your mother would have had good reasons. Balder was never sent to find me. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust it. Whatever it is. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. Yes. Yes, we are. Look, it's Mother's. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Let's finish it. There's nothing for us here. Come. So, I get that mother was a giant, which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. Giants called me... Loki? 
Loki. That's the name your mother wanted for you when you were born. She must have called you that to her people. But why? A question for another day. Let us go home. This here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people or keep it a secret? I do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. So why'd you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. <laughs> no. He was a soldier, a Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We trained from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Hmm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. We I mean, missed it. if you want to go home, but maybe helping people is part of why mom sent us out here, too. I mean, what would Atreus of Sparta do? And what would Loki do? Huh. That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. Glad to see you. I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Mimir? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? Lots more snow, and then the end of the bloody world. That approximately. Another prophecy. No, brother. Oh man, the tower ate the Unity Stone, didn't it? I wanted to fly again. To yes, that's a terrible pity. Odin is extremely clever, you see. 
Nearly as clever as he thinks he is. And he's a collector of prophecies. If it's about the future, he adds it to his collection. Helps him style himself as all-seeing and all-knowing. But of course, the idea is control. Control of the future, control of his fate. He'd control every realm of every land in every world if he could. Every potential pocket of resistance, he seeks to eliminate. Even if you've never posed a threat before, he may think one day you might. So you see, it's not important how he knew before you did. It's important that he was right. We're finally home. Feels like a lifetime ago. Bit drafty, maybe. It's a right improvement over having tree bark in your tadger. Time to rest. I'm gonna sleep through winter. Okay, this'll do. Sleep. Way ahead of you. Atreus, are you ready? Yeah, but I had the weirdest dream. Fimble Winter was ending, and Thor came for us, here at the house. It was only a dream. But it felt different. It felt real. It felt like... the future. Then we will worry about it tomorrow. Today, there are still things we can do. Come. Hungry? What's next? Oh. Storm is getting worse. I'll get them ready.
Need help? Give up that easy, would she? She never does. Stay alert. There she is. Uh, hey, mother. Uh, 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 oh, got you. Uh, We've got to get away from her. I'm trying. Up there, what she? Look out. Uh, Trees, they're coming down! That was too close. She's coming around again! Andrea! I do not win to fight you! I'm losing my grip here! Oh, Father! I have you! Hold tight! Protection stave is near. Oh no! Freya, we're not your enemy! Uh, Freya, what? Uh, 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 please don't make me do this! Uh, uh, River Stave. We made it. Let us go home. It's Becky. It's Fauna. Up. I got it. It's okay, boy. You're okay. 
I know. I missed you too. Where's your food? Still hungry? Come on, boy. You need to eat. Eat. What? Too big? There you go. Good boy. Atreus, the time draws near. You must prepare yourself. For what? He's still eating. He wants to live. He is dying. You're a good boy. A brave boy. Fast and strong. But you can rest now. Okay? I'll be okay. You can let go now. You have to let go. Sofna. Afra. Desu. Sofna. Hethon. Sofna. 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 We train. What? No. It's the middle of the night. Night does not stop our enemies. Why? What for? Training is all we ever do, ever. It's not enough. We can't hide forever. We do not hide. We prepare for a fight for which we are not ready. We'll go. Time is running out. The prophecies say Fimblewinter leads to Ragnarok. War is coming. Whatever Loki's supposed to be doing, he's supposed to be doing it now. My story doesn't end hiding in these woods. I should be out there, finding out who I am, who Loki is. I will not allow you to pick a fight with gods. I don't want to fight anyone. I just want answers. And if those answers lead to war with Asgard? Well, maybe that's what Mother won. We do not know what Mother wanted. Looks like we never will. Look. Can I have a moment alone with Fenrir before I bury him?
Well, I recognize that dour expression anywhere. Care to tell me what went wrong? The wolf is gone. Oh, no. Not Fenrir. How's the lad taking it? Not well. He goes to bury him. Oh, damn it. All right, brother. Good night, then. Kratos? Are you joining me? Gonna make me pick that one up? Atreus. Hence my bellowing. He never came back from burying the wolf. It's been some time. He cannot be far. Atreus! Where are you?
prayed Fenrir. And then I'm, I'm not sure. I was so sad. And then I was angry and scared. I remember running. There was a bear charging and I charged back. That had to be a dream. Your emotions, they transformed you. I, I, I didn't know I could do that. You did not do anything. They overcame you. That is why we must not abandon your training. We do not know the reach of your abilities. And they will be dangerous without discipline to control them. You've already taught me discipline. I need more than that. I need answers. Answers you don't have. Answers only your mother had. That's how she withheld. What if there was someone who could help us? Someone that could give us answers about the giants and who Loki's supposed to be? Atreus. Wouldn't it help to understand what I'm becoming? Atreus! Listen to me. I might have killed you. Until you learn control, we will take no unnecessary risks. Inaction is also a risk. You taught me that. Stop thinking like a father for a moment and start thinking like a general. No! This one. Consequences. What? What can we do? Nothing. Nature will take its course. Evenings go, that was entirely too eventful. Though I admit it was a bit like old times there, for a moment. The three of us navigating some hitherto unhappened upon patch of forest. Been a while since you've joined us, if that's what you mean. Ah, well, just tired, I suppose. You've seen one deer hunt, you've seen them all. How can you feel tired when you never sleep? There are other kinds of tired, lad. You'll see when you're older. Now have a proper rest, my brothers. Things are always brighter in the morning. What was that? The ball!
Can I come in? I have meat. You would not find me good company. No. I'm sure we'll find lots to talk about. place. You could have told me before I poured. Why are you here? Uh, just uh, being polite. You seem like a calm and reasonable person. I'd say the moment calls for calm. <laughs> yeah. You know who I am? Back before winter set in, there were some misunderstandings. Regrettable ones. But I think we all have a better idea of who we're dealing with. Now, what you did to his boys. Self-defense. Dying is what we Aesir live for. And let's be honest, they were kind of useless. But Balder, he had value. He was my best tracker, my closer. Yeah, his mind was gone, sure. But he had his uses, and now he's gone because of you. You follow me? You have a debt. And you're no fun anymore. What do you want? How about peace? How does peace strike the esteemed, retired god of war? How about we just don't kill each other? How about you stay home, kick up your feet, seek no quarrel with me, and I'll have none 
with you. Of course, it means that that one, that one has to stop his search for Tyr. Yeah. We know what you've been up to. Stop it. Tyr's old ways are dead. He is dead. You understand? And then that's it. Then we're square. Shit, I'll even sweeten the deal. I'll let you keep the prisoner that I know you stole. <laughs> that's right. I know you're in here somewhere, you silver-tongued little shit. Why should we believe a word of you? What of your promises ever been worth? There he is, my old partner in crime. He's lost weight. If he tells you Snow is white, he's lying. What kind of wisdom is that? Can't the smartest head alive see past himself? See that we all want the same thing? All right. Here's a deal I know you can trust. I'll settle your debt with my ex. Keep Freya off your back. Keep your boy safe. That's really all you want, isn't it? So what do you say? Don't take all day. About time. I've been waiting for this. You're not from here. We got a tradition called blood payments. It means I get a piece of you for what you took from my family. You'll pick it up. That was for Balder. Now show me this god killer I've heard so much about. <laughs> Task. The ghost of the Sparta thing? Yeah. Then you know what I'm capable of. Show me! about your statue, Tear, you preachy old stiff. <laughs> Was it luck? Did my son die to blind fucking luck? Dumbass! You think you can come here, become a daddy, get a clean slate? That ain't how it works. You're a destroyer. Like me. Oh no. I say when we're done. I'm not leaving till I see the real you. Get up! in fear of you. He died of the wounds you gave him. Oh, we got a model father here. This feels familiar. What? Don't matter. 
I see why my sons fell to you. Even this lesser version of you. But I am not my sons. And your boy, all father, has plans for him. <laughs> God of war. Consider your blood debt paid. Be seeing you. Told you he'd make it. Kratos, it's Sindri and Brock. That was quite a fight. Can we. Oh, now! Odin is with Atreus. Oh, no. I'll go get a gateway ready. Come on, then. Ain't a long walk. Brother! I was about to look for you. Are you hurt? Are you? Uh, pay for the roof and he invited me to Asgard did he I couldn't hear once he went outside I, I told him no obviously good why were you searching for Tia if I told you I was looking for him, you would have said not to. So you hid the truth from me. I wanted to tell you. I really did, but now that you know, there's something you should see. No. Just trust me, you'll want to. Trust! You have broken my trust. Then let me regain it. Let me show you what I found. Besides, we haven't seen the last of Odin. Or Thor. And clearly they can just walk in and blast holes in our home whenever they want. There's only one way to get them off our backs. And I think I know how. Sir. Keep the change, you bastard! I've seen my share of bloodshed, but this is an awful lot for one more. Oh no! Brother! Winter Freya, the raiders torn out and barging in, and now stalkers spring in our woods. This is no safe haven anymore. 
You watching? Well, that's new. Come on. Atreus, wait! Yeah, I don't think he's waiting. What is this, lad? Where are we? Somewhere only giants were meant to see. These shrines tell their stories to the world. But it turns out the real stories, the secret stories, those they kept here, inside. You remember the story of Skull and Hati, the wolf giants? Odin captured them because he thinks it'll help him control when Ragnarok starts. I remember. But that's not the whole story. See, this shows the giants setting Skull and Hati free. They're free? Is this the past or the future? Depends when you're looking at it. Spoken like a giant. See? The wolves are safe. Somewhere in Vanaheim. Not the first place Odin would look, I suppose. There they are, chasing the sun and moon. Old habits. Until, look, the moon gets stolen. Somehow. Atreus. See? Hati's got nothing to chase. And they say celestial theft is a victimless crime. Not totally sure who this is, but someone comes along and rescues the moon. And then the moon blocks out the sun. A total eclipse. I haven't seen one of those in a hundred winters. But then they chase an arrow, and things go back to normal. What does any of this have to do with... We're coming to that. Look, here's Ragnarok. Do you see who's leading the armies against Odin? That's Tyr. If he's gonna be around at Ragnarok, that means he's gotta be alive. Right? Mimir. Can this be? Odin told me he killed Tyr, and he trusted me at the time, or so I thought. What if he didn't kill him? What if he's just had him locked up somewhere all this time? We are back to ifs. Enough. Wait! We are going home. Wait! I have one more thing to show you. It's just out here. What is this? Everything I found. Well, almost everything. That's giant craftsmanship. You've been to Jotunheim again? No. I found it in one of the other shrines. Others, oh, right. How many have you visited? I... well... all of them? All the ones I could still get to in Midgard, anyway. I don't know what it is. But it's important. Just like all this. When I was inside one of the shrines, I saw an image of Tyr imprisoned. But I couldn't tell where. There are hints inside the other shrines. You mention... Black smoke and the bleeding earth. But... We can never figure out exactly... We? Yeah, Sindri's been helping me. Look, I talked him into it. it. It wasn't his idea. I just needed someone to watch my back. Black smoke. Bleeding earth. Could the prison be in Muspelheim? Unlikely. Odin's got no presence to speak of in the primordial realms. But the bleeding elf? Sounds like a mine, aye. Uh, 
The realm of the dwarves, perhaps. Svartalfheim, that's a good bet. Their minds did burst black smoke, and Odin's had his thumb on the dwarves for a very long time. That's it then. Tears in Svartalfheim somewhere, imprisoned in a mine. So, what now? Home. Kratos! Over here! Sindri! As I live and breathe, is that Atreus? It's been so long! How you've grown! <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. <clears throat> well, if you'll follow me... Brock mentioned you needed somewhere safe to spend the night, and I believe your favorite dwarves can help you out with that. We're still your favorite dwarves, right? You're still the only dwarves we know. I'll take it. After you, my friends. As you can see, we've settled here in the realm between realms. It's nothing much, but it's safe from Fimblewinter, safe from Odin's eyes. And you really can't beat the view if you're into shimmering gray voids. That's amazing, Sin. We have a plan to talk to you about, actually. Intriguing. Come in. Come in! Now, if you would just wipe your feet very thoroughly, I'll wait. You're not gonna wipe your feet, are you? Okay then, your bedrooms are there, the kitchen is just over there. Any, anybody need a snack? Kratos, snack? I do not need a snack. What we need is your help getting to Sparto Farm so we can try and rescue Tyr. To Tyr? Al alive? I mean, that's, what? It's okay, I told him everything. Everything? You waited my son disobeying me. No, I, I kept an eye on him. On your behalf. Nothing risky. Everything very safe. Somebody else speak. What's important right now is that we try and open up travel between realms again. Oh. You said you know a way? Yes, I do. I just... It's just... There's... It's just a lot of mud. Then why haven't you opened the way already, man? Well, to be frank, there was... Something we needed your help with. Oh, the Holder brothers finally require the services of the smartest man alive. That's it precisely. Hey! Not so fast. How'd that get in here? What the hell is it anyway? That is my son. Well, what in all yarns me the happen to him? He's too damn tall now. Looks like that. I blame you. Well, come on then. Let's get him something that fits at least. He's just getting older, you dark prat. Didn't you ever have an awkward phase in your youth? Hey. Yeah, I suppose what's done is done. But you'll be putting your foot down from now on if you know what's good. Oh, he's trying. Believe me. All right, let's gear you fuckers up before you go off gallivanting. Begin with this. Mmm. Busted up good. <laughs> Wouldn't you rather I just whip you up a new one? It is important to me. Well, I'll see what I can do. In the meanwhile, how about I fix you up with something to get you by? Some items you left behind, tossed them in the chest. What would you do without me? I'm gonna go look around, check out my room. Tell Sindri when you're ready. How do we unlock the realms? We'll just need something from back at the workshop. Follow me, and be sure to bring the head. Uh, yeah. So, where exactly is Tyr being held? He's imprisoned in a mine somewhere. That's all we know so far. Hmm. The realm is full of mines, you realize. You'll need help narrowing it down. Oh, you should talk to Durlin. Who's Durlin? He's a cousin of ours, sort of. Works for the city on safety issues. Should have access to all kinds of information on mines. And I know he's no friend of Odin. That's why your mother sought his help when she was trying to whip up a rebellion. Ready? A rebellion? 
Did you know about that? I did not. A rebel leader who knew Mom. Sounds like exactly what we need. I think you missed the ta-da. Well, never mind. I'll have this oiled up in no time. Meet you at the gateway outside. We'll just need the bifrost in the head. Brock, do the touching. Oh, this would be the part requiring my assistance, then. You said it. This device here has been crafted to your measurements. It'll help you get a better look at the problem with those bifrost eyes of yours. So, I... Uh... Do I control this thing somehow, then? Oh, no, 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 no. This is just to hold you in place while we shine this light in your eyes. Oh, oh, Cindy, a sodding bastard! <laughs> Open! Open now! I was really hoping not to use the eyelid clamps. Do it! <laughs> oh! That's it! That's it. Good. Now, release! Still unpleasant. Oh, that's our cue. Come on, hurry. I'm coming, I'm coming. Crossfolk of eggs, man. What was that for? You'll see soon enough. Just to adjust. Oh, there. That should do it. See? No permanent damage. I'll show you permanent damage, you wee fuck. Kratos, throw me at him. Horns first! <laughs> Can't you take a joke, you old goat? <laughs> the Bifrost is broken. Now that we've reconfigured these gateways to use Yggdrasil seeds, you won't need a travel table or a Bifrost lamp anymore. I also used it for light. Okay, good note. I'll figure something out, but first, come on, let me show you how it works. Whoa, do you feel that? What's that, lad? Anything, everything. It's warm. This looks promising, right? Well, it's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You? Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Fair point, though. I think that's him? Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh. That's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Derlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Derlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there, and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here. Please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now scamper off. We're looking for Derlin? 
You have an appointment? Uh, no. Has anyone ever had an appointment here? <laughs> Who'd you collect on something, pal? Think uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Astrid's accretion proposal, eh? We are looking for a prisoner of Odin's. <laughs> He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get... You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Dina and I... Wondered where she went after our little coup here failed. Failed? Yeah, come, come. Failed. Faye is dead. Best of them all. One's left alive after pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. But he could have answers on how to stop Odin and free Svartalfheim from the Aesir. No, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Wait, before you go. Take this. What is it? A fine. Hygiene code violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for speaking to your old father's given name and, uh, yeah, yeah. For fucking up my desk! A fine? Pay it at your leisure, okay? Get out of my office. Hey there. So what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? You said her name was Diener? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I think. Burned, I should say. Into his head. He burned that into Derlin's head? Failed rebellions tend to warrant swift and enduring retribution. He is a captain of Odin. Aye, and the bearer of Galahorn. Don't you believe all that one? There are few things so dangerous in a man as lack of doubt. Seems like we're here. Come on. Way. I can see another train. Let's look for a way to get over there. Whoa, is that a Trekkie? What happened here? Use caution. I think it's dead. Yep, definitely dead. Hey, I wonder if. Oh, a Ready! Do it, Mark! Together! Yes! That one was tough. Stay on your guard. There could be others around. The Kraken Hatchling gave you a start. 
stone. Kraken. Oh, uh, Thiener. Yeah, it's covered in algae. I was thinking we could show it to Brock and Sentry when we got back. Here. Okay, so, we came here looking for Tyr because we don't trust Odin, right? If you think about it, war could... Uh-oh. Sorry. I know you said not to, but I can't stop thinking about this. We spend all of our time fighting bad stuff, and I don't get why we can't do that alongside Tyr. We do not know him. We saw his shrines. He's a leader. He stood up to Odin when no one else would. If he's done it before, why wouldn't he do it again? Images from long ago do not tell a whole story. There's a the door. Once we get off this, let's check there for Tyr. He's gotta be close. I can't help but feel like you're angry with me or something. Ever since we got to Sparto Farm, you've been critical of my every move. If you don't think I can lead us, just say so. It is not your competence that is in question. Okay, but what does that mean? Consider your intent. This place is huge. Must have taken ages to build. Another door. We'll have to check that one too. Bird's instructions do not say which one. Nope, we're on our own here. Your question from before, about my intent. I intend to help the God of War stop Odin. And that means freeing him from whatever prison he's in right now. Brace yourselves, friends. Sindri? Oh. And be careful exiting that thing. One foot at a time, there are loose, rusty nails everywhere. Have you seen any signs of tear? <laughs> As if I would navigate this maze of running sewage. No, I'm sure you'll manage that on your own. Is this Odin? What game do you play with me now? We're not with Odin. We're the good guys.
those blades. I know you. God killer. Have you come for me now? Only to free you. Stay away. Rather let me try. Tiar. Tiar. Look, you know me, don't you? You. You killed Mimir! No! No, 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 no! Yeah, we, we brought him right back! Yeah! Stay away from me, you monsters! Stop! We need him! Wait! Leave me alone. Tyr, listen, I swear we're not here to hurt you. We're just trying to get, get you away out. From me, please. Take you somewhere safe I away from you. Odin. Show mercy. This is my father. We help people. I don't belong out here, please. It's worse when he's angry. Father! Are you not a soldier? Are you not a leader of men? Master yourself! My son brought us to this place. For you! Look at him! You. Why? You don't know me. I know what you stood for. You helped the giants. We're returning the favor. We? We are leaving. Are you coming with us? Here. Your statue in the lake. You had a spear. I thought you needed a weapon. Walking stick? No. A kind thought, but no. Thank you, no. But... Okay. I, uh... I, I ran because I, I don't... Always know what's real. Sometimes there's a... There's no shame in that, brother. We live in strange times. Everyone hears him talk. We must return home. Before we go any further, the truth. What is it you want from me? You, you speak of Ragnarok. Is it a god of war you came to find? Is that the tear you need? Atreus. I... Forgive me, that I am grateful for my freedom. But if you want me to follow you to war, or worse yet, lead you to it, then kill me now. My fight is gone. Damage is done. No one's killing you, brother. Better that than to live to see Ragnarok. We do not seek war. We just want some answers. I don't know how to help you. It 
doesn't matter. The Giants trusted you. That's the tier we need. We need you. All right. All I ask is for a good night's rest and maybe some food. I think you killed the guards bringing me dinner. Brother, perhaps now you'd like to finish the story? Uh, the sons of Thor attacked us. We killed them. Balder tried to kill Freya. I killed him. But you skipped over how he fought and freed the Valkyries. And that the giants are all gone? And how they called me Loki? And finding the shrines? The giants are gone. When we got to Jotunheim, they were all... dead. Dead? Do you think Odin... We do not know. Treehouse. Lord Tyr, you're really alive. Am I? I wonder. Okay. He's just tired. I promised him some food and a room to rest in. Ah, uh, of course you did. Well, let's see what we can do. Please, come inside. Uh, we'll be right in. I'll be. So, can we talk about what to do next? There is much to consider. We will speak in the morning. Oh, okay. In the morning. Hold still. Hold still. Come see what I got for you. I'm sure we won't be interrupting any goings on. What are you thinking, brother? I am thinking. I want things to be the way they were. Well, I'd like to climb a tree again. Certain ships have sailed. I just wish Atreus were not so... restless. I care only for your safety. I know, brother. But holding him too tight won't keep him out of danger. The lad's determined to make a few mistakes of his own. And I hate to say it, but I think Tyr might be one of them. I've never seen a man broken so completely. His pain is fresh. You expect too much. Aye, perhaps. Pity Freya still wants to kill you. That's an ally we could use. That is not an option. No, I don't suppose it is. Trouble sleeping. Ah! Shh. You cannot sneak up on me like that. There's something I have to do in Midgard. What? Without me? I thought we were partners. We are. Just wasn't sure you'd want to join me. I'm visiting an old friend. Oh, I see. Or possibly not doing that, taking into account she's determined to murder you. She wouldn't really. Oh, look, I think it's lovely that you see the best in people. I really do. And I want you to continue to see the best in people by not getting yourself murdered. <gasps> but we need her. It's worth the risk. Is it, though? How about I suggest an alternative? Something much less risky, but maybe could give you some answers. What are you talking about? A certain old friend you haven't seen in a while. A very giant friend. Jormungandr? Did you find him? Why don't I show you? It's just on the way to the vengeful goddess who wants you dead. So it'll give us some time to decide about not going there. So, 
You know where Freya is. No, no. I mean, yes, but look, let's just talk to the snake first, and then I won't take you to Freya. How's that sound? Okay. Caught a whiff of something awful near the Helheim Tower. Remember how to get there? Yep, just past the oarsmen. But that's what makes you think Jormungandr's nearby? I know what I smelled. Okay. Well, a lot's kinda happened, and I need answers. Told you he's gone. Well, have you tried calling him? Blowing the horn's the first thing we try. I'm not talking about the horn. Your mute you no. That's not weird at all. anything good talk <coughs> ironwood what do you think it means it means we should have stayed home let's head back Stayed with Sindri. Wait! Stop! Your father. Where is he? Not here! He sent you? No! He doesn't know! You shouldn't have come. He took my son. What Smash. makes you think I won't do the same? You're better than this! Take your life on it.
What do you know of me? I know you haven't killed me yet. So while you're thinking it over, why don't you let me go and I can tell you why I came? If you mean to plead for your father, save your breath. His fate is sealed. But you know who's to blame for everything. I cannot get to Odin. Nor do I need to. Ragnarok will take him. Yeah? Well, what if I told you that he came to Midgard? He came to us. Offered peace if we don't move against him. Claims Ragnarok's already been averted. He lies. Maybe. But if you know Groa's prophecy, you know it depends on an army of giants. The giants wait for war in Jotunheim. No. I've been there. There is no giant army. There are no giants at all. Just me. You. In Jotunheim, we learn the truth. My mother was the last guardian of our people in Midgard. And, and that's not all. The giants have prophecies about me. They know me as Loki. I think maybe I'm supposed to help stop Odin somehow. But since all the giants are dead and you won't fight Odin, then he's already won. Why aren't we working together? Now that you can fight again. I am far from whole. Okay. Okay. But we found here. Maybe if you spoke to him. Here is alive? Yeah. We we broke him out of Swartalfheim. Impossible. The nine realms are closed to all. No. We opened up the way. We just don't know where to go next. But if we all band together... Enough. Enough! Leave this place. Go and do not return. Go before I change my mind. Do not expect the same mercy for your father. All right. Shall we? me. Do we trust the path they would put us on? I trust their wisdom, and this is the closest thing to hearing directly from them. You are certain the giants would not counsel war? I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother! Told you we needn't worry. Atreus, where have you been? Peeing? Hope you're all hungry! I could eat. Is everyone as well rested as I am? Be right down. Is this sausage? Uh, sure, why not? I remember food tasting better. I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. I accept. What? Mm. Atreus, we are planning our next move. Oh, so where are we going? Alfheim, home of the elves. Alfheim? You hate Alfheim. Why would we move there? 
Who there? No, oh, we are seeking information. The shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it there. Groa? The knowledge keeper? Oh, maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. You better than the seer who saw everything. Hmm. I wasn't sure you, um... Never mind. That's great. I'll find. Hey! Don't go forgetting this what'll get you there. You know what? I'm gonna build a bigger table. <laughs> More for me. Here, you're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. Well, whenever your father's ready, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, it's the least I can do to repay you. Plus, I think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again. Hmm. That elf light is some good shit. So, where'd this plan come from? Oh, from Mimir, of course. I was merely asking how you found me, and he explained the secret prophecies inside the Yodnar shrines. Fascinating. From there, we set to taking stock of which shrines we'd seen, at which point your father recalled finding growers outside the Temple of Light. And now that we can actually go to Alfheim, the prudent course of action became self-evident. Nary a last step for the world's smartest man. Even without feet, if you'll forgive the levity. I was always fond of our talks, you know? Aye. And it's good to see you a free man again, old friend. And thanks to you as well, Brock. These clothes do better than I deserve. Darn straight! And never mind what Brock had to trade the landlord to get that Yggdrasil seat for you. The landlord? He's not the landlord! <laughs> uh, okay. Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Well, this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squid ink. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait, if you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Radit Hosker. The one you know as Radit Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And a particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of... Bitter, would you like to come out and see your friends? Fuck off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... <clears throat> now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. <clears throat> Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, you'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? 
Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the Land of the Elves. Sure I can. Alfheim. It's been so long. Not sure where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Ah, oh, the light of Alfheim. How stunning. Nothing. What's wrong? I could hear Mother inside last time, but I can't anymore. Her soul is one with the light now, united by forces older than Odin himself. She is at peace, Atreus. I hope so. When Father went inside the light, he said he... went he'd... inside the light of Alfheim? Yes. And yet here you stand, of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated. You must tell me, Kratos, what did you see? That memory is for me alone. But I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, Groa's triptych awaits. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so... Conversation was... Difficult, to say the least. Father, she's... she's gone. Yes. Keep moving. Giants always did enjoy hiding their secrets in plain sight. Wait until you see this. Ah, yes. Here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found... something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out. Demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he heard, apparently. Ironwood? That's the... I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jotunheim? I know some giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. The champion? I think it's supposed to be... Me. You assume too much. 
Aye. Best not to read into these abstractions so literally. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this hidden? Look, Tyr. This is what we saw. It's you, fighting in Ragnarok. No. I don't... I can't. What's this then? That's new. Asgard is destroyed? But the other realms thrive? And Odin dies. She lied. Roa lied? Of course she did! <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy! <laughs> so then, we can win Ragnarok. We can beat Odin! We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there. And the elves. Champion. Okay. Whoever that is, doesn't matter. But for the first time, we know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we can win! Tyr? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But, but we just saw No, him. Atreus. This is wrong. Come. There is much to discuss. It is time. We can't stop Ragnarok, but we can win it. If Asgard is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. There must be another way. <laughs> Enough! Okay. No. It is over. It is far from over. I. It's gonna be okay, Tyr. You've seen what is to come. I told you I would not follow you to war, and yet here I am, dragging an innocent, innocent? elf and marching towards the destruction of Asgard. What choice do we have? There is always a choice. I will not lead you to war. I won't. I'm not that god anymore. I don't want to fight. But with you three, there is no avoiding it. Your path leads to countless deaths, unimaginable pain and suffering. Oh no! No! Atreus! Fallen! Hold on! Over here! You're chained!
damage it. No, sir. Hey, Tear. Thanks. And I'm sorry about before. I... No. I am sorry. I should never have come. We shouldn't linger. Nothing seems to settle my mind. Dress. Eat. Oh, careful. Careful. Thank you. Mm. Enjoy. Enjoy, my friends. We'll see about that. Here you are. A meal fit for a champion. Enough. I said we would speak no more of that. Yes, of course. Didn't mean to offend. Uh, I'm not offended. It's just a word. The word didn't cloud your judgment. So, you really don't think it means anything? After the journey Mom sent us on? Everything we saw in Jodenheim? What was it all for? Don't you ever think about that? Every day. But I cannot believe her purpose was to inspire you to take foolish risks. But what if the giants are counting on me? What giants? safe to be smart but to use the judgment of a man and not of a child but what if loki going to ironwood is the only way that you are atreus my son and nothing more do you hear me i'm not hungry anymore Forgive me, Kratos. My words were chosen carelessly. You really should eat. Some people swear by it. On almost a daily basis. I just don't understand. Why is there all this stuff about Loki and, and the champion and Ironwood if none of it's real? He's just so... Ugh! Mind if I give you the best advice you've heard all day, and possibly ever? Sleep. That's when all the troubles of your mind work themselves out. Sure. Fine. Sleep? Sounds great. I mean it. I do too. Get out of here, Heidi. Already gone. Okay. 
Better. I wish I had known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. What's going on? Is that a mask? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Where am I? It's all you ever talk about, over and over. Do something about it or shut up or it. Little people's little We're problems. We're sick of hearing about little people's little problems. Memories. And not nice ones. You broke the gate! That was our only way to Yonheim! What do you want? Let go! Druma! I don't understand! Whatever. 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 Hey! Don't run off! Whatever. Can you tell me where I am? Whatever. 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 Will you stop? I gotta get out of here. He should pay for what he said about mother. Oh. But we're God. We oh. can do whatever this. we want. Please, please wait. Please. Oh. Uh. This is a much better knife than mother's. Please stop! Am I? I'm not finished with it yet. <gasps> the pain is made from the bark of the ironwood trees. They absorb the memories of the forest so that the paint remembers too. Memories of the past. Of the future. I'd hate to get blood on it. Oh, it's really you. Uh, 
You know who I am? What's wrong? I've been waiting my whole life for this moment. You look weirder than I imagined. Oh. Sorry. <sighs> um, was that mean? Kind of. Damn it. I'm already messing this up. <laughs> it's just you're the first person that I've talked to in a very long time. And weird can be good. Uh, thanks. Let's start over. I'm Angraboda. You must have a lot of questions. Uh, yeah. Where Follow are me. We? You'll get your answers soon enough. Well, some of them. When you said you knew me? Like I said, you'll get your answer soon enough, Loki. R right. Is that not your name? No. It is my name. I'm Loki. Wait, is this my shrine? I've been wanting to see it again. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Before, where we scattered Mother's ashes. It was on the wall. Everything had happened already, just the way it said. But this part was damaged. Oh, that's us. It's in the bag. Huh. Wonder who he is. Wait. No, no, it's not right. That can't be what happens. No, 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 this isn't real. Ironwood's not real, the Utengar's not real. None of this is real. Ah! Hey, 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 whoa, whoa, you're okay. It's okay. You're fine. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. No, don't worry about it. It happens to everyone. That happens to everyone? Not the wolf part, but getting scared about your future. That cannot be my future! It says I serve Odin and my father dies! There's just no way! Look, this is the only way things turn out! The sooner you accept that, the better! Oh shit, that was mean too. Forget about that now. Forget the future. Forget Loki. You're a giant. And you're clearly coming into some powers that you don't understand yet. Come on, let's take a walk. You can help me with something and I'll teach you. You know, giant stuff. Come on. Oh, 
What's this? Here, follow me. Where are we going? We're gonna get some food, plant some seeds, my everyday stuff. But first, I want you to meet someone. Loki, meet Yala. Hi, Yala. Uh, nice to meet you. Oh, wow. She, she's a big girl, huh? Come on up. Good girl. Ganga. So, um... I guess you know about the whole champion of the... Jotnar? Yeah. Do you want me to call you that instead? No. Loki's good. Sure. Champ. <laughs> I've got this one. There's another up the path. Just take only what you need. See? You won't need that. The roots snap pretty easily. There. Just take a little off. A good twist ought to do it. Like that? Exactly. We're coming! We're coming! There's more roots this way. <sighs> she really doesn't like me, huh? She does. It's just... Apart from me, the only other person she spent time with is not... Drug on the ridge! Loki! Show me the wolf! That's it! You got it! Home again. Yeah. Let's drop off these roots in the bucket up on the left here. Then, I've got one last thing to show you. You okay? Yeah, just... <clears throat> Are there any animals you can turn into? Not yet. But for you, that might be a god thing and not a giant thing. Oh. Thanks for rubbing it in, though. Sorry. Joking. <laughs> I got it. Marbles. Wait, you've seen these before? Not these, but I found a few in Midgar. Where? Inside your mother's murals. <laughs> oh, but that's. There are more out there. What are they? Just look. Yahtzee. Crowther? Hey, careful. Aura. Giants. These belong to the giants? These are the giants. They had a choice. They could stay in Jotunheim, waiting for Odin to find a way in to slaughter them. Or they could hide. My father helped whisper their souls into these. 
than before he died. He passed them on to me. It's within these. How they are your responsibility. Are you sure? Well, that's what my mother saw. You're supposed to know what to do with them when the time comes. And when's that? I don't know. Head back. This is a lot of responsibility. It is. And it's all yours. Hey, you okay? Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm just, I'm done. I guess. Now that I've given you those, my part in all this is over. Y you could always come with me. We could fight Odin together. If I was supposed to fight alongside you, I wouldn't disappear from your damn mural halfway through. I understand. Well, we shouldn't break up the set. Don't you think? Let's keep walking. Perfect. Hey. Hey, I, uh... Killed a flower? Oh, I... It's a gift. Thanks, but, uh... You keep it. Anyway, we're looking for wretch nests. Those will give me the supplies I need, so keep an eye out. <laughs> it's so dark down here. Let me fix that. Oh, I meant to ask you, your mother had visions. Can all giants tell the future? Some, in dreams. Hey, yeah, I dreamt of Thor a while ago. Thor? Came true too. He showed up at my house. He did? Sounds kind of like a nightmare. Yeah, kind of. What are those? Fireflies? Are they dangerous? <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> kind of nice. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect timing. For what? Oh, wow. I know things have been weird in a lot of ways, but I'm glad you came here. Me too. So now that I know how to get back here, I could come back anytime I wanted, right? When? I don't know. After things calm down. As in, after Ragnarok? Yeah. Sure. I don't think I'll be busy then. Come on, girl. You can make it. What's up here? A shortcut. <clears throat> Good girl. You can do it, Yala. I believe in you. Let's give Yala a break. I meant what I said before. You know? About your paintings. They're really good. 
Are you trying to cheer me up? Yeah. Is it working? Ask me again and... Oh, damn time. What the... What? Shut up. Too late to whine now. Now. Who was that? Kryla. She... <laughs> What's wrong with it? I can't... feel anything. <laughs> There's nothing to feel. Carla whispered its soul away. You know where she lives? What are you gonna do? I've buried enough wolves this winter. Follow me. I can't feel anything. Just like the other one. She took its soul. There's not much more we can do. Hold this. What are you... You didn't have a least favorite giant, did you? What? Never mind. This one. No. You can't. Your mother said I'd know what to do with these. Yes, eventually. I just gave them to you. I know. But... They can't hide forever. Right? And we can't just leave it here to die. Are you sure? No. I actually don't know how to do this part. Okay. Together, then? That's it? Where's it going? Did that even work? I... I don't know. Here. But you're giving up already? They're your responsibility. It's not that. It's not. 
I just think they're better off with you. Loki, are you certain? Call me Atreus. Thanking me. What good does a soul do anybody? It's just a vessel for pain. I damn near envy you. Okay, the cauldron. Without it, she'll have no use for the souls. I'll distract her. You free the wolf. Then we break the cauldron. You sure? No. But we can't hide forever. Go. I told you never to come back here. That's right. Look at me. There's so many things I've forgotten. And you refuse to be one of them. It doesn't have to be this way. If Ragnarok is coming, wouldn't you rather face it together? What does destiny ever do for anybody? Look at your mom's destiny to go so young. The father's destiny to marry the Oh, for Ah! You broad of prey! Loki! Loki! Let him go! Get out of my house! Follow me. Over there. Got to destroy that cauldron. Where Can you swing you across? Hmm? You hiding? You should have stayed here. It's okay, <laughs> you to the wolves right after I pulled you out of your mother. Get out! Just... Get out! No. <gasps> Let's go. <gasps> No one will ever remember you! Not even Loki! You'll just be a forgotten chapter in his story! He'll be too busy mourning his father! I see you again! You wish you died with your parents!
You sure it's all right to leave her here? What if she comes out looking for... She used to leave me food? What? She'd say she didn't care about me, but... Sometimes I'd wake up and... I'd see a loaf of bread sitting next to the fire. Just baked just the way she always used to. She's not a monster, you know? She's lost. You wanna walk? So prove me wrong. One, two, three, go! Fine. You coming or what? Go, go, go! Fox? Oh no, you don't! Watch the turn here! <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what you're saying. This field always smells so amazing. <laughs> Her nose is much better like this. Don't get too distracted. Oh, come on. You're not getting tired now, are you? <laughs> no, you don't. a magic fox the whole way. Floki, or er, Atreus, thank you. I'm sorry she was so hard on you. Me too. You still don't believe it, do you? I can't. I think I'm being stupid. I think? You care for your dad so much you can't conceive of a world where you let him get hurt. Come here. I need to show you something. Laufe? My mother's? I wish it weren't empty, but... I know how it feels... to lose a parent... to lose both. Your mother may be gone, but your father... You've still got time to say goodbye. I know what you're trying to say. And I appreciate it. I do. But... I don't know. We've got to be more than a bunch of stories with our endings already written. happens to you now. I don't know. Like I said, once you're gone, my part in this is over. So, you know, feel free to stay.
I think your part is as big as you want it to be. What are you gonna do? No idea. But I can't just sit back and let my dad die. I gotta get back. Okay. Huh. The stars here are different. No. You just are. I am gonna see you again. Sure. Okay, now. Close your eyes. And hold that tight. You don't want to lose it. Home. Think of it. Repeat it. Like that? Other home, other home, other home. I wanted to visit Fenrir. For two days? I... Do not lie to me again! Why did you come here? Alone? Do you seek death? No more than you. Then why? Why? What is it you will not tell me? I have tried to walk this path with you. We follow your every whim. But you don't believe in any of it. And still, I follow. Because all that matters is that you are safe. But that's not all that matters. Who's keeping you safe? I do not need you to protect me. You sure about that? What do you know? I can't talk about it. But I just need you to trust me. You kept secrets, but I trust you. It's not the same. Why not? You hid things. Mother hid things. You had good reasons, and so do I. Why can't you just... Violation imaginable. No! You do not 
want this! Hold your mind! Control it! She was our friend! Atreus! Atreus! Maybe, for the moment, you're of more use to me. Majesty, a pleasure to see you again. Bronifer. <laughs> Do not let him out of your sight. You heard him, sunshine. Come on, get a move on. Refuse to remain bound to this realm. We travel to Vanaheim. Well, guess it's just us then. <sighs> One gateway to Vanaheim coming right up. I can feel the pool of the binding curse. Its source is further in. Follow me. Muggier than a Mufelheim shit pit out here. And nearly as fragrant. Suppose Fimble Winter's to blame. But if it helps these two find peace... This is a temporary alliance, Mimir. Anything beyond that would require trust. Oh, please. You know damn well Kratos isn't the true cause of your suffering. You're both as much a part of my suffering as anyone. Come on, let's find a way forward. Through here. Oh no. Something's wrong. My spell, I can feel it slipping. Well, that's Fimble Winter for you. You don't understand. I'll be torn from the realm. What can be done? Something I was hoping to avoid. Seems I don't have. Falky! <sighs> Come on then. You had a way around Odin's curse this whole time. No. I discovered it once you unlocked realm travel, and it solves very little. This form is extremely limiting. Quiet. Now, what do we have here? Oh, one eye, send another god to do his dirty work. Thor, too busy. We do not serve Odin. <laughs> no? Picked a dangerous place for sightseeing, then. All right. No, no. No need for threats, brother. Oh, I know that voice. <laughs> you know, I'd cut off your head, but it seems somebody beat me to it. Aye, 
Oh, quite observant, brother. Oh, ho, ho, ho. no, you're no brother of mine. He sold my sister to that prick. We broke it a piece. Oh, did you now? Where is it? Hmm? And where is my sister? Some dungeon in Asgard? Is she even alive? Answer me. I guess we'll settle for blood. Stop! What is that? Why do you speak in her voice? It's me, Ingvi. There's no time to explain, just listen. These men are in my service. I'm here to reclaim what's been taken from me. It's too late. You can't undo what's been done. I can. I will. Now let them pass. So... You serve my sister. Oh. Oh. Don't we all? Put him down. Sorry, we got off on the wrong foot there, stranger. We're pretty used to only seeing Ace here in these parts. Don't typically get friendly faces. That, that is a friendly face, right? His name is Kratos, and no. The Aesir on Vanaheim. <laughs> yeah, we've been occupied since... Uh, I lost count. What is your plan? We're still kind of working on it. Mm -hmm. Brother, I think I could be of use here. If my counsel is welcome. Well, I'll take what I can get. <laughs> your mission will go considerably smoother without me in the mix. Come back for me when you're done. Hold on. Something's not right. Opin Bera. World tree roots bound in Odin's damn knots. That's how he did it. Come on! Nepo! The creature! It belongs to Odin? No! It protects Yggdrasil's roots wherever they are! Oh. In that case! Hurry! Finally! You are free! In Vanaheim, yes. But there are more roots. She will guard them with her life.
it done. It's over. It's, it's really over. And now that you have what you seek, I suppose this is the point where I forgive you, where I kill you. Have you decided? I don't think I can do either. There's still a part of me that is so angry that it'll always be, it'll always be angry. But no. You are not the one who needs to die. I do see that. Everything that's happened between us. No need to explain. Not to me. Not for that. I do not regret saving your life. And never will. But the choice between life and death should have been yours to make. I should not have robbed you of that choice. Wait. Skull and Hadi are in Vanaheim? We learned the giants rescued them from Odin and brought them here. And look. The sunlight wakes the sleeping roots. See how they stretch to welcome the sun? 
beautiful, no? A far cry from the sheets of Midgard snow I've grown accustomed to. Turn to us at last. Yes. Uh, let's celebrate. You'll reclaim the throne. We'll rebuild. Me and you against the world. Huh? Just like the old days. I'm... not staying. I don't understand. You're here. Maybe together we can take back what's ours. I only just got back what's mine. I still have work to do. You've seen what's left of the realm, right? Do we really mean that little to you? You question my loyalty? Vanaheim turned its back on me. Oh, you still can't let go of that old fight. It was my duty to save as many of our people as possible. My responsibility. One you didn't take seriously then, and from the looks of it, one you don't now. You think this is a game to me? Yeah. <sighs> we lost everything to that maniac you called husband. The man's family set me on fire. How did you expect me to react? Like my brother. Like the boy that used to have my back no matter what. And who I always supported, no matter how selfish his choices. I expected you to come and find me. That no matter how hurt or angry, you wouldn't abandon me when I needed you the most. Freya, please. I I thought you were dead. Yeah. I've had to live lifetimes with those last awful words I said to you. Have any idea what that's like? Knowing that your own selfishness hurt the person that you cared about the most. Abandon you. I mourned you. Oh, I've missed you so much. And I, you, Evie. But I won't bind myself to another realm when I finally have my freedom. I'll send help, though. And I will come back. I promise. This hasn't been your home for a long time, has it? Do what you gotta do. All right, all right, that's enough. Ain't y'all got nothing better to do than gawking at family sorting squabbles? Come on, you two. Not you. You'll be We're not supposed thrilled. to keep secrets. Joints but you are gone for two days. You better screw his head back on, and I mean tightly. So you're back. Are you ready to answer me? About what? Where did you go? Who did you see? Was it Odin? What? Is that what you think? Do you deny it? <laughs> answer me! 
Did you go to Asgard? No. Of course not. But so what if I did? It's my future, it's my life. You are my son. Then why don't you trust me? If you want me to trust you, then tell me the truth. The truth is you're being a complete asshole. Laddie, you know that's no way to change a man's mind. He doesn't have any faith in me. It's fine if he keeps secrets. It's fine if mom did. That is not fine. Her secrets haunt every step of this path. Oh, okay. So you don't believe in her anymore either? This is not about your mother. What you have done is lie. Wonder where I learned that. That's quite enough. Since when do you always take his side? Since he became the one making sense. Look, I was only thinking about going to Odin. But I swear it's for a good reason. There is no good reason to go to Odin. He'll only cloud your mind. But I'd be going for us. I, I gotta stop something bad from happening. Something bad did happen. Look at me, at Freya, at Tia. Odin did this to us. What's got everyone caterwauling all of a sudden? Atreus wants to go to Asgard. Asgard? Get kicked in the head or something? Great. I guess everybody's against me now. You must choose who you're going to be. Are you going to continue to lie and keep things from me? Or are you my son? Choose? I never get to choose. Just leave me alone. Listen. Let go of me. Listen. Zach, let go. What the fuck? Atreus. It's Sindri. Just, just try to keep control. Charlie, please, please, Charlie. Mm. <laughs> hey, big guy, I'm here now. Don't you worry. I need to get you warm. You're gonna have to stand to let me into that house. Think you can do that? Come on, Charlie. You have to do this. I... I can't... Help if you don't... Emily! Emily! Good. Good boy. I know, buddy. I know. It's cold in here. Freya hasn't been checking on you? Right. Too busy hunting us down. From her home in Vanaheim? She must have really missed it. I can't believe she never came back to check on her house. To check on you. That's not an excuse.
It's okay, buddy. I think he's here for me. I'll be okay. I think. Okay. I'm ready. Take me to him. Should have learned to swim before Midgard froze over. You need help? You, uh, you look a little lost. Oh, uh, I'm just getting my bangs. Well, there's nothing to see this way except the big wall. Is there a gate to go through? Nope. Not unless you're an Aesir god, but... I guess you'd know that if you were an Aesir god. Me? No. I'm from Midgard. What? No shit. Me too. I'm skilled here. Lucky. Hang on. Are you... all from Midgard? <laughs> yep. The, uh... Allfather saved us from the desolation. Gave us a safe place to settle, but we don't go in there. Can't get into the city unless you know magic. You you don't know magic, do you? A little bit, yeah. What? No shit. You, you walk through walls? Not yet. Huh. Couldn't I just climb over it? <laughs> that? Without any gear? Uh, no. Aren't you afraid of dying? Well, yeah. I mean, look at that. But, Odin awaits. Wait, you know the Allfather? I'm sort of his apprentice. No shit! What is he teaching you? I'm not sure. Well, how many other students? I don't know. How long you stay? You don't know. Okay. I'm gonna go climb that wall now. Okay. I can do this. I can do this. Almost there. Hello. Uh, hi. So, what part of the enormous wall made you think, oh, visitors must be welcome? I was sent for, actually, by Odin. The Allfather sent for you. <laughs> Great. Mm. Then why are you out there? And not in here. Why don't we ask them together? Hmm. Ah! Oh! 
Are you finished? <laughs> now, what could Odin, All Father, King of the Aesir, possibly want with the likes of you? That's between me and Odin. <laughs> you don't even know, do you? <laughs> think you could pull me up, or... No, I don't think I will. I think maybe I'll drop you. No, 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 no. <sighs> yes, I'm Stop. going to drop you. Goodbye. Stop. Where are you? Think how mad the Allfather's gonna be when, when he finds out you killed his guest. Loki of the Jotnar? <laughs> <laughs> the Jotnar. Enemy of my people. I am not your enemy. <sighs> I will be the judge of that. Wow, that's almost as impressive as Balder taming a dragon. Balder had the luxury of not caring how badly he got burned. I outthink them. Dominate them fair and square. Whoa. Are these all Aesir gods? What? You think all Aesir are gods? But Skilder told me that oh, only... Oh, well, if Skilder told you... Clearly, whoever that is must be the authority on Aesir gods, not the Aesir god you are currently talking to. You literally know nothing of our culture, do you? I know lots of things. I know a giant built that wall. A giant built the wall that keeps out the giants. Primther, son of Thalmor. I know the whole story. Really? I truly cannot wait for you to regale me with the revisionist tales of Asgard's architectural history. Is that Odin's palace? Palace. Do you think the All-Father needs to puff himself up like some mortal chieftain? I guess not. That is the Great Lodge, which the All-Father built with his own hands. I'm sorry if that is a letdown for you. Real power, you see, does not need to flaunt. It emerges when the time is right. Don't you agree? Hey! Whoa! Oh. Hey, Helmets! I brought you a practice demo. That was boring. Guess who's next? You sure you want to keep up on the waiting? Funny thing, I am sure about that. Yes, I am feeling very sure, matter of fact. Oh no! Arrow! How? Here, so. Whoa! Oh! How is he doing that? Oh! Not even close! Oh! Oh! That one felt special! Oh, that was not the last trick you have! You're not gonna stop me from seeing Odin! You'll be seeing him from your grave. What? That doesn't even make sense! Oh! That's all you got! How have you survived this long? Ha! That is your big special move? Hilarious! Gowboy, is that it? Is this all you have to show me, Yolton? Wow. I do have to say, Loki, I am profoundly unimpressed. You should probably stay down. Great. <laughs> Knock it off. Like it or not, he's all father's guest. But I thought I smelled something. Take one more step, you're not gonna like how this ends. Really? And how do you intend to stop me? 
Look into my eyes. You tell me. You are a sick man. Loki, you made it. I am so honored. I, I see you've met Heimdall. He reads minds for me. The boy is false, our father. This young man, who is my guest, is covered in mud. Care to explain? He means to betray you. <gasps> is that true, Loki? You a little trickster? Uh... I'm just messing around. Of course he means to betray me, huh? Heimdall, why else would he come? I've given him no reason to trust me. Not yet. But he's got some very big questions. And I have so many answers to give. What are you up to? Dismissed. Go. Gladly. And you, clean yourself up. But oh, Father. Oh, my... Jeff. Heimdall, will you just relax? Were you intending on killing me first thing? See? What, that's not good enough for you? Get out of here. <laughs> He's a lot, I know. Very perceptive, but sometimes he just forgets to think, you know? Hey, I got some places to be. So how'd your father take the news that you decided to accept my invitation? I don't think we should talk about my father. Not well, huh. <laughs> Can't blame him. Between my ex-wife and my disgruntled former employee, he's not exactly getting an unbiased view. But you, you're curious, open-minded. That's important. Priest, meest, carry on. Pretend I'm not here. If I'm being honest with you, Loki, you're lucky my offer still stands after you went and sprung tear. But I suppose spending time with him is punishment enough, isn't it? <laughs> At least Mimir never lost his sense of humor. But look, it, that's all behind us now. I like to keep looking forward. Hey, hey, hey! I want them trained, not decapitated. Just keep it below the neck, all right? Is that really what you do when I'm not here? All father. Queen Gana. The Ainhuyar are ready for your blessings. That's why I'm here, isn't it? Huh. Guess there's a new Valkyrie queen. Great soldiers, these Ainhuyar. But they tend to come out of Valhalla a little foggy. I do what I can for them, help them remember who they were in life. That's important, don't you think? A sense of identity gives things meaning. Moon Thinafen, Hrothgar. Moon Thinafen, Form. Moon Thinafen, Tiana. Okay, next up. Ah, the books. Good. Those are for him. I understand you're an avid reader. These are just a few things from my personal collection. Uh, thanks. Jürgen, those better not be mushrooms I smell. Listen, I appreciate your offer, but I'm really not sure what you're expecting from me. Right now, you're just visiting, Loki. One step at a time. Steady there, Carl. But with all respect, you need to know. I came to study, not to serve. Another servant is the last thing I need. I need someone with drive, with curiosity. Someone will take initiative. That looks good. Is that braised? But why me? Is it because I'm half giant? Big deal. So's Thor. Erlen, try to stay awake for me. OK, but look, don't overthink it. I have a project I think you'll be interested in, a major learning opportunity. Or both of us. What about my family? My friends? 
I need to know nobody's gonna get hurt. Why would I hurt anybody? The truce is all I've been asking for from the start, if you recall. Look, you're here now. Stop worrying. It's all gonna be fine. Almost to your room. My room? Yep, just over here. Feel free to come and go. Take what you need, poke around as you please. You're not my prisoner. And more importantly, I am not your father. All father, there's a situation that needs your attention. Sif, you missed welcoming our new house guest. Say hello to Loki. This is him? Here. In our home. How nice. My diplomat. Everything all right in New Midgard? The refugees are fine. The situation is with the dwarves. You know who is back. Yeah, it's always something. Put those books down. We got another stop to make. Uh, sure. All right, I'm here. Where is he? He? Oh, he, uh, just over there. Oh, other, sir. <gasps> uh. Chief, it's been too long. What's the issue now? No issue at all if you're trying to build volatile death traps. I approve these designs personally, and not all that recently, I might add. Did you just wake up with the urge to be a pain in my ass? Yeah. Who's the cut? You're training puck pockets. You know what, Durlin? You reek of cheap mead, and that is by far your most endearing characteristic. Now listen up. It's me, your entire economy, speaking. I want you to know that I have confidence in you. Confidence you can deliver me these machines as promised on time, on budget, and of course, safely. The dwarves have never let me down, and they're not about to start now. Right? Good. Okay, so I'm gonna let you catch your breath. When you're ready to get to work and start getting those answers, meet me in my study down the hall. Oh, and help yourself to a change of clothes. Whoa! Loki, right? Gotta say, the irony of this isn't lost on me. This was his room, you know? His? My brother's. Your brother? Modi? Ah, oh, your brother. Really? I had no idea. Uh-huh. And now it's yours. Enjoy. Fruit thirst, Doctor. Relax. You've got some pretty small shoes to fill. We're better off without him, Loki. Trust me. Walk with me. Uh, don't forget your sword. Someone will clean that up. Yes, I, I, I understand. Yes. Do you see me nodding and saying, yes, I understand? I... I... Uh-huh. Yes. Yes, all right. Mm-hmm. You see, this is you not letting me talk. No, Hugan, I, I don't need my ears clean. I need you to stop croaking and, and, 
and accept the answer you know I'm about to give. I was just looking at this. That old thing. I've had that since, huh, who can remember? <laughs> you, you have a name? Ingrid. Really? Sure, why not? Take it, if you like it that much. For real? Consider it a perk of the job. Thank you. I mean, really. And they say I'm the bad guy. Come on, let's walk. You're welcome. What is it? It's what drives me. You feel it, don't you? Feels like knowledge, truth. All truth, all the answers. We could find out why we're here, learn how to change our fates, stop Ragnarok for good, maybe. Save the people we love. How? I was a young god when I found it. Spent lifetimes studying it, following every clue down every dead end. Looking for and finally unearthing this. You see that? It shares the same mystical energy. It opened a crack. Can we just look inside? I wouldn't recommend that. What's the broken mask for? You recognize any writing on it? These aren't from the Nine Realms. Small there. Obsidione Spitha. From smoldered earth and obsidian spark and a field of battles never fought. Are you certain? Because if that's a clue, I know what it means. And what's that? Keep working with me and find out. You don't have to kill anyone. You don't have to betray your father or yourself. Come on, I know you felt what I felt. The answers are in there, let's get them. I mean, you translated this language like it was nothing. If I do help you, what's next? Thor, get down here. Oh, father. Don't do that. What's next is chasing this down. Take this, and this stealthy side of beef, and see where it takes you. I don't promise anything. Nonsense. Happy hunting. And you, go easy on him, you hear me? Behind. The rest of the mask is here. It's where all father dropped us. What do you think? Just take that and do your damn job. So, where are we going? How the fuck am I supposed to know? All father thinks that you know what you're doing. So do it. Weird. Well, it seems like we go through this rock. I was gonna get that. <laughs> With those arms. Listen. Modi had some problems, but he was my son. And the only reason you aren't mush right now is because of that broken piece of wood. 
Look, clearly neither of us can do this mission alone. And I want to impress the Allfather just as much as you do. You don't have to like me, but we're gonna have to trust each other. Just a little bit. Trust. What the? Ah! Uh, 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 uh. Wait, Sutter's shrine. You didn't die over there, did you? No, but I was thinking. Well, that's your problem. Boda? <laughs> you know, for someone who is trained as a warrior, you are tragically easy to startle. I... I, I didn't. What are you doing here? A girl can't visit a shrine of her own volition? You're here for Sorter's marble. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> You're out looking for more giant marbles? You know what this looks like, right? Like the life story of one of our people? And also maybe a storage closet. No. This looks an awful lot like Defying Destiny. The question is, what are you doing here? Rewriting my story. Odin gave that to you? It's not. Well, he did, but it's not. I'm not working with him. I would never tell him anything about Ironwood if that's what you're worried about. And I'm definitely not serving him. It's prophecy's words, not mine. I've got a marble to find. You're welcome to help if you want. Fine. But are you sure you're up for breaking the rules like this? There aren't any prophecies of you collecting any marbles. Our endings haven't been written, right? Come on. Shame. <laughs> Hello there. A sentient sword. Huh. Another marble. Surters. No soul in it, though. So he's still out there somewhere. A while back, you talked about how the giants left. You ever think about them? All the time. They're far from here. Far from Odin and Thor. But I wonder what lands they've gone to. What seas they've crossed. Why? I want to find them. I'm going to save my father, and then I'll find them. It's starting. Who is that? Not Surtur, that's for sure. Look at all that frost. Sinmara. Hmm. Don't think I've heard of her before. And here comes Surtur. Wow. This must have been some fight. Yeah, until it... wasn't? They just stopped? Oh, no, 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 look. It's because they fought together. Looks like they even became friends. Uh, good friends. Are they? Yeah, I think they are. Oh, well that's good for them. But it looks like their, um, love caused them to combine into some kind of huge creature. Ragnarok. And then... Ragnarok destroys Asgard. Right. I saw that in Groa's shrine. Well, that was... something. Oh, hey, remember the snake we put that soul in? Can't really forget that. I saw it. It's getting... bigger. Like, faster than normal bigger. Yeah, I had a feeling that would happen. Huh. I'm gonna hang back here. Don't want your, uh, friend to see a giant he missed. Of course. Just... Be careful. Please. You too, Loki. Hey, Ingrid. Think Thor died from... You 
thought you could defeat the god of thunder? Oh. It's here. This is the spot. But well, where is it? In the lava? I don't know. Ah! Some advice. Sticking your hand in lava is never gonna feel good. I wasn't thinking. Good. It's better that way. All right, let's get out of here. Oh. Well, don't try to play me again. You're an okay kid. But you're still a giant, and I'll revel in killing you too. What did you do? Loki, <laughs> the rift got brighter. Look, you did it. Look, one of these phrases is complete now. We can read it all. But you can't translate it. Not yet. See, I got a little theory. I think if we can find the rest of this, we can use it to look into that without, you know, losing an eye or worse. Look at this. We make a good team. Don't we? Don't we? Make a good damn team? Just like you and Balder. You both behave out there? Thor was really great. I learned a lot from him. You learned something from him? Really, now? <laughs> okay. What did you teach the kid? Nothing. What could I possibly teach him? Exactly. Ah, <gasps> I was wondering where that went. Actually, I had a... Pretty good idea. Change of heart. I'm not really sure why I came to Asgard. But I realize now it wasn't to be a spy. I need you to know you can trust me. And if I'm gonna help you take this to the end, I need to be able to trust you. And trust is earned. I get it. Take this, figure out the rest of it. If you're staying, that is. You're gonna tell me what you're really looking for in there. Translate that, and I'll tell you everything. And on that, young man, you can trust me. Good morning, brother. No news, I'm afraid. I have a plan. Do you now? The Nords. You found them once. Could you do so again? I could try, but I don't see how that they would help. They are the fates of these lands, are they not? I would know what they know. You may not find them cooperative. As long as I find them, where do we search? Midgard. 
But if Atreus is an Asgard, there's no getting him back without an army. We should be raising one. Yes, nothing like a catastrophic war to improve the situation. The boy seems quite capable, perhaps if you simply give him some time. You are not free of blame here. You encourage his foolishness, his confusion. I do not seek war. But if Odin has stolen my son, do not doubt the lengths I will go to. Your nature has always been clear, Kratos. But you, Freya. War as a first resort? That's not the Freya I knew. I hope the Norns can give you the counsel you need. Perhaps mine is no longer of use here. Tear, stop. This is no time to divide ourselves further. Come, sit, please. You have been quiet. Frankly, I'm surprised you of all people would seek out fate. But your instincts haven't let us down so far. Let's find the norms. Hang on! I got something for you. Sindri! Coming! Before you go traipsing off into the dawn, I thought you'd like to have this back. Well, don't go getting too cheery about it, but you're welcome. I've collected what we need to find the Norns. Shall we go? From me, of course. Come. Of course. Quiet. She is a friend. Now. Better they get this from you. Once the wolves have the scent of the Norns, we'll just need to follow their lead. I will open the gate. Stop whining. Their fur is matted. When did you last brush them? They are wolves. And matted fur leads to disease. Take care of them and they'll take care of you. Brother. What exactly do you intend to ask the Norns? How I may find my son. Nothing more. You don't imagine it's a chance to clear up all this mess about prophecy? Perhaps get a second opinion on your alleged demise. You didn't tell me you had a death prophecy? When Atreus and I reached Jotunheim, we found a hidden mural. The giants. They herself had foreseen our entire journey long ago. Who we would meet. Who we would fight. All of it, as it happened. But you aren't dead. That image was from a time yet to come. I see. You've never struck me as someone who fears death. That's not the problem, is it? No. Death can have me when it earns me. Then maybe it's not the future that bothers you. Faye sent you on your journey, and she made sure you'd see that image at the end of it. And you're still not sure why. I wish to speak of this no further. Now that we are on the lake, how will we find the Norns? Watch the wolves closely. See how their heads point the way. Mother. My boy. I can feel everything. Walter, listen to me, please. Stop! Why did you bring him here? You are not welcome here! Wait! Baldur, come back! Talk to me! You will not touch him! You will not harm him! Nobody harms my boy! But me! No! Freya! Brother, over here! Come get me! I want none of this! Imagine them thinking I... Secret? Brother, hold off! Why did you never turn on Odin? But I did! I tried to stop him any way I could! Don't lie! Don't! 
You served Odin from the day you met him to the day he put you in that tree! You sought favor! You wanted his war! You watched him mistreat everyone and everything! And you never got a until you turned on! I know, Seagrin. It's true. All of it. But for love of you, I became a better man. A counselor of peace. An ally to all those who... Were you an ally to Freya in her suffering? To Scott? To Thrawn? Or to Tanya? No! You all took the side of the powerful and he used Mother, them. watch out. There's more of them. Even now. You see a violent guy in the Eden, you can't help but hate him and call him brother. It's who you are! It's who you are! And it's who you are! It is not her. No. Of course. You did what you must. Brother, the tree! It's pulling me in! Mamiya! Brother, help me! Monster! Atreus! I am coming! Over. Did we pass the test? Didn't feel much like succeeding. I see the door has disappeared. Or it was never there. They toy with us still. What is that? A Kelpie. Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Good. Care to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the loss by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Mm. There were the hippocamps. They served the sea god. I battled one upon a titan. That might not be her favorite subject. <laughs> Its own hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns. Tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son! son. <laughs> you know the child is an Asgard. No, you seek what all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. Oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts, as if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. Are you 
because you called him the destroyer of fate. There must be a way to subvert destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. The protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable. Merely make us seem prescient. When, when my, my son, son was born, born shut up! up. <laughs> your prophecy said he would die a needless death, and he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did, it was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in Storycraft. We are leaving. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> well, that was educational. Let us leave this place. Happily. That's better. I can feel things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... Will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Amir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. I have news. Oh, did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need it. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh... You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do, but... Go fetch Dropnir.
drop near. I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Dropnir. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. How will this help me kill Heimdall? Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artistes. But to even store Dropnir, you'd need... You were saying... Now you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. I will not allow harm to come to him. you little one. Oh. <laughs> Got it! I think. I thought you didn't believe in fate. We are all worried about your son. But we Enough! Heimdall's a threat, not only to Atreus, but to everyone. He's Odin's left hand, and he carries the horn that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we and should... And it's just as likely a trap, because the bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention, we'll have to visit... The lady. Oh. oh. Whew, that's a relief. <laughs> uh. Ow. Kratos, whenever you're ready. The lady. No idea what he's on about, brother. See you out there. Ah, Master Kratos, over here. They're Master open to Kratos, us. I have a matter of some urgency. Ah, time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. Oh, no. This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. I you have to. heard him. Quit your friend. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. What the? <clears throat> no, you pimp shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? Well, think the fuck again. Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge camp. I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so colorfully. I 
I, um, uh, I, uh, uh, She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand. Alfie Vector almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless it for us. Are you, uh... Hello? Hello? <laughs> the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion's cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! the fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no. I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters. Not its form. All right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. everyone.
Now a good time. I just want to talk. Dad to dad. Speaking of which, imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door. <laughs> He's doing well, by the way, and will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much cared for Brock. But can't deny the dwarf's talent. You came to speak. Speak. You don't really want war, do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands, on your son's hands. I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. He's lying. I know. That boy of ours. He's everything I expected. So clever, kind. You sure he's yours? A kid. You really ought to be very proud. He is the key to peace in our age, to break free from all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh, God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. I know you're not the god you once were. And now is your chance to prove it. Return my son. Or you may meet the god I once was. And what kind of god is that, Kratos? What do you even know of godhood? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself. Beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. Is it any wonder that your boy is in no rush to come back to you? You won't listen to him, brother. He's just trying to get in your head. So this drop near spear, you're prepared to use it? To protect Atreus. I am no one's champion but his, nor no one's god. That may be my form. It is not my nature. Do you understand? I guess a difference of opinion is hardly the most I'm setting aside for this alliance. As long as the plan is to kill Heimdall, the rest matters little. There's also the bit of news that Odin has some inkling of what we're up to. I thought I heard ravens. Damn it. What did he say? Lies, threats, and more lies. What did you expect? You think he lies that Atreus is in Asgard? No. On that, I'm afraid I believe him. Then the rest matters little. I saw a gateway near here, overlooking the bay. We can get to it with your spear, I think. Where are you going, brother? Sleep. So we're just keeping blindly on then, hoping we don't walk headlong into Ragnarok. Is that your plan?
Kratos. You all right? Well, your father seems very ready to go. Shall we then? This way, Grumbles. Do you enjoy the gentle waves, little one? Father and I traverse this river often. One day, you will learn to navigate its waters. We live deep in the wild woods. The most beautiful forest in all of Midgard. And it is safe and serene here. Game is plentiful. And you will want for nothing. Mm. We're not far from the place your father and I first met. We nearly took each other's heads off. But he's softened since then. Somewhat. Fortunately for you, he remains dreadfully stoic. <sighs> I suppose it will fall to me to teach you language. Your father can teach you to hunt. Perhaps that will fall to me as well, since all he seems to be good for is grunting. Have you nothing to say to your son? What would you have me say, Faye? Anything. Let him learn your voice. Let him know you. It is far better off knowing as little as possible. Knowledge is not always a burden. <laughs> to think the mighty god of war frightened of his own child. I do not fear our child, Faye. I fear for him. He is innocent. We are not our failures. We are not who we were. We must be better. Atreus is our future. Keep him safe, Kratos. Protect our son.
What did that wall ever do to you? I'm um, building focus. Something my father taught me. <laughs> it work? Not yet. So, what you focusing on anyway? Controlling my emotions. Heimdall keeps trying to make me lose my cool. Ugh! I can't give in to it. Through. Hey. It's through. Hey, be cool. Training without me? <laughs> that, a, that a good idea? Training? I mean, I, I think it's a great idea, but uh, won't your mom be mad if she finds out? Good point. But did you consider? Oh, no, <laughs> it didn't. It didn't hurt, also. Mm -hmm. Anyways, grandfather wants to see you. Oh, grandfather. Right, okay. Uh, here, then take this. And, uh, send my regards to Sif, Lady Sif. And, uh, Treyas, see you later. And Throod, bye, Throod. <laughs> Midgardian boys are so weird. Weird can be good. This is the two of you, I swear. What's in the jar? Milk curd, mom's favorite. It's his way of helping. Grandfather's in his study. Catch up later. just don't get it. The mask. Bringing the giant that killed my sons here. Why? <laughs> I can explain it to you, but I can't understand it for you. Stop letting your wife think for you. She's clouding whatever's left of your brain. This isn't about her. No, it's about your limitations. Accept them and move on. Now go smash something, will you? Honestly, I like you better as a drunk. Loki, come here. I finally figured it out. This is where you killed Amir. Isn't it? First giant? Tell me. Can you murder a landslide? Smother a storm? He was more. A force of nature. A vessel of power. I was young, foolish, saw an opportunity to create something more. I know you think it's cruel, but I did what I had to, to protect my own. Why build your house here? What's in there? I'm gonna trust shh, you. Shh, shh. I'm trying to tell you. In the wake of Amir's death, I saw something, the rift. Possibly the birthplace of reality. I looked inside and something was there looking back at me. It whispered to me things I couldn't possibly comprehend, but I knew they were true. When it blinded me, I thought it was over that I'd never see inside again. And then I found this. And I knew that it would finally let me see the answers. 
You see, son, I don't know where I go when I go. There's no Valhalla for me. Ragnarok cannot be the end. I need to know there's something more than this. I need to know what happens to me. And that's the truth, I swear, on my last good eye. That's the truth. The writing on here talks about a cold breath. Breath. Wind. It's gotta be Helheim. Helheim, you say? I'll take it. And I know just the person to accompany you. I'm trusting you two can handle this responsibility. You can count on us. Don't mess this up for me. Oh, I uh, forgot to mention, Heimdall will be joining you. What a privilege. For all of us. Oh, whoa, 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 hold up. You don't want to walk into the blistering cold of Helheim without this. Every Lau should keep you nice and toasty. You're welcome. Huh? The mirror said even Odin couldn't survive the cold in Helheim. You believe everything that old goat says? Throod, too bad your first time outside Asgard has to be to Helheim. Nah, we're gonna make the most of this. The mask, we're so close. Besides, I don't think it's dangerous. Are we looking at the same thing? Maybe he's locked up for a good reason. I can feel what he's feeling. It's a giant thing. Look, he just wants to be free. The peace must be behind him. Trust me. All right, let's start with the lock not near its teeth. You're welcome, mangy mutt. Let's look in the chamber he was guarding. Dead end? Please tell me it's down in the water or something. There's... How? It's not responding anymore. This has never happened. But you said trust you. And we let that thing loose. Grandfather's gonna kill me. We gotta get out of here. Come on. Through. Wait up. Maybe we missed it. Maybe it's back here somewhere. Through. Through. It's... It's gonna be okay. How I... can you say that? I shouldn't have listened to you. Look, if I made a mistake, I'll fix it. I can find the piece. You absolute, unqualified moron. You know that thing tears holes between realms, right? I should expect nothing less from half-breeds. Don't call me a half-breed. <clears throat> I will call you whatever I like, Junior. Leave him alone. It was a mistake. No! The mistake was allowing you to think that you were ready. You helped him, didn't you? What side are you on anyway, Guppy? Try me and find out. Oh. <laughs> and what are you going to do exactly? <sighs> you see, everyone takes it easy on you because they are afraid of your father. I am not. That fat drunken, utter piece of trash! Hey! Again! Yes, yes, the dumb does not fall far from the tree. Very well, then. Give me your best shot. You have a lot to learn, little girl. Starting with 
who your family is and who it is not. Just wait until I'm a Valkyrie. <laughs> oh. You really believed the Allfather would allow that to happen? <sighs> Please do not let this little weasel feed your delusions any longer. Enough! So close. Stop! He just wants to make you mad. Yeah? Well, it worked. Uh, well, uh, you toddlers are boring. If you are finished throwing your little tantrum, we should go now. Because I cannot wait to watch you explain this mess to the author. Oh, it's going to be glorious. Hoogan! Damn, he's not here. Let's check his study. Oh, boy, is he going to lose it. Father will have my back. After the All-Father sent him away sulking with his tail between his legs? Doubtful. And you, Loki of the Jotnar, I am haunted by your incompetence. It keeps me up at night. Whatever. <laughs> no, I, seriously, I, I find the hues and shades of your shortcomings almost moving. If we could only somehow harness your uselessness, we could fuel this entire city. Fine. It's all on me. Just leave her out of it. I don't need your help, Loki. Sorry. Save it for the Allfather. May I come in? I heard what Heimdall had to say. I'd like to hear it from you. What happened? It wasn't there. I was wrong. Well, we all make mistakes, son. But freeing Garm, <laughs> that was a big one. Chaos is already spilling out into the other realms. We're safe here in Asgard, but everywhere else. I think I want to go home now. Okay, if that's what you want. I meant it when I said you're not a prisoner here. It's your choice. Go, clear your mind. I know you'll be back. But before you go, I'll need the mask back. It's not that I don't trust you, you understand. It's the company you keep. Oh, and Ingrid? Please, I need to go. And Loki. When you do decide you're ready to continue our work here, Hugen will be waiting for you in your old home. You screwed up. Doesn't change the fact that you're welcome here. Oh, and say hi to Mimir for me. Almost home. It's gonna be fine. Everything's fine. No, no, no! It's you! Wait, it's you! Protect yourself! Cheers! Guys, yeah. time! Where are you? Where's Father? Trying to find a way to you! Do you mind? 
We're being attacked right now. Tell me when. Lassa Reef. Lassa Reef. Reef. Lassa Reef. Father! Off your back. Help Freya. I will draw them to me. Over. No thanks to you. Where is Atreus? Atreus? Has the runaway returned and brought all this with him? Just hold still. I told you I'm fine. Oh, you're bleeding. Quit your blubbering. It's all my fault. The Hellwalkers... They're everywhere. Everywhere. That is not your fault. Yes, it is. There was a wolf in hell. He was in chains and... And I set him free. I, I thought that if... Garm! Great bleeding fucklad, you freed Garm! Garm? Who freed Garm? That's madness. Surely not you, young one. If the Hound of Hell is loose, he'll chew through the fabric of the realms. Hellwalkers are just the beginning. What were you thinking? Aye, this is a fuck-up of not insignificant proportions. What would drive you to such mischief? Is this Loki's doing? Enough. Leave him. Atreus has made a mistake. One that we will fix together. Grand. Now, if you don't mind, I'd rather stay here. I've had my fill of visits to Helheim. Mm. Distract Garm. You freeze his chains with your axe so he can't run and latch him onto something. No, too dangerous. It's a good plan. Let's move. Wait. I hear him up ahead. We do this my way now. I 
guess your way means... It means what you think it means. Can't we try and... We have the power to limit the harm this creature can cause. We will use it. I wish it didn't have to end that way. It's my fault he got loose. That he's dead. Sometimes there is no other way. I know. Urban. I sought the Norns. They told me Heimdall intended to kill you and ask God. Heimdall? The Norns? I do not know. You don't know? Do not stop. Run! Where? The stair! Outside! Hurry! We gotta find him. Come on. Well, guess he came this way. Let's find another way up. What did you do? At the house. The spell you saw me do when Fenrir died. I didn't know it then. But I accidentally put his soul into my knife. Souls are powerful, so I thought maybe Fenrir's could... Change its nature. Yeah. Let's see if it took. When I found you in Midgard, before Freya attacked, you said you needed to protect me. Why? I saw a prophecy. You were... in my arms. Dead. I saw it too. In Jotunheim. What? You knew? That's why you've been training me so hard. One day, you will have to survive without me. Not gonna happen. I won't let it. I won't. All journeys come to an end. 
Not ours. Not like that. You're okay. Sorry I hurt you. It's over now. I promise. Fen? Are you? I missed you too. Didn't know if that would work. We did it! Sit. How is this possible? It's giant magic. I've been learning things. In Asgard. This has nothing to do with that. More secrets? No. A promise. When that someone's trusting me to keep. Like you kept your promise to Mom? See what I can do when you trust me? What's wrong? I have been falling back into my old ways. Angry, distrustful. With you, now and before. Without you, I got reckless, overconfident, made stupid mistakes. I don't know why I thought I could do this alone. You were right. No. On our journey together, you have grown into a warrior, worthy of your namesake. I was the one who was not ready. You don't have to be who you were just because I'm not there. Let's make a promise. I'll listen for your voice in my head when you're not there to guide me. And you do the same. All right? I need to know you'll be okay without me. Don't be sorry, Father. 
Be better. Let's go home. You're back. How did it go? We should travel us no further. Well, that's our bloody relief. So you put down old Garm, did you? Yeah. Sort of. Atreus, your decision to go to Asgard after all he's put us through. I'll never understand it. But I hope you at least came back with something we can use. I hope so, too. Come on. Let me show you what Odin's up to. Here's what he cares about most. More than Ragnarok or anything, is this mask. Anyone recognize it? That thing? Ugh, oh, it's a dead end. He's been faffing around with that since before I knew him. To be honest, I thought the giants were just having a laugh with that one. Okay, fine. No. You're wrong, Mimir. This mask is no fraud. The giants didn't make it, and only a few of them ever glimpsed it in their visions. They never knew its origin, but some believed it was a way to gaze into the secrets of creation itself. Is it an oracle? Much, much more. Imagine becoming one with a source of infinite knowledge. This? This is why Odin tortured me. So what do you think? Know it? No. It's one obsession he never saw fit to share with me. But I'll tell you this. Even when Odin speaks the truth, his purpose is false. Either way, it's a mistake to let it distract us. Is Heimdall our focus or not? We will rewrite our fate another way. Then I'm going back to Vanaheim. If we're not taking the fight to Odin, I should help my brother stand against him. We will join her when we can. No one here. Where is everyone? Stay alert. I don't like this, brother. Kratos, Atreus, a welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. You know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. And for once in the shape of a man, or nearly. So that's how they got your head out of your ass. Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, piss-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. I do not know you. Do you not recognize your handiwork? Hildisvini! Remember when we first met Frey in the woods? After I... Oh. I am so, so sorry about that. Freya's poor. Her advisor. And friend. Counselor to the Vanir. And yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. 
And then you shot me. At my command. No. My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim needs our help more than ever. Even Mimir's. Come. Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. My hide's not so thick in this form. We can head out whenever you're ready. Where are we going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way. I can sense them up there. It's gotta be their den. Excited to meet Skull and Hattie, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's gonna be weird meeting them in person. Legend meeting reality. At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain. Uh, hello? I think they're sleeping. Well, there you have it. The legendary celestial wolves. Supremely entertaining, as promised. Remember their shrine? They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right. Well, best we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. <laughs> She's getting away! Uh. Come on! It's cold. Is this? It's from Helheim. Heimdall must have grabbed this while I freed Garm. Uh, I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you, you're right. Father, how are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the giant said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. There's nothing. Just like inside their shrine. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. Good choice, lad. They have a gift for us. A way to call them anytime we need them. Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Big Vir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? 
We know where they're holding him now. Bela's already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. I could use another shapeshifter's help. Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. <clears throat> We're coming for you, Ingvi. away your position <laughs> what idiots no oh. if it isn't queen mistletoe herself hilarious by the way been a while i'm dull <laughs> and you must be the little half-breed's father lucky day <laughs> You have a lot to answer for, Sunshine. You too, traitor. Better a traitor than Odin's lapdog. Hmm. <laughs> well, the burden is mine. I can help. I know. But you are needed elsewhere. He's right, you know. Sizzles wasn't looking so hot last I saw. I know you didn't want this. But we know how this ends. See you soon. Well, we both know that's not true. <laughs> but don't worry, Frigg. I'll be coming for you and your brother as soon as I am finished here. Now, what you got? <laughs> Having fun yet? Oh well, you and me then. Oh. Actually hit me. Fuck! That's all this is. Oh, no, 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 You are going to spare me out of pity! <laughs> Let it go, you may live. Is this about the little runt? Oh, now I am definitely going to gut him! Ah! 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 This is your final warning. I don't think a warning is going to cut it. You think you get to just walk away? No. That is not how this works. <laughs> Get to decide my fate! You are dead, sunshine.
pray to us. That was just... Uh, I don't know if we are breaking fate, or fate's breaking us. I will carry him. You what? No, I can make it. You cannot. Ow, ow, ow! Easy! To me! Follow! We, uh, got company back here. Oh, no. Archers ahead! Oh, seriously? Nice job, by the way. Hey, I'm a trade. You okay? Hi. No. Just hold on. All right. We gotta be close, right? On your right. Keep going! We're almost at the river! Oh, How about the girl? Where's the boat? Throw it in the river. Hurry now. That won't hold them for long. Whoa! Of course, excuse me, Mia. Freya's boat. They will regroup. We should go. seeing your faces. <laughs> Relax. It's flying. We're flying. I knew it would do that. smoothly. Uh, little help? Uh, they're too fast! Look out! I can't get a steady shot. Where are you? Do you free? Coming in for another round. Do you friend her?
think that's the end of Birger? You think he survived that? He's down there picking the dirt out of his nails with the beast's feathers. You'll see. He... Uh, <laughs> he has to be. We're almost there, Ingvi. Just hold on a bit longer. I don't suppose I have much of a choice at the moment. Cloth and boiling water. Red root and lamb's grass. I know, I know. You think I never staunch a bleeder before? Oh, now don't you go worrying, boss. I didn't go through any of your stuff while you was off being tortured. Ah, damn it, Linda. Easy. Heck, you says to me for? I ain't the one who stuck you like a damn pig. No offense. Freya, mind giving her a hand? We're just taking over entirely? Hold still. She'll just get you stable so I can take you to Sindri's house. The rest of my herbs are there. We'll protect the realm in your absence. The four of us. Vanaheim's in good hands. Party at Sindri's house, then. Huh? Whoever that is. Your boat. Nope. Your boat. Go on. Take it. Sail the skies, sun yourself on its bow. You look like you could use it. <laughs> Make a Vanir god proud. He gave you his boat? Nice. He left me no choice. Because it was necessary, not because it was written. Spear would do the trick. Well, happy Ragnarok, everybody! Let's drink. Is it true? Heimdall's dead. I can't believe it. There's no stopping it now. Odin swore peace only so long as you spilled no more Aesir blood. I refused that deal. Yet he honored it. But now, but what? You and I know better than anyone that Odin's promises never last. We have the advantage now. It's time to bring him down. No. None of you understand what's coming. Odin's vengeance will be his only concern. Not his only concern. The mask. Whatever knowledge it unlocks, that's what Odin wants more than anything. If I go back to Asgard, go I can back. Use... Go back. Look, if I can finish what I started there, awaken the mask, get answers, maybe that's our way out of this. But I gotta go soon, before they figure out what's happened. Atreus, you are home. Do not ask me to put you at risk again. He's at risk where he stands, Kratos. We all are. Anything we do or don't do is dangerous right now. But Odin needs me. He trusts me. I'll be safe there. From a tactical perspective, am I wrong? I don't much like it. But it is our best play. Dividing Odin's focus would buy us time. And give us a pair of eyes in the enemy's inner sanctum. But if there is truly a source of infinite knowledge, you can't let Odin have it. Aye. And once he has what he needs from you, then I lose my leverage. I get it. 
I'll be smart. Father, I can do this. Remember our promise. You too. I hope you know what you're doing. I do too, Sam. Well, I still want to hear how you did it. You mean how we did it? Ah, uh, you have me. And therein lies a tale. Atreus, listen. I can't let you go back without this. A hammer? Your key, please. You ever need a way out of a bad situation? Throw this down hard and say, Wergi. One use only. Wergi. Thanks, Sindri. Hope I don't need it. Me too. Here we go. Ben? Huh? You made it back! <laughs> hey. This is your wolf? Ah! Stop doing that. <laughs> oh, were you having a moment? It sort of looked like you were having a moment. I can go. No. Sorry. This is Fenrir. <laughs> it's okay, Ben. She's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I was right about your knife. Huh? I'm glad you found a place for his soul. <laughs> me too. Hey, uh, how'd you find me here? Loki? This is my marble. <laughs> and where are you heading off to? Back to Asgard. Hey, I'm actually using him. Uh-huh. Angraboda, look. Once I see this through, I'm gonna know everything. How to save my father, how to stop Ragnarok, and maybe, hopefully, how to bring our people back. Loki, those are all very noble intentions, but he's Odin. You have faith in me, right? Of course I do. I just hope the story you're writing for yourself is the one that you truly want. Would you, would you take care of Finn while I'm away? I'll take good care of him. Oh, night boy. <laughs> Be careful, Loki. Okay. All right, I just gotta help Odin complete the mask. Heimdall's dead. Happen to know something about that? Anything? Well, I mean, everyone hated them. Sure, sure. But have you seen anything, something noteworthy? I mean, you know, 
he did sock through it pretty hard while we were out. Maybe someone found out? Got even? I, I don't know. Are you suggesting my son had something to do with this? I don't know. Honest. Well, I had to ask. Never believed you had anything to do with this. I'm glad you're back. So, I figured out what went wrong. I mistranslated a word here. Did you now? I thought it said beyond the cry of cold breath, but it actually reads the cry of first breath. Well, that's somewhere else entirely. I know where that is. Young man, you've done it again. Go. Take the mask, take the sword, take the bird, find Thor. We're going to Niflheim. Misty, too. Ruth? Sorry, um, all Father said I'm supposed to head to Niflheim with your dad. I haven't seen him around, and I was wondering if you had any idea where he could be. He wasn't with Grandfather? No. I think I know where he might be. Follow me. I, uh, also wanted to talk to you about Heimdall. Don't. Not here. You're right. Later. Throod, I'm... It's fine. Hey, Thor. Seems like it might be a bad time, so... If you need a moment, I totally understand. No rush, but... Uh... Right where I thought you'd be. You shouldn't be here. You. You shouldn't have brought her here. What are you doing? Relaxing. Did I say no rush? I meant we should get going, right? We don't want to keep the Allfather. Quiet! He's right. You should get going. <laughs> Dad? Don't do this. It's already done. Let it be known, the God of Thunder is good for two things. Killing giants, and pissing me! Any man who disagrees will greet Mjolnir with its face. I can't. This isn't you. Uh, Thor. <clears throat> Hugin is waiting outside. Please, let's just... I said, quiet, boy. My name is... Uh, uh, what? No, I... Oh, come on. No, 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 I swear that really wasn't... That's enough! Oh, how I've missed this! And he's still not. You could be helping more, don't you think? And go! Seriously?
What if you started again? Right now, just put down the... Grab his arms. Let's get him out of here. It's a good fight. I'm sorry you had to see him like this. No, no. It's fine. Really. Hey, I'm strong, but you gotta help me out here. Come on, it's not that far. Get up. Ah, Thrudy. You are going to Niflheim with Loki, all father's orders. You have to get up. I know you're disappointed. Disappointed? No, 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 no. That was a glorious fight. You can't even say you're sorry this time, can you? Because what's one more broken promise? <sighs> Grandfather treated you like crap. You were struggling. I get it. But you can't just... We're here for you. Mom and I are here for you. Even when you're here. We love you. You know that. I just thought this was behind us. I fucked up. Get you a water or something? Fine. Let's make this quick. You in a hurry to get back to Asgard? Just get us to that mask piece. Looks like we gotta get up that cliff. Which I think we No thinking. It's better when I know it's gonna happen. <laughs> Close. Um, thanks, Thor. Wasn't about to lose that man. Loki, you did it. We are on the verge of great things, all of our work together. You're welcome. 
I'm sorry. You are here. Why? His father murdered Heimdall. For said he has proof. Take him. No. Leave him alone. I command it. You said no more Aesir blood would be spilled. You said family comes first. You don't think that this is retribution for him being here? He's put your granddaughter in danger. He's made your son miserable. Loki didn't kill Heimdall. His father did. Your daughter is old enough to make her own mistakes. And your husband started drinking again all on his own. Dismissed! You two, a word. Can't you see what's happening? He's not protecting us. Magni, Modi, our boys. We used to tell them stories by the fire. Do you remember? We would carve those wooden horses. We would play and laugh until the sun sank and they fell asleep in our laps. They were thrown at the Allfather's problems like brittle knives to a mountain face. And for what? What if Thrut's next? My father against me. My daughter. I have no idea what's happening. You know, I finally thought of something I can teach you. Hey, you stand down! Sentry better be right. Where are you? Sentry. Ah! Ah! You sure know how to plan an exit. Atreus. <sighs> Glad you're safe, lad. Got out just in time. Pretty sure I burned my bridges in Asgard, though. Wait, why were you out here? Sindri told us where you would arrive should you find trouble. Oh, thought you might have been exploring without me. No, lad. Your dad was just concerned. Though, now that you mention it... Lumir. Brother, please. It's all so crowded and tense back home. Don't you miss the three of us out finding our own adventures? Putting off the inevitable. Exactly! It's not the worst idea. I do want to show everyone the mask, but it'll keep. Hmm. Back, everybody. Hey, hey. You made it. I'll get to here. Back. Join us at the table if you're ready to stay. Oh, see? I told you the key would get him home. Because you tapped oh. it with a hammer. Dwarven magic makes no sense. Right? Lunda one time made me a breastplate out of dog barks. You're back. I still can't figure that out. Are you one okay? Out. I'm fine. I just hope unlocking this thing was worth the cost. You have it. What did it show you? I didn't get to use it. They found out about Heimdall. I had to run. But at least Odin can't use it either. But if you didn't get any answers from the mask, all you've done is steal Odin's greatest treasure just after your father's killed his most loyal ally. None of us are safe, even here. So we have no choice. We find Surtur, sound Galahorn, and bring Odin to justice, now. You'd incinerate every soul in Asgard and call it self-defense? Does he ever suggest plans or just crap on everyone else's? The obvious plan is staring you in the face. We don't need Odin to use this. We can slip into Asgard and do it ourselves, right under his nose. We gain the knowledge we need to shatter this prophecy of war once and for all. Except begging your pardon, you don't have a way into Asgard. They got the big horn, don't they? Oh, so you expect them to sneak into Asgard, blowing a horn that sounds across all the realms? I expect you to bite my blue butt cheek. Please, just think about it. Hmm. 
this mask. The easy answers that it promises. I know this. Shortcuts always have a price. Atreus, you have carried it. What do you think? I think it's a chance. At worst, we'll have something Odin wants as leverage. At best, if it really gives us all the answers, then we can make our own path. And nobody has to die. Hmm. Grand. Now all we need is a way to Asgard. <laughs> I know I've been a burden to you all. I know you've questioned why you even pulled me out of that hole. I have too. But it's clear now. This is what I'm needed for. This is my purpose. One last time. I will pick up my spear and I will lead us to Asgard. Excuse me, but if you got a way to Asgard, where's that idea been this whole fucking while? What? Not that a fair question, brother. You was held Asgard. You would have gotten us all killed. And we needed to give Loki time to find his destiny. Here it is. It's all led to this. If we can get inside, I'm going after Odin. I will not stop you. We can do both. Spot on, brother. If the mask doesn't give us an out, we'll still have the drop on him. <clears throat> Works for me. Let's do it then, and quickly, before he sees us coming. He does hate surprises. Slow down, you damn spruce. I still want to hear the details on this, uh, new way to Asgard you got. Spill it! It's an ancient path. We can't reach it from here. Where, then? Let me collect my things, and I'll show you. You ain't got no things. And where are you going with that mask, Rock? That belongs to the kid. He earned it. All you done was make passable dirt soup. Brock, it's okay. No, it ain't. This ain't right. All the pieces ain't welding together true. Like, what's with him calling you Loki anyway? You know that ain't his name. Hey, I'm talking to you. Oh, you never I, shut up. up. Run. Of all the things, Holden. Let go of the boy and face me. I tell your brother to throw me the mask, and you've got a deal. Stop moving, Freya. If he dies... Now, now. It wasn't part of the plan, but if he dies, we are square for Heimdall. And honestly, you got a bargain. I will kill you. Plan on that. Mm -hmm. So nice spending time with you again. Freya, please. Uh, uh, uh. Can't be in two places at once, Frigg. Hey! I don't move, you don't move. Don't do anything to work crap. I regret many things. Killing you will not be one of them. Lushwatsan! I am in control! Here! Throw me the mask! Now! Too bad, son. Looks like war after all. Please, you have to save him. You have to. He can't. You can't. Maybe if I go back to the lake. Stop me. I know what you've done, and I forget you. But you gotta stop. You gotta let go. Bro.
this whole time. So, uh, what do we do now? Now? Now we kill Odin and anyone who gets in our way. You can't run away from this, Kratos. Odin won't stop until we stop him! We need you here! See over speed. Why? And that was running. And so are we. I don't understand. Find Sindri. I have a pretty good idea where he might be. Need. Sindri? Sindri, I... I am so sorry. No. I... No, I don't want to hear it. You don't know what sorry means. We're not letting Odin get away with this. Would that be the Odin you invited into my home? Some of us were bigger fools than others, aren't we? I gave you everything. My skills, my friendship, my home, my secrets, my treasures. And you just kept taking. And now what have I got? <laughs> Not even my family. You want sorry? This is what sorry looks like. I. What can we do? We. 
There is no we. There's only you. No matter what the cost. So what you can do... is get the fuck out of my sight! Come with us. Leave it be. More than you wish. family too. We were. You're back. Are you with us? Mm. Good. It's time. Time for what, did I ask? Time to unite the realms against Odin. Once and for all. Tyr tried to unite the realms. The real Tyr. Everyone loved him. And even he failed. Then we better not fail. Or there will be no one left to try. This is Ragnarok. And Odin's already heard every blasted plan we have. Yes, we've lost the element of surprise. More than that, we have only one way to Asgard, and it's not subtle. Go on. It means we enter from Tyr's temple here. Asgard's wall is here. Odin's host of Einherjar will hold the space in between. Which means we need armies of our own. As many as will answer the call. Numbers Odin won't see coming. And that's just to reach the wall. To breach the wall, we'll need to find Sarta. Radatoskar was able to procure this. The three of us will go. I know just where to look. Mm. Splendid. Allies, then. Who do we think we can get? I'll venture to Helheim. Try to recruit the army of the dead. And I'll return to Alfheim to unite the elves. Just like that. Unite the elves after centuries of war. Well, they really like me in Alfheim. And you? To Valheim? Yes. To find Sigrun and muster the free Valkyries. Midgard has no army. Nor Niflheim, nor Jotunheim. That leaves only Svartalfheim. I'll go to Svartalfheim. Sindri? Are you sure? I said I'll go. So be it. Good luck to us all. I have some doubts regarding negotiations with Rosfelger and Helheim. My thinking is that she may be more amenable to speaking with a member of the, uh, deceased. Mimir, you're needed. Oh, death is a skill now. I suppose these two can survive a bit without me. Brother, if you wouldn't mind. Very well. Many thanks. We'll catch up with you later. Hey. I think I can see Surtur's forge in the distance. Hello. We seek a fire giant. Go away. What just happened? Hey, that wasn't- We deal with these fuck. Man, if that is Surtur, he's got a lot to answer for. As you said, we need him. I won't help you. Who are you? Who you seek. And what's left on him. Why won't you help us? I don't... want to. Elaborate. Will die. Right. Because you've got so much to live for. 
not me. Her. So what's the point of all this? You keep separate from Sinmara just so you can sit here and wait to die? At least if you joined with her, you'd be together again. We are together. Got her heart. She's got mine. It's not much, but it's enough. But you're not even... Have you ever been in love? It's pretty good. Will succeed, and all realms save Asgard will fall. Yeah, he must die. It's true. But I won't sacrifice her any more than you would him. Sorry. Come. Wait. Those blades. May I see them? Hmm. Yeah, there's primordial fire in those. They are not of these lands. Shouldn't matter. What could? Put those in here. And I'll become your monster. But I don't want her involved at all. But the prophecy says you two have to combine. Sure this will work? What have I got to live for? Not here. Follow me. Where do we go? Spark of the world. Which is? The place where Niflheim and Muspelheim meet. Where the first realms came into existence. You won't be able to get through this, huh? Wow. Uh, Sarger? Still me. Better than walking. What awaits us at this spark of the world? Magic. Primordial stuff. With that and your blades and my heart, we'll be good. I'll get big. Smash stuff. You'll like it. But what'll happen when you change? Dunno. Won't be me anymore. But how will you, or, um, future new you, know when to attack Asgard? You got the horn. Right? Yeah. Then we're good. So, here it is. The spark of the world. This is beautiful. I'll meet you, Frost. This feels too easy. Odin knows we have Galloan. He knows you have the mask. After killing Brock, he knows we would seek Surtur to start this war. But what other choice do we have? None. He knows that, too. This is it. What about Sinmara? Should we at least tell her? No. It had hurt her too much. More than not knowing what happened to you? Sometimes... loving someone is about... choosing... the lesser pain. 
That doesn't make any sense. Promise you'll stay away from her. You have our word. Sorter, is stabbing you with the blades gonna be enough to create this new you? Samara's heart is cold. So beautifully cold. Your dad's now got my fire in those blades. If enough of me and the sparks fire go into enough of her, it should work. Okay. Come here. This'll hurt. this is going to take. with Gellerhorn when we're ready. Let's head back to Moose Farm. We can take the Mystic Gateway back from there. It worked. I, I can't believe it. We've got Ragnarok on our side. Sorter's plan just worked. I mean, the Valkyries were a small setback, but I bet we've got Odin worried now. He knows we're coming for him. Brothers, how did it go? And yes, my usefulness to a certain Vanya Numpty did run out. Ragnarok awaits our call. As do the armies of hell. Thanks mostly to me. It seems war is upon us at last. 
Where to now, brother? We've some time before we're expected at the temple. Well, the armies are probably gathered in their home realms, waiting for when we blow Gallarhorn. Guess I was kind of hoping to see some of them here. When all the realm towers open at once, we'll see plenty, lad. Odin won't believe what's coming for him. No. Odin had lifetimes to prepare for this. Whatever grows deception, he heard the truth as tear. Do not underestimate him. Rousing speech, brother. Very inspirational. Wow. The Valkyries look different. Welcome back. Hildesfini informed me of your success. We've been planning accordingly. Well, what would Ragnarok be without Ragnarok? Who else agreed to join us? I see the Valkyries. Better than that, they are reborn. Corporeal and uncorrupted, thanks to no small amount of Vanir magic. They're shield maidens now. Nice. And your brother? He came through. The elves called a truce to unite against Asgard. That gives us an advantage by air, and with Hel's army for a vanguard. What about Sindri? Will the dwarves fight? We haven't heard from him, but there's time yet. And I think we have what we need to clear a path for the Ragnarok beast. Well, when you say it like that, why worry at all? Sigrun! It's good to see you so... alive. Oh, yes. I wasn't myself when last we met. I'm glad you're safe. My queen, the Shield Maidens will be divided among the forces breaching from Alfheim, Helheim, and here in Midgard. We stand ready. Kratos, Atreus, come here. Please excuse me. Oh. Good night, then. Freya, have you determined our path out of Asgard? If the towers are the way in, we count on them being the way out. And if they are not? Then we all know what we signed up for. Our plan is only missing one thing. A leader. That honor is yours. You have a righteous claim. And the respect of your troops. And you have faced this enemy before. I held his invading army to a stalemate. This is our invasion. A siege on his terrain. I want our most experienced wartime general in the field. I don't care about the honors. I don't care about the prophecies and champions. I just need us to win. Freya. I know what I'm asking. Just... sleep on it? Here we are. Kratos, your tent is to the right, and Atreus, yours is to the left. Mine? A young warrior needs his own space, don't you think? I do. Wow. Thanks. Sleep on what we spoke of. Let me know in the morning what you decide. Excuse me. May I have a moment with Mimir? I don't know what tomorrow brings, but if tonight is our last night, I'd like to spend it feeling something besides hate. Will you tell me one last silly story? There's nothing I'd like more. Except perhaps a dance, though I may have lost a step. <laughs> Due respect, love, I don't tell silly stories. You only tell silly stories. <laughs> I can never argue with you.
Can I sleep here tonight? I fall asleep. Promise you'll finish it tomorrow. Of course. Now, close your eyes. There was an old man who chopped wood for his village. Every evening, he bore the logs on his back and delivered them to his people. But the logs were heavy, and he grew weaker as time went. And one day, he threw down the logs as he could no longer bear their weight. And he, he called for death to come to him. And when death arrived, he... He's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. She was a special woman. She wanted to protect people. She was here. She saw every step we took before we took it. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home? Does my request upset you? Death <sighs> is a natural part of life, my love. I wish only to be prepared for when my time comes. We mortals must do such things. I am glad to have you prepare with me. <laughs> mm. 
You are quiet. I have nothing to say. Well, say something. I enjoy hearing your voice. The funeral pyre. I would have chosen different. Oh. You would have me trapped in the ground for eternity. I would have you close to me. How touching. My rotting corpse would bring you such comfort. Mm. You once tried to take charge of your ending, did you know? That was different. Circumstance, yes. Not on purpose. <laughs> you prepare for a distant future. There is much time ahead of us. I wish to better a future that will exist without me. Whenever that day comes, for you and for our son. <sighs> we will always walk together, Kratos. You will always be a part of me. I will always be a part of you. And when you are gone, that part of me dies as well. You feel your absence. No. Culmination of love is grief. And yet we love, despite the inevitable. We open our hearts to it. When the pyre is spent, and you have gathered my ashes, spread them from the highest peak in all the realms. You will do this for me. To grieve deeply is to have loved fully. Open your heart to the world as you have opened it to me and you will find every reason to keep living in it. What's going on? It is time. I'll meet you outside, Father. Sir.
hope to fly into battle with you one more time, my queen. Me too. But not as your queen. As sisters. Are you ready? Yes. I will be your general. It will be an honor to fight alongside you, General. Aye, brother. I'll be right by your side. So, what are your orders? To the temple. General. Sir? General? General? Sir. Hey, bud. Uh, General. Prophecy did not lead us here, nor will it win this battle. Wars are won by those that are willing to sacrifice everything. If that is the cost of vengeance, so be it. Odin has taken so much from us already. The realms have suffered. Enough! No matter the cost. This ends... today. If going out in a blaze of glory means that Odin burns too, and that's where I'll be. A big, fat smile on my face. For Brock. goes after Niflheim next. They're trying to shut out Ragnarok. We gotta stop those war machines. Not an ideal start. Just wait. 
Ingrid! Well, we got work to do. You three, follow. Atreus. Freya, with me. Watch our flanks. To the war machines. Looks like the giant giants made it after all. The snake looks different. He is different. But when I was away, uh, uh, never mind, later. The Ain Heryar's link to Valhalla. My sisters and I must sever it. Go. Still no sign of the dwarves. Sindri won't let us down. We have to trust him. Hmm. Rally all you can. We will make for this fall of Huntawa. Bloody time he showed up. what you wanted I, I didn't want this no close your heart to it close your heart who are they my guardians Odin took them in they shouldn't be here they're not soldiers Odin put them in our path to die. It's war. Wars are won. By those who are willing to sacrifice... ...everything. What, what are you doing? Size of that thing? I think we're gonna win. I mean, if they don't kill us first. Why have you stopped? Ragnarok is here. We finally have Odin right where we. We will stop Odin. But we did not come to sacrifice the innocent. We will breach the wall at Hrimthor's flaw. With what army? Atreus and I will be enough. That's suicide. It may be. But we will die seeking justice, not vengeance. Can that weapon break open the flaw? Only one way to find out. You three. Get those people to safety wherever you can find it. We will see it done. Fred and I will do what we can to slow Ragnarok. He was not mindless before. See if he will listen to reason. <laughs> Odin will not get away. If he does, so help me. I know. Valky! Ah! No! No! 
protect him. I will help those that are trapped and meet you at the fall. Go! Go, Atreus! <laughs> me believing you that we didn't have to be enemies. Dude, you're okay. My mom was right about you all along. You're a killer just like your father, and you're here to kill us all. No, just Odin. <laughs> Sindri, go! She's a friend. Friends don't bring the end of the world to each other's doorstep, Loki! You're right. You're right. I, I made some bad decisions. You do that a lot. I'm not sure that's a defense. It's not a defense. I just want to make it right. Is Skjolder okay? Have you seen him? Why wouldn't he be? What are you talking about? Odin is willing to sacrifice the Midgardians. He put them along the wall to try and deter us, knowing they can't fight. Their deaths are just meant to slow us down. Why would he do that? And how am I supposed to believe you? Because he's right. It's who Odin is. It's who he's always been. Mom, why are you here? What? He'll sacrifice anyone at a problem with one of him. The Guardians. Your friend. Our family, any of us. I had hoped that your father would stand up to him, but now it, it has to be you. Mom, what are you saying? I never doubted that you would make the finest Valkyrie these realms have ever seen. But not for him. Do you understand? But our family... Was our Odin. We can be one again. A real one. What he's doing is wrong. <laughs> he said if we held our ground, we'd be safe. He said we owed him. <sighs> you don't owe him your death. No oh, shit. Dad will never let them get their grandfather. Then go with him. He'll listen to you. Are you ready to go find the rest of your people? Yeah. I love you, Mom. I love you, too. Finally. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hold on, son. Hold on. Who's the girl? Hi, through Thor's daughter. Thor's daughter? My friend. The Great Lodge. That's where we gotta go. Yeah. I didn't want to listen. That may not be our biggest problem right now. Roman Dander! Get back to your sister. You must hold back Ragnarok. This fight is mine. But if I could just... Take Atreus in the mask and do not look back. My son trusts you, so I trust you. Stay away from her! Stay out of way! I am done with you and your son! No more fucking games! And this time, I'm allowed to kill you. We do not need to do this! We do! It's what we are! I take you! Can you? Thor, the last seems to think you've changed! Prove it and stop it! This talking's over! Wait and die! You can choose to- You all die. Go and think for yourself for once. Your family full of Enough! Don't act like you know. Attack my daughter! No! I did not- You bring this to my home! To my family! Oh! <laughs> 
Your daughter. My son calls her friend. If you try to hurt her... I would not. Don't you know... what I've done? Yes! But what will you do now? We don't change. We are destroy us. No more. No more. For the sake of our children. We must be better. Why isn't he dead? Are you talking? Who told you to do that? You don't talk! You don't think! I think! You kill! It's a simple fucking concept! Sif was right about you. I just didn't want to see it. What is this? Are you broken? I am your father. Take the hammer and kill who I tell you to kill! I didn't want this. I did not want this. No! Rude. This was all their fault. They've done this to us, to our family. Looks like I gotta do everything around here. Your own son? You granddaughter! Why? Rude's gonna be fine. I say first. Thor! That one's on you! You turn them against me! You turn them all against me!
This is not how it ends. Was this everything you hoped for? Was your plan really all that much better than mine? I hope you got exactly what you want. Not quite yet. <laughs> Think you're the only one who can craft a binding spell? I spent many long winters thinking about what I would say to you as I watched you take your last breath. But now, I realize there's only one thing I need you to know. You have no hold on me anymore. And that's my friend. I forgot how good you look with wings. <laughs> oh, husband. You always sought knowledge well. Now I'm going to teach you what it's like to lose everything. <laughs> Bow to your queen. I always loved you. You know. You've never loved anyone. Real Father? Freya? You did it, Loki. No, 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 no more fighting. No, none of that matters now. This is your moment, Loki. Rower tried to hide you from me, but this is your destiny. Champion of the Jotnar. Only he can put on a mask. Only he can gaze into the truth of creation, unfold. The secrets of life and death. No more doubt, no more confusion. You were born for this. Put on the mask, Loki. Ask it. Ask it the question. This is your choice, son. I trust you. to be nothing! No! So be it. Attack! You've waited a long time for this, haven't you, Frick? So have I! Too late for that! Fly! Oh. Three against one, and don't forget. 
get me, old fucker! What did you call me? Ooh. That one's for Brock! <laughs> 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 Use your arrows. Got it. Right side incoming. was our chance, Loki. I could have had my answers. I could have learned the truth. You took that away from me. I could have made things better. We could have made the Nine Realms better. This was never about the realms. Or me. It was about you. You destroyed everything. My home, my family, my kingdom. You did those things. Your choices. You killed your own son. It wasn't my choice. I had no choice. There's always a choice. You have to stop. You can choose to be better. No, I can't. I have to know what happens next. I will never stop. 
Why'd you have to say that? Sofna, Apra, Desu. Sofna, Hithan. Sofna. 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 I swore I would never rob from you the choice between life and death. I have waited so long for this moment. And now that I'm here, I don't need this to make me whole. We stopped his madness. That's all that matters. Ragnarok. He's here. is your own. Follow it, and you'll end up right where you're supposed to be. Huh? There he is. Wake up, Atreus. Wake up. Glad you've come back to us. Uh, hi. Where, where is my father? Somewhere here in the Holt. He'll be glad to see you. Thanks, Herr. Stop it, I'm fine. Hush. It's rude. Loki! I'm so glad you're both alive. You have no idea, and... I'm sorry. Thor. He was... He tried, you know? I'm sorry, I...
couldn't do more. Nothing will fix what you're feeling. But I hope there's some comfort in knowing Odin's gone. There absolutely is. Loki, it was an honor to fight alongside a giant. Know that. Will you stay here in Midgard? For a bit? Then I've got something I need to find. I'm working with Hildesvini to get the rest of the Asgardians to Vanaheim. To help rebuild. Then I hope it can be a fresh start for them. And you. Oh, and Thrude. I hope you find what you're looking for. Good luck. See ya, Loki. Take care. Lugan made it out. Good for him. Oh, and if you could get this wood over to Brana's tent, she... Loki! Hey! Glad to see the head injury didn't make you forget me. Did you have a head injury? Everything was a blur. Maybe that was someone else. Anyway, man, I I'm just... I'm really glad to see you. I'm glad to see you, too. Looks like you're keeping busy. Ah, I'm just happy to help folks. We're on track to have bedrolls for everyone, and your friend's wolves have been helping out with hunting. We should have plenty to feed everyone. No shit. No shit? And hey, thank you for everything. We wouldn't even be here without you and your friends. Yeah, of course. I... I just wish we could have gotten more people out. Loki, you did good. Thanks, Skilder. Take care, okay? Hey, you know me. seen any extra blankets lying around? That snow might be melting, but it's still gonna be pretty cold in this place. Oh, there he is. And one for the kid, too. Skull! Here, here. Skull, we wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. And Freyr's sacrifice. It's true. Well, we were just swapping our own Freyr fables. Right, right. So where was I? Oh. When we met, I was expecting this warrior, this master planner, a born leader. The legend came before the man, but the man himself was very different. He won me over, though. He was just so damn kind. I think it helped that he was handsome. This is true, and incredibly charming. All right, stop. Y'all are about to start crying all over again. Sorry. Gotta go find my father. Be safe, you! I'm pleased to see you awake. Freya. It was his choice. I couldn't take that from him. He saved us all. I'll never forget that. The family I thought I had was taken from me piece by piece. But there's comfort in the family I've chosen. Your mother was right, you know. You grew into that bow after all. You are a formidable warrior, but even more than that, you have a good heart. Nothing you've endured has changed that. I'm so proud of the man you've become, Atreus. Thank you for everything. I should find my father. You should. Atreus! Oh, you gave us quite a scare there. Glad to see you too, Mimir. Listen, I want to thank you. Oh, what else did you expect from the smartest man alive? It's not just because you're smart. You listened to me, mentored me, and, well, you're basically another dad to me. What? No, I need you to hear it. I appreciate you so much. Ah. I love you too, little brother. See you, Mimir. It's good to see you about, Atreus. You too, Hildesvini. I hear you're headed to Vanaheim with the ATR. That's correct. Oh. I thought I'd meet today in Vanier and ATR.
Who's that, huh? Yeah, we know him. <laughs> Maybe one of these days I'll surprise you. Oh, you already have. saving us. I decided it would be better if I wrote the ending myself. You haven't told your father yet, have you? Told him about what? Come on. Giant visions. I already saw it. I get it. Every part of me is telling me this is what I have to do. I, I just don't know how to say it. Come with me. I've got something I want to show you. Both of you. I, I do not wish to intrude. This is for you, too. Atreus, I am glad you are well. I'm glad you are, too. So, what was the end of the story? Before Ragnarok, you promised to finish it if I fell asleep. When death arrived, he asked why the old man had called for him. Seeing death before him caused the old man to reconsider his request. After a moment, he asked that death help him lift the logs onto his back so that he may continue on his journey. He wasn't ready to die. He wished to keep living. There's a lot of smoke out there. Hmm. Seems when Asgard fell, pieces of it landed all over the realms. There might still be some Einherjar near them, but that's not what I brought you here to see. Mother? My shrine in Jotunheim. She destroyed it. She didn't want us to know our fate. We forged our own path because of her. She went against her own people. Our people to protect you. They don't all open. I'm sorry. Father, I... I need to talk to you about something. There are other giants out there, and I've got to find them. I think I know where to look, but 
They're my responsibility. I need to do this alone. I, I don't want to do it alone, but I need to. It's hard to explain. Does it frighten you? Yeah. That is why you must do it. Like you taught me. Yeah. We survive today because of your choices. Who to trust. Who to call friend. Son. You are ready. Remember, our promise. Loki will go. Atreus. Atreus remains. See in there, brother. Well, one I had never imagined. And what now? There is 
is. Much to do. Much to rebuild. See to it. Together. We should probably talk about Gana. We don't need to talk about her. We just need to find her. But Odin chose her as his new Valkyrie queen. A Vanir goddess, your friend. Gana pledged loyalty to Asgard long ago, and our friendship ended soon after. What happened? I made a choice. One she couldn't accept. Kratos, she hates me. She will be a problem for us. Better we find her than she Another finds us. Another one for the big boy himself. Skull. Skull. Dozen per cap. Families will stay together, obviously. Take care, Kratos. Thank you. I appreciate that. And we'll bring all the supplies we can, although there won't be much. Don't worry about it. Anyone who's able can head out for extra supplies. Aesir and Vanir. Together. on some morning garb. We're not dressed properly. We're fine. The dwarves don't typically require formal wear at funerals. Brock certainly would not. Perhaps. Phil, now you've got me thinking of what I might look like with some jewelry around my neck stump. Maybe some gold woven into my beard. That'd be quite fetching, eh? <laughs> Thanks for trying. There they are, brother. Oh, come on. Surely he'll be along. It's his brother. Let's hope so. Loss can do things to a man. You made it. We can begin.
love you. Sentry. Black was. It's bigger the more you take away. <laughs> 